All right, we've got our round three players. They are setting up here. We don't even have blue and red decided yet. I'm gonna see if I can get one thing up for this. Four battle cards go up. So Marcel is blue and we've got Philip as red. And it's Ollie rejoining the stream with Mr. Bushman, whilst Cockles is off getting himself a nice deserved lunch. So, um, is Marcel the Ewok player? Uh, I have no idea. Mr. Zane. <laughs> he told me. I know he did. But <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, get, we'll get there one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zane. Is Marcel the Ewok player? Uh, and the other name? Marcel. Okay. So Marcel is running uh, Ewoks. No, that thing. So he's got Han Solo with Underworld connections, up close and personal, up close and personal, and Recon Intel. C3PO with nothing on. Low Grey with improvised orders and secret ingredients. Wicket with situational awareness. Forest dwellers. Ewok skirmishers with the Axe Ewok, Ewok Trapper, Call to Arms, Duck and Cover. Ewok skirmishers with Axe Ewok, Ewok Trapper, Call to Arms, Duck and Cover. And then three Naked Slingers and four Naked Skirmishers. And then Chewbacca with Protector and Recon Intel. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that is the 14 Act Ewoks. Um, oh, that's that's... Yeah, it's a, that's it, the one to do. It's an absolutely solid list. I think well, for, I, I, <laughs> Marcel said, he goes, I wasn't expecting to do this good. I was just here to play Legion and roll some dice, and here I am playing a guy from Poland who's probably going to kick my butt. And I was like, yeah, but you're playing a guy from Poland. That's the cool part of it. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, like absolutely. And uh, Ewoks are such such an underdog. I think yeah. everybody I think everybody just kind of An breathed. underdog? What? Yeah, like people don't play them. Like they know they're good so but nobody's I, playing. I think them. they were an underdog. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so uh, now that people have realized oh, at oh. LVO they were a terror. Yeah, oh, they oh, were oh, a terror there. Oh, that's what they yeah. do. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they were absolutely rolling us. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I've got one of the tools actually functioning and you, working. You get to read that one out. Yeah, yeah, so I will read uh Philip's list here. Philip is uh playing an 800 point uh, Empire list. Um, he's got General Veers, Improvised Orders, Underworld Connections, and he's running those Underworld Connections to get double bounty here. He's got Boba Fett with CZ Initiative and a Flame Projector, IG-88 with CZ Initiative and Emergency Transponder, Snowtroopers with Del Mico, two Shores with T-21s, two Mortars, and then three Snipers. Is that full snipers or sniper teams? Sniper teams. Yeah, strike teams. Three strike teams for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we got eleven versus eleven, 11 versus fourteen. 14. So, this is, so on on this table, which is this is probably one of the larger games with twenty five activations on the table. Yeah, actually, yeah, because our last one was eight and twelve. So, yeah, so and that was a soft eight. So so that's a that's, yeah. a, that's a lot to be looking at. Um, for the people at home, well, as I'm as I'm hearing Zane read out the Empire list, there's not a lot in there um, in terms of tech into Ewoks. Yeah. And, and having played against them myself, yeah, that, especially because uh, just hard. now now I will say because Philip did give me his his list here that's got his command cards in it, so he does not have Boba's flame projector in there. He only has the one the spin. one the one time use. Yeah, so he has the one time use. So that. I mean, that could help take care of a unit, right? But, like... But, I, I mean, absolutely. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, Boba is an absolute powerhouse. But he can't e take on a whole... He can't take on all Ewoks. the... Ewoks, yeah. So, when, when I lost to um, Zar in France... No, sorry, in Spain for the WTC, um, Vader, absolutely fine cutting through Ewoks. Not a problem. Vader didn't get hit at all. It's yeah. It's everything else that yep. they just... Like you can only kill so much with one character. Yep. And I think this is why we're seeing... I mean, I've seen a couple of people sort of dotting lists on Discord. I think I saw somebody with a triple ion... No, sorry, a triple yeah. flame spider um, in Separatists. You're seeing a lot of people with, uh, like, Empire Core with flamers or people have tried to go for bigger dice pools. It, yeah. it, it certainly affected my... Like, Ewoks were uh, a very, like... 
Ewoks. I, I'd, I'd put a lot of thought into in case I run into Ewoks. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because go, going into it with Blizzard, it was just such a such a hard That's game. Totally fair. Yep. Oh. <laughs> it's like giving me nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting double vision from my thing, but you guys aren't seeing it, so it's good. Uh, and we're going to... Oh, I've got to say, hat, hats off to Bushman for all the work he's been yeah, putting Yeah, this, this is one of the things that, that, that John's here, John's been working on here. I think if he had a mouse, he'd be, oh my uh, gosh. He'd be if done I had a, 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think I can do this fast enough to make it worth it without a mouse. Uh, so if any of you lovely listeners in Chicago happen to have a mouse... Please, please come and see us at the streaming Bluetooth, booth. please. <laughs> yeah, a Bluetooth mouse, please, please come and let us know. <laughs> well, I mean, I could show you guys at least what they did. But they have already long past moved through this. Oh, man, I have to. So they did recover key and intercept. So in terms of uh, any of you lovely listeners in the chat, what are you excited to see at Worlds? Any games that you'd like to see on the stream? Uh, you know, what, 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 sort of, what sort of weird and wonderful things would you like to see? Uh, it looks like a retconning of a hostage exchange. Yeah, I don't know what all the... I'll, I'm going to go investigate. Yeah, I'll see, I'll see where we're at. But I know we, oh, sorry, they didn't get rid of hostage. They got rid of major first thing. Yeah. Disarray KP hostile. Okay. Okay. Disarray KP hostile. So whatever the order was, these were the... Jeez. Something like that. Where we landed. We'll get this nailed down by next time, but hide that for now. So I think the players are just getting their deployment zones ready. Um, I think one of the longest things for EWAP players is the deployment. Yeah. 14 acts just takes an age. Especially setting up disarray, right? Oh, yeah, my God. <laughs> you've got four corners you got to measure out here. I mean, so. I, I, I feel bad for people on, like, the middle table having to play disarray with 14 acts. And, you know, well, like and, and I know, like, sometimes people just don't even take it because they're like, I don't want to play danger close. I don't want to play long march. I want to play disarray if I'm on an enclosed table because I'm not walking all the way around the entire time. I mean, from what I saw of the big French tournament in Calais, um, that was uh, just at the start of February. I think all of their tables had gaps in between each. Nice. So I think they get. Nice. Oh, I, nice. I, so I think for, for everybody. It's been a while since we've had actual gaps between our tables. Yep. Yep. But again, like, where, where else are you going to fit 260 or 270 Legion players? Exa like, yeah. You can't afford to have space in between every nope. table. Nope. Especially when uh, space is a premium here. So. Uh, absolutely. I mean, I, 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 I couldn't even dare to consider what the cost would be to, to throw an event like this, but yeah. it'd be it'd be pretty high. Yep. Yep. Absolutely, it would. I mean, I mean, MKGT costs. That's a that's a that's a high figure, and that's for a room that is not. <laughs> I mean, it's only a small percentage of this one. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking around, going, "Yeah, no, nah, I don't, I don't know radius as well as I think." <laughs> Stop, stop, trying to, stop, stop trying to sound smart, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, this is is, is, a, is this is this gent Polish on the right one? Yes. So Philip is Polish. So that um, is. So not only we have Mateusz, uh, another gentleman from Poland. Their their community is absolutely fantastic in Poland. So they they have like their own regionals built. 
So uh -huh. uh, Christoph, who does all of the stats for the um, the ELO rankings, yeah, um, they run leagues within Poland, and then you get invitationals to their own tournaments. Oh, okay. Um, they do it like you like you score points, uh, and I think like, they're getting events with like 60, 70 people. It's only over three rounds, but you kind of like retain your record over like a period of time. Yeah, um, I'd have to, I'd have to find Christoph to get the 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 exact figures of it, but. No, it's a, it's, it's a really good little system that they've built over there. That's awesome. Same with the French tournaments. Like, I, I don't think I've... I think most of their tournaments are getting at least sort of 60 to 80 players. Man, that's... I mean, like, I know there's some... Uh, there's some events I know we struggle to get, you know, 30, 32 for. But at the same time, we have a vast area of people to try and get to places, so... It's exactly the same in the UK, though. And the UK is tiny. Oh, look at that. Hold on. It's not here. Okay. Sorry. We just saw a preview of something yeah, very cool. It. Yeah. <laughs> Zane getting overexcited. Oh, I got really excited. <laughs> oh, there. Is... oh, my God. <laughs> oh, why are we on top? I said top down. Transition. There we go. Why is it stuck on? Yeah. It's like stuck on this camera. No, I think what's going on. No, no, that camera's right. But I think because I have two apps using the same, or two scenes using the same one, then I need to like refresh it, get it to see it again. No, Daniel, we are in turn six. These guys are going to start in turn six, and they're going to work their way backwards. That's how we're going to run round three here. <laughs> we, we, will, we will definitely get that uh, Oh, I'm just definitely get that, that fix here in just a second. Is your chart different to my chart? I don't know. Yeah. They, they, they will look different because you're going to see it going through another bot to get just, to that. Just not come through for a little while on my side. Oh, do we have to re-enable it since we restarted? No, I don't think so. I, I mean, I'd give it some time. I know, I know there's definitely a delay because it's literally a bot that's going to message when mm. someone in Yavin Base messages. There's a bot that's going to tell you, and that's no moon. I love it, though. If you're, uh, if you're watching the That's No Moon uh, stream right now, could you uh, put something in the chat for us just to see if this is coming through correctly? One of our players has just landed and is on his way. Exciting. Did Cockles restart the stream for you guys too? For That's New Moon? That it is not something Cockles has to do. Is it not going? Well, yeah, that's Seb, what I'm looking because Seb, Seb says he's watching him. It's just not, it's not, not coming through on here. It might be a case that I just need to refresh or I'm in the wrong video. So. Yeah, because that's like showing when a video ends like... I could just refresh and see what happens. No, it's not going to be on that link. Uh, yeah. Right? It's a whole, it's yeah, a it's a whole stream. new stream. So that's, that's why I was looking at that. So it should be that. live on That's No Moon. There we go. That's and that's probably why you're looking at the stream from the old cast. And this yeah, you're not going to see comments from this one on the other one. There we go. Yeah, hey. there we go. There we are, for, guys. For, for the viewers at home, I do not understand technology. <laughs> uh, and if you let me anywhere near it, I'll probably break things. <laughs> uh, which is why I was the perfect candidate for the streaming team. Cool, cool, cool. We got it. We got it. <laughs> All right. And that's showing up now, right? It's showing up correctly for the layer, viewers. But it's, it's doubled for us, and I'll work on that Cool for the viewers. So, guys, this is something that Bushvax here has, has worked on, is this uh, deployment zone overlay. So you can see yeah, where can. exactly players are putting their units at. I'll um, match it up to those here in a second. It's pretty close. That, that looks good. I did not expect the doubling up here, and I, I get it why it's doing that, but. It looks like we're a little misaligned, too. Oh, well. Right, so, Holly, I'm just seeing your messages. Uh, I would love to play Austin on stream. Um, <laughs> we have not played since last year. 
so it'd be a, it'd be an exciting matchup to see. Uh, obviously, I am not in charge of uh, of how of how badly Austin does in the event, but we'll uh, we'll see. <laughs> Because I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be seeing him right down the bottom, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> also, Holly, thank you for my jumper. Super nice. Super, super nice. Oh, did you get a jumper? Yeah, I got a jumper. Oh, yeah. nice. I got, one, I got one me in a towel, which is what Austin's T-shirt is. <laughs> uh, which is <laughs> which has gone in on... And this, have you seen the Diceberg? No. No, he's got, he's got me, in a, me looking weird in a towel on the Diceberg as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! That, oh, that's that flip, flip, it, flip it over. <laughs> <laughs> just bit my tongue. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> uh, no, 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 no! no. <laughs> do it! Do it! Do it now! <laughs> your faith in your friends is yours. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting him in mind. I'm getting him in mind tomorrow. So that's. Uh, that's all. That's all. That's always fun and games. Uh, I can't have it, so I don't know. It's, uh, if it's milk, I've got to stay away. Mm, gotcha. There's milk in it. Uh, Zane, you'll, you'll have to come over here for this one. This is a. Uh, you get a, uh, a real life, real life preview of uh, some things that we have. I have eleven. <laughs> Guys, this is what's great about Worlds is <laughs> the more we all keep playing with each other in these events, the more we get to know each other and have fun with everybody, and it gets better and better every year. Oh, absolutely. So the I, gimmicks that come out are just, just that much better. So I rocked, up, I rocked up to the World Team Championships in a T-shirt that had Austin sat reclining in his chair with his hands pressed together, um, and then a picture of Palpatine below him doing exactly the same, same pose with a, with a line of text under it that said, uh, who wore it better? Yep. And, on the, and on the back of my T-shirt, I had Austin Who? Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> so I just uh, I turned up into the event hall and just stood next to him for a few minutes until he looked down and went, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like what Austin would say. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, are we doing this? Are we?" <laughs> How do you guys get palp on the stream? Well, t to be honest, mate, I, I'm I'm here because it's you know it's my day off from building another Death Star. <laughs> I'm the most northern palp. Can you imagine how? Can you imagine how unenthusiastic palp would have been with my accent? <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> if your, you want to. Your faith in your friends. <laughs> out outrageous. <laughs> no need. <laughs> I just, just, ent just enter my t entertaining myself at this point. So, so we, we've, we've, uh, we, we've just seen Mr. Double Bus himself, Mr. Brian Bear. He's, yeah, uh, he's, he, he's been around. He's roaming around in a, uh, an American jumper. He's got, oh, yeah, he's, just, he's, he's got out of his kilt, which means I've, I've lost respect for him. He just changed out. He's like, he's like, i got to change out of this. The accent fits in perfectly on the Death Star, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see just a whole legion of northern stormtroopers. <laughs> oh, come on, boys, get him. <laughs> So has there's some scouting going on. And Marcel has put he walks in both corners, I believe. Already? Uh where's Philip has only put Oh, I need to update all of those all of our text here. Right, uh, folks, my round three has been called for the Swiss, so I'm going to have to love you and leave you, but I leave right, you in the capable hands of Mr. Zane and Mr. Bushman. All right. We'll see you, buddy. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Which one is blue? Marcel is blue.
Which one is the Rebel player? Rebel is Marcel. Marcel. So blue, blue. is Rebels. Yeah. Okay. And we are playing against another Empire. Yep. This yep, we've had a lot of Empire on. Four which, out of six. Which uh, we're uh, not intending to do. Um, we're trying to make sure we're getting uh, two and O players, and a lot of the uh, two and O's are kind of running the same same stuff. Um, KP. And I believe hostile. Yeah, yeah, just your KP hostile. All right, all right. All right, there you go, guys. We've got the, got the overlay set up there for you. Apologies for the delay. We were getting this cool deployment yeah. Zone set up for you guys. So, like I said, we're trying to trying to add some new stuff here. We're getting there. Each 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 uh, round, we're trying to incorporate something new as we we're getting kinks worked out and stuff um, yeah. stuff figured out. So, it, it it is pretty obvious to see where most of the um, action will be taking place. On this uh, yeah. this board, on our right, well, Ewoks are loaded in both. They are loaded in both, but they're they're stacked. The the majority of them are on. Well, if we say loaded, there's only there's three units over there. Yeah, it's just a lot of bodies, right? So yeah, it's deceptive. Yeah, he's got one, two, three. Yeah, three three units of Ewoks. Marcel has three units of Ewoks. Now placing a fourth unit of Ewoks in that further disarray point. Whereas uh, Philip here has in his furthest disarray a snow squad with Del Mico. Oh, okay. okay. And that, that's probably all he will put over there. Is his his list needs to kind of stay together. I'm surprised you don't put the. Um, your, your Boba Fett and IG-88 over there by themselves. Yeah. Um, you know, because Well, they, if he's got Boba Fett's... Um, he does have Boba Fett's rule with respect. Uh, so, he so he's going to want them capitalize. at least to be with the army for yeah. a round, whenever that is. But IG could have been on his own for sure. Yeah. We just had a Boba Fett IG in this. Uh, okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Very different list that's going up against, though. A double the activations of the last one mm -hmm. that this went up against. Yep. That's funny to think about. Where are the KPs? That's a Got one smack in the middle, as you can see. The other one. If you're looking on your screen, the domed, where you see Marcel's hand is reaching out straight in front of where his hand just was, you'll see the uh, KP against the archway. The third one is on the other side of the uh, the middle, re what is that, the green pond? It'd be the northwest corner, that little, uh, half shape there is it's it's tucked away behind well, you'll be able to see it whenever we we go okay, behind okay. so we had the handshake and yep. they're about to start all right here we go that is a han shooting uh, first sorry about the uh, and sorry rule about with the respect mess. yep sorry about the mess and rule with respect yep. i didn't realize we have a han that's yep. exciting yep. oh well i mean it's e it's ewoks it's the, it's of course the 14 act yeah wait but it's sorry about the mess and it's not reckless diversion open Okay, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, let me go ahead and turn off that deployment. I mean, as a turn one play, 
It's not bad. I mean, you're just hoping your opponent doesn't play standing orders, right? But if you're playing against Boba, you're thinking he does have that role of respect. So you're like, cool, hopefully we can keep that from happening. Yeah, but I mean, he, sorry about the mess. Like, he's trying to go first. He's trying to delete something. Yeah. I don't know what he would try and delete. Yeah, but I like even the mortars. He could pop. He could put two wounds on mortars. Maybe because the mortars were out in the open. Yeah. That he thought it was that juicy of a target. I don't know that I'd go for it. And they're not quite in the open either. I mean, one, two, a mortar if someone else shoots at it, but his only other pierce is Wicket and Chewbacca, which, I mean, okay, Han didn't blink. That's good to see. And Han didn't blink again. Good to see. He must have, I hope he was taking open shots with those because there wasn't a single crit. Yeah. And he's got, yeah, he's got up close and personal. He's got two dodges for those. So. Oh, was that? They called that open on that mortar? That was two wounds uh, on each. Yeah, two wounds on each. That is big. His Han does have up close and personal. Yep, he does. Hence the six dodges you now see. <laughs> yeah. No, Han only has sharp one. Man, if he had sharpshooter two. I would be so happy. I mean, he shoots like he has sharpshooter too, so. Yeah. All right, so Philip here, measuring range to some Ewoks with a shore unit. Where is our ha or our, our Chewies right there with the other four tokens? Yep. Okay. Yep. Is he ready to guardian any of that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A protector. He does. Yep. Okay. He's got he's got it kitted out, man. But still, he just ran Han right at it. Yep. With Boba Fett and IG surely in there, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're they're tucked away back over here by Veers. Okay. Oh. Oh, he, he's he's using the the clear promo dice. So that's why we're not seeing anything. Oh man. Here, I'll 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 just dome. One day we'll have a solution for for making dice more visible. Nah, uh, I mean he can't be hit by those mortars. That's correct because once you're at range two, you're not at range three. But he can be hit by the rest of the army. You know, maybe not Ig and Boba from that angle, but yeah. It's yeah, it's still just a it's a gutsy move. Oh yeah. How many activations are Imperial player is playing? the Imperial is uh, eleven. Wow. And the uh, Ewoks are fourteen, so twenty five acts on the table, folks. Yes. Yeah, this is our largest largest acts um, total, so
with Ewoks. It's going to be this whole turn is yep. running forward with Ewoks. But not only that, but he's going to have, I mean, all these Ewoks pressing in on both sides. He's just going to compress these guys to yeah. stick to Yeah, this, those snipers are not going to have a fun time no. trying to do anything to the Ewoks. No. Um, And where are these two players from, do we know? Uh, Marcel's from New York. Okay. Um, and then uh, Philip is from Poland. Very nice. Yeah. That's two Polish in a row, right? Yep. Two of them coming to the LCQ, mind yeah. you. Yeah, right. To hunt for their invite. Yep. The last one's still well on his way to get that, L that invite. Mm-hmm. We will see how Philip does. Not sure if it's Philip or Philippe. I said Philip. Philip? Yep. I asked him, he said, he said Philip. Easy. <laughs> Marcel just came back around for moving his, his Ewoks, just shaking his head, going, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> yeah, 14 act Ewoks normally wants to go against like 8 act, 9 act. Yeah. But even against 11, I mean, that's you're still not doing too bad because he doesn't really yeah. have much that's going to... But his acts go down quick. Yeah. That is super lucky that Han got the four wounds so early. Yep. So he has, what, one, two, three slingers, four, five, six skirmishers. Two skirmishers are fully kitted, it looks like, with trappers, axes calls the arms and duck, duck and cover. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he does have trappers, though, but he just didn't put it on the... Okay, okay. Which I'm, I'm picking it up now. Which I'm interested in, where are his trappers? Where did he... Oh, no, where did he deploy them at? Oh, um... Because that would be... No, that's a great question. Because that's a... That's where the log that's trap a seven, will be coming that's a from. That's seven... Eight-man. Eight-man units? So we just yeah. need to look where the eight-mans are at. So Those are six-man six six. up there. I wonder if you put them all down there in his yeah. opposite. I think he did. If it's two of them, that would make sense why it looked like such a big pile. Yep, yep. I think that's exactly what it did. He put his uh, fully kitted Ewoks down in the uh, uh, his opposite disarray deployment. Yep. You want to cut us over and we'll see the... Yeah. yeah that's... Oh, so IG-88 was deployed in that other oh, okay. so that's a little safer for Han to make that move then yep but yeah as you can see here uh, he, he moved those Ewoks he's just right up on top of that building looks like we got an attack here uh, okay yeah, from uh, IG-88 I'm guessing eight, man. I wonder what he's, what does he have range to? He's at range, he's range four, right? Uh, yeah, he should. Interesting. He didn't want to take a shot at the Ewoks or? Yeah. yeah our, I feel like our chroma key is getting darker. <laughs> like, well, we modify. Oh, I see. Yeah, like now you can. 
barely see what's there. We modified there. it, and it was looking better, and now it's looking worse. Yep. Okay. Okay. You want to pop some dice just yep. sitting in yep. the in the box? See if we can do anything about this. Oh, I mean, those show up great. They show up like perfect. All right. We'll see. Okay. Oh, we got quite a bit of fuzz. Yeah, those show up, but I might need to tune it back. Well, it's it's like distorting the whole image. All right, all right. I think we know the parameter to mess with, so. Yeah, Boba Fett, we'll read through it. It's our punishment until we get that blue list, red list command working. So, Boba Fett list, he's got Veers with Improv and Underworld, Boba Fett with Seas and Flame Projector, IG with IG-88 with Seas and Emergency Transponder, Del Mico, or uh, Snow Troopers with Del Mico, Shore Troopers with T-21, and another Shore with T-21, two mortars, three strike teams. Cool, and it looks like the dice are working, it looks a little bit better, but. It does, yeah. Sorry guys, this is a new uh, dice tray. Um, the wonderful Alejandro from Argentina uh, made this for the stream. Um, so he had made the previous one that we had been using, and so all the settings were to that old one, which was a different chroma key color. And so we're, we're having to adjust yeah. to, to get this, this chroma key exactly right. Um, so that way you can see the dice as you can now without it distorting too much um, or not seeing them at all. Um, so apologies for that, but also thanks, big thanks to all 100 for that. Big thanks to just everybody involved here. This is this has been a, a massive uh, community undertaking um, to get this all going. The Bombad Generals provided the majority of the equipment that we're using to actually stream with. Um, Endless from Yavin Base, uh, Bushman, and myself, uh, Zane here. We are we are operating under his his name on his behalf as he's not able to join us this year. And then the wonderful guys from uh, That's No Moon uh, in the UK, uh, we are simulcasting with them. So they are, this exact stream that you are watching, either on That's No Moon or Yavin Base, is being cast on the same video stream. Uh, your chats from both get funneled into both, uh, get funneled into one for both of us to, uh, to see. Makes it easier to, to talk to all of you. Um, and uh, yeah, huge thanks to AMG for putting on a solid, solid event yet again. Um, game up link guys uh, that thing has been working flawlessly there's what two there's a Swiss round going on and a uh, um, last chance qualifier so that's two 60 person tournaments going on simultaneously and from what I've heard from the head judges the Swiss is a is 128 cap oh is it yeah oh. so this is a 64 man cap and that was 128 Jeez. So, uh, yeah, it, regardless of that, everything is running smoothly. They've pulled all the stops out to make sure this weekend runs yeah. absolutely flawless, um, and it is. It's working out super, super well. Um, Let's see how many they landed at. So, yeah. 108 is how many Swiss have going okay. right now. Okay, all right. So even 168 players playing right now is the largest we've ever had, at least in the States. Yeah. Granted, it's yeah. two tournaments, but it's simultaneous. Yeah.
Let me catch you guys the other angle here. We'll see what we're looking at on this other side of things as things have moved forward. So it's not pulled Chewy yet, so he's he's hanging back there. Um, looks like Chewy does have two wounds on him. That's almost certainly Guardian. Yep. He has yep. no suppression, so. Yep. Keeping those Ewoks safe. And, and he might have been uh, trying to keep 3PO safe. As you see now, 3PO is up on that platform. Oh, he got wounds on 3PO. Yeah. So he very well could be trying to, could have been trying to Guardian off of 3PO. All of the Ewoks should have been able to Guardian. Maybe they're out of position. Yeah. Well, and that one, that, that text is a within. It does. It? So it does. if so they were not within, then that he would not be able to. And I don't know if he has anyone within anymore of no. C-3PO. No, definitely not. I don't know why he's not like, oh, man, that's a dead 3PO. Yeah. Especially with IG-88 sitting across from him. You can see him at the top of your screen there. Do we know who the bounties are on? Because um, there are do five not. options. Yeah, because you have Han, 3PO, Wicket, Logre, and, and Chewie. Chewie. Yeah. yeah. Let's find out. All right. We got our wonderful field man doing all the field work for us. Two surges into another hit. All right. Our bounties are on low gray and wicket. Okay. So 3PO dying stinks, but. Yeah, not a huge relevant. loss to, especially playing KP. So, right, right, small, small scoring yes. objective. Yep. On KP. Logre can hide forever and still be effective. Wicket is a little trickier, but relentless and sharp too makes it not as bad. Yep. All right, so double moving. One of his looks uh, like a slinger squad. Yep, just a slinger squad moving up there. The hit crit re rolled into surges with the crit. Blocks it. <laughs> Marcel throws it. <laughs> Marcel throws it expecting it to die, and it blocked it. He goes, oh, well, all right. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, Cockles is now. Tell, you got to always roll the dice. Oh, he went to change. He did. Oh, man. Full change out. So we've got, I think that is Wicket that just moved up there. Ooh. Let's see, you should be able to. Yeah, where's our boy Wicket? Rerolled, got his hit, piercing into someone. Yep, that was Wicket right there. As you guys can see him, he's got to remember to use this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're kind enough to help take care of meals for us for doing the stream. Yep. Twenty minutes or so, I'll probably go grab food myself. Yeah. Who who's shot or who did Wicket throw that wound on? Do we know? Let's see. We'll cut to the did other. Did he get close enough to kill finish a mortar? He did. Oh, nice. He must have got the aim from Logray then. Yeah. Sweet. Lose one.
Yeah, Marcel definitely tossing those white defense knives like he knows what they're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 3PO hadn't gone yet. Okay. Let's go see if he could get into safety. Yeah, I guess he doesn't want to get shot because I, I, I think the uh, Domico Ooh. Snows over there is what shot at him. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. It's got to be... He's got to have blue within range now. Ooh, blink. Uh, it's because it's a range one. Range one. So yeah, well, that one that's next to Chewy could be too far. Yeah, yeah. That could be pushing it. I didn't see him measuring or anything either. But it's like a shore unit looking to. Shoot into Chewbacca, maybe. Want to suppress him before he can move, shoot. Yep. Because that would be another dead mortar. Yeah. Yeah, and two dead mortars shifting it to 9 to 14. Yeah. Is, is, uh, especially pretty relevant. In, especially in, in turn one. Yes, yes. This is turn one. Good point. Beer cart ding a ling. <laughs> ding a ling ling. Hello, gents. Hey. Hey. Tell you what's quite nice. Cheese pizza. <laughs> just just cheese? It's a cheese pizza. It's very, very peppery. It's quite, okay. It's quite nice. Peppery pizza. Where'd you, get, where'd you get that at? Um, go out here, turn left. Yeah. And the, there's like the, I think it's the hotel's food thing. Yeah. So that and that. Cool. With that. Oh, sweet. Yeah, All right. a little card thing. Not too shabby. Uh, and then if you oh. want to get a Kit Kat on top, just pay two more dollars and you're fine. Boom. <laughs> I opted not for the Kit Kat. <laughs> you're welcome. Talk to me. What we got here? So we are running a 14-act Ewok list uh, from Marcel, which is on our left here yep. as blue player, against Philip from Poland running an 11-act Empire Double Bounty Veers list. Basically, kind of what we saw prior, but very bit. yeah, very similar Empire list. Yep, interesting. But he's running uh, two shores, Snowtrooper Del Mico, and two mortars, and he has uh, they're playing Disarray. And so there's, oh, uh, yeah. So in uh, this camera view, I'll switch over here, zoom out. Um, you can see on the bottom right of your screen, there's four units of Ewoks that are over there, all pressing different directions. Uh, he moved the red ones up on top of that building. He's moved some slingers more towards the middle. Um, and uh, for the most part, the Empire player only put his Snows Del Mico and IG-88 in his furthest disarray. Um, right. And they took, uh, we believe the Snows took a shot at C-3PO and yep. took two wounds there. Um, yeah, not enough Ewoks in within range one to Guardian. Yep, them. and here comes Chewie, which will probably shoot at this mortar um, and where, to take it out. Where was Marcel from? Where he was fighting out of? Where Marcel was is from New York. Yep. And Marcel said, I just came to play Legion and roll dice. I wasn't expecting to do this good. So here he is fighting for a, a, a chance to be 3-0. That so. is, it says to me, is that a man who's made plans for the weekend? Yeah. When I told him, I said, that's the best way to play. You're just playing to have fun, yeah. and you're playing loose, and you're that doing good. That was a crit from Chewy to finish the mortar. Nice. With there the aims. Is. I'm not sure. Oh, he had the aim from Sorry. So they also opened with Sorry About the Mess on Han. Yes. And Han ran right in there and yeah. put four wounds on yeah. two mortars. Han is, I'll show you guys, Han, for those of you who don't notice, is right up in this archway here. He's wearing a yellow shirt. Oh, there he is. So you get Han, then you have Wicket right between Han and Chewie. Um, he's got, Wicket's got three wounds on him and, uh, and a really? suppression. 
Yeah. It almost looks like four wounds. Who oh, yeah, that, that might be four. It could be four. I thought Wicked only had, like, four health. I thought he did, too. Well, it's not in a Han. Unless that's, I was going to say, unless it's Han, because Han hasn't spent any, a single Han, dodge. Han has, oh, three, well. Han, has, Han has three dodges, and he's in heavy cover. Okay. So, and Wicked, Wicked did kind of, Wicked moved out there to take out the first mortar um, that Han had done damage on. And then, uh, yeah, Chewie just cleaned up that second one there, so. You know, we were talking about gallery earlier. Have you seen, I don't know if you know, you won't know, but in the gallery at the moment, next to the man in the yellow jumper is Antoine from France, who is Mr. Ewok. And by that, I don't mean in a horrible, he's hairy way. I mean, <laughs> as in his 14 act, in uh, his 14 act Ewok list demolished the world. That's what I heard at, at WTC, in, in right? Spain, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So he, as the chief Ewok man, as I will refer him to, yeah, observing I, this is interesting. I think that's that's totally fair. Uh, bumped into him earlier. He I, he uh, was coy about running it, but I think he is running it again. <laughs> so I said to him, "Expect to be on stream." And he went in day in and Sunday, yeah. And I went, "I like it." <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chewie now has five oh, wounds. Sorry about that. Let's fix that real quick. We're measuring. It looks like a boba. I see a speed three out there. Nice. Yep. Boba jumping up. Taking Wicket, which if he takes Wicket, that's a bounty because the bounties are on Wicket and Logre. So with Wicket being uh, hurt already. If I, if I run bounty, which is rare, and I see certain people, like, I would always try and bounty uh, uh, Chewy. Because he's going to be because he's going to guardian. He's going to take it. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. The danger is obviously if you shoot, um, obviously handy guardian kills himself with bounty, but you can do enough to whittle him prior to finishing off. If that makes sense. Yep. 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 I get that. I think I've done it once with um, with I played a Cad Bane list, so I did that to him. It was fun. Yeah. Every other time. Didn't quite work out that way. Oh, so what do we what do we have from that boba shot? He's re-rolling, he's getting the aim re-rolls. Yeah, he blanked on both of them, it looked like. That's upsetting for him. I know, wait. Yeah. I assume then the other bubble stuff went to cover, but he's sharp shooting. Yeah. So, defense dice, here we go. Yep. I was waiting on them. Pierce? I could bring over my yeah. laptop and you could use So that should be... We'll find out what gets taken away. Oh, he guardian. Guardian with Chewie. Yep. And that's where you could get the bounty. <laughs> <laughs> yep. See, when Oli's not here, I can make some salient points. Yeah, but <laughs> Chewie, Chewie is now on eight wounds. He's got one left. One left, yeah. Yeah, so it's like... He's, he's done for. Turn one, yeah. nine wounds, eight wounds. That's... He's, well, he's prevented nine wounds going out of hand, and I suppose, isn't he? How many wounds did you say? He's now on... Chewie is on eight. Eight. eight oh, wounds. man. He's guardianed a lot, and he's not rolled well. Well, he's not supposed to. Right. But he's full on, and uh, Chewie was not a bounty target, right? Right. Logre and Wicket were the two. That's right. So it's going to be interesting to see what he does with, uh, with Wicket now being so injured. And Chewie being so injured is... That bounty is right there. What do you what do you do? Oh, and I believe the Empire Philip is, is out, out of activations, so they're just uh, helping one another. Oh, there's Log there's Logre. So he had four Ewoks down there and Logre, so Logre just double moved up as well. 
Chewy on one health is not real strong, though. See, and this, this is good sportsmanship, too. Marcel is just trusting, you know, he said, you know, I'd like to move them this way if you could just move them for me. And Philip says, sure, yeah. He's like, where do you want them? Right here. Okay. Yeah. He just moves them forward so that way he can cohere them the way he would like. Perfect exponents of the gentleman's social contract of playing. Yep. Although I, I do want to tell Marcel to cohere his units because Philip, Philip just moved him up there for him to cohere. That should be Cammy's call. Yep. Um, That's true. Yep. Yeah. Simple reckless, man, oh, reckless diversion. That is a chewy saving card right there if I've ever seen one. Yep. Do you reckon we should try and get Cammy and say? Yeah, I'll go whisper it to her. Not that we're telling her what to do, just sometimes you might not see it. She is a little further away. Right, right. We have a much better view yeah, than we got she the, Yeah, we've got a perfect view. We have all the views we want. Who are these reckless diversions going to? Han, obviously. So, yeah, so that just helps them keep the game state more. Yeah, yeah that was a game state thing. Nothing yeah. rules. Yep. You would never interject on rules. Because yep. the last thing you would want to have happen is Philip moves IG-88, and now he has range to that unit when Marcel would go, oh, I wouldn't put them there, yep. but I didn't mess with them yep, beforehand, exactly. and now I'm stuck right. in this situation. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. Just looking at the chat, chest stepping a little bit. Uh, Let's have a look. Chewy and Mele is real strong. Yes, he is, Daniel. Uh, it's popping he... CZ initiative on Boba. Oh. Yeah, uh, Tom, I think, was saying if he lives to see another turn, Notorious Scoundrels will be played. And look! You might be wrong. <laughs> well, there we go. The idea of Boba and IG being paid to kill two specific Ewoks <laughs> is hilarious to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, does Boba have a picture of them to tell who the difference between who they are? <laughs> He's got a first sample. <laughs> Vader, go, Vader goes, I want you to find this man. Yeah. What? <laughs> what is this? It's a teddy bear. <laughs> IG going, I'll just kill all the fur instead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so Boba here, popping CZ initiative. Oh, this chroma key is killing me. See how that does. You put so, flame projector out there. Flame and projector. I'm not sure why. I think he's I think using just, it. Yeah, I think you put it out there so that he's using it. I mean, that is uh, not a way around. Yeah, that is not a way around reckless diversion. Unless he's just wanting to um, just fry a unit completely. Right, but he has to. If if he's got weapons that can attack. And spends all his arsenal. Oh, I see what you're saying. That so, can attack. Like yep. he's forced to use the weapons that can attack. Yes, I see exactly. What I you're can't saying. remember if he can just throw a single weapon out at the reckless diversion target. Because you can choose not to arsenal, right? No, if you can attack, then you have to. Oh, okay. Or, or if you are attacking and you can, then you have to choose the reckless diversion target. Okay. By selecting the weapon, weapon or weapons. I'm not sure there. Okay. Um, that can hit the target. Okay. So it looks like he's 
I think he's just committing to attacking. But he got the flamethrower off yeah. somewhere on a five man. It must be, let's see what we probably see better on this angle. It's probably the purple. Interesting. Yellow. Yellow. So yellow just got cleaned up there. Okay. They were the one they were the reckless diversion target. Yep. So that's Yep. Yep. For sure. Ooh. We just got handed some of the prizes that they're giving away. Um, we can. Uh, we will show them eventually. Here. Yeah, we'll spoil some. We'll we'll show them after the uh, after the game. We'll get them on. So those are the white. Those are the defense dice, correct? Yeah, I do like those better than pictures that I saw from someone. Yep, they're agreed. not a white. They are like a, it's a marbled gray. gray. Yeah, so silver. I'm coming for my soul. Yeah, uh, I say silvery. Yeah. It's like yeah. a it's like a gray gray, gray marble. Yeah. Uh, so That's Nav, nice. Nav from the UK had uh, claimed some earlier. Nice. Um, so yeah, they're cool. Oh, hang on. Can I just see if they do what I expect them to do? <laughs> yeah. 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 Double, double blade. Double blade. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Uh, oh, can, he, all right. can he do one better? Nope. Uh, no. Oh, that one's cocked. I gotta re-roll it. Oh, all right. Of course it is. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That was cool. So Anne's come over, and so what else was in there? Just a little back So tricks. yeah, so this is like the general giveaways that they're have that they're we're gonna show them on stream here in a little bit. But we got a, a Grievous, a uh, Mandalorian Resistance, and a Genosian Warriors um, special cards, and then a acrylic uh, turn counter. counter. Yeah, yeah, that's it's, pretty sweet. Yeah, it's nice and hefty. It's good. That yeah. that is pretty nifty. To be fair, yeah. um, something I've just remembered is that. Um, Mr. Schick said on the old thing, we're going to see something apparently off of the of a, a prize. Right, and I and don't just, think it's these ones. No, it won't. These are no, I've just, just in my head, it's when he said something about a prize. So I'm intrigued now. I'm like, I'm, I'm actually oh, quite, yeah. I'm actually quite excited because <laughs> I think it's going to spoil it, or at least reveal something forward. So yes, we shall see. Do you know what's annoying, by the way? Sitting on a chair with holes on a, in a kilt. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> And for those of you who are probably going to ask, no, I'm not going full authentic because I would <laughs> like to return to the United States and there's nothing could be nothing worse than being arrested for indecent exposure. <laughs> yeah. We all appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. You, you are? I would just say, boys, if ever you go to like a party in a wedding, you get your kilt. Zane, when you get yours, if you're at a wedding or a party, whatever, and you're dancing away, it's very freeing. Oh, I bet. It's very, and also if it's really hot, it's perfect. It's perfect, yeah. <laughs> it's the so heat good. just bleeds right off. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just had to find Wee Bear and it's like, right, I'll have to do that. Go full Beyonce. Go go to costume change. Done. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Let's just check. John's is checking his power. I believe we're fine. There's a little moment of worry. That muted oh. me. Oh, I had you. Sorry. I, yeah, because yeah. I thought you were going, ooh. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, we're good. Just a little bit. Power got bumped. That's all right. 
So Chewie is still alive. It was on this end that it was loose. Let's see a little bit how this turn plays out before I go grab some food. Thank you for your um, nice responses regarding the interview. Very nice of you to speak about that. I think, well, I think we can all safely say we're all really much looking forward to what's coming out and what's going on tomorrow. Uh, I'm intrigued to know what's going on with that uh, communications point being put up there. Uh, interesting. Um, so yeah, um, intrigued to know what's coming out over the weekend from, from them. Will said he's going to pop back uh, points anyway as well, so hey, he'll pop in and see what's going on with the games because he's obviously invested in it because it's, it's his baby. It's, or his, as he said, his, his step baby, as he said in his world. <laughs> um, chat guys, what we got? Uh, only I spotted Rex at the LCQ. Uh, I haven't seen, has anyone, has anyone seen a Rex at the LCQ yet? Oh, I'm uh, sure there is. Yeah, I'm not. I, I haven't personally seen one. No, I haven't been able to walk uh, around and look, the, but the it's possible. The We've been a little spotted. locked down here. Yeah, little le the lesser spotted Rex. Um. So it looks like Han just double moved to base Boba. What? I mean, it keeps him from being shot a lot. But Did he move, shoot, and then move yeah. into base? Yeah. Okay, at least there's that. He's got two dodges, yeah. And Chewie's within range, so he gets two dodges. Nice. Yep. Nice. someone who I don't recognize. <laughs> who is he, John? This is Alejandro Sperano. He's the one that huh. brought us the dice box. Oh, awesome. So, yeah, he's coming. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's pretty damn cool. Yeah. I did get, I'd get a guest. From I Argentina. Was... See, <laughs> bueno. <laughs> and that's the limit of my Spanish. Oh, man. So, yeah, so for context, Alejandro is saying it's tomorrow. He is. Tomorrow it... Alejandro is saying tomorrow he's on it, mate. I hear. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he's playing kill team today. He says. And then tomorrow is the tryhard. I think we just had a uh, KP marker go flying. I don't know if the. Uh, oh, thanks for that, Anthony. I'll update that. You are correct. We are in turn two. Elliot, maybe you will make it next year. Maybe you will. I think I say the same for myself as well, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I do not say that for myself. <laughs> you know what? That said, I, I, honestly, if, if, if I didn't make it and didn't win a ticket, or even if I did and I couldn't go and I get to do this again, buzz, absolutely fine. No issue for me. I could easily hang out with you boys and this lot. Yeah. That'd be cool. The links we posted on Facebook yeah, are broken. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, because I did that again, used the same links that they've been re-edited, and they're still there. So um, if Tom Smith's looking into it, Tom Smith, all right, all right. I could delegate that look into you and find out what, why. The why? First, because the first one I did, I literally copied the you link from channel. Yeah. And then the second, I did a second one, and yeah, it didn't work, why? But you got here in the end. Yeah, but if it's blocking other people. I'm interested to know why. Yeah. That would be unideal. So, Tom, if you're about, please investigate. Yeah, he's there. Because you're remotely there and you can just see if there's an issue. 
Yeah, we appreciate you guys letting us know if anything's going wrong, because yeah. we are only mortal. Are we humans or are we dancers? Looks like four heads going into <laughs> someone here. There's a lot of black dice. Are we finally at Ewok Melee? No, this was white defense and a block was rolled. Uh, and, oh, uh, scouts. Scout, scout, scout. Wait, he rolled white defense? Oh, so he was defending. Yeah, it was, oh, yeah okay, gotcha, someone gotcha. someone was defending with white defense, so either scouts or rebels. I think it was Chewie because I think Chewie was guarding because he has lost his... Uh, Why did Chewie guardian at so little health? Yeah, because he spent one of the dodges. He had two, and he spent one of them. Oh, he's moving these Ewoks on the corner, up and around. Is he basing? Oh, is he basing? Let's see if we can catch it from the other side. We get a massive tree on the other side, but he has uh, <laughs> just based the... Uh, we need to swap to top down? Yeah, let's go to the top down. Uh, he's, he's just based the uh, snows, Del Mico snows. Del Frisco. Tell Miko Snows that oh top top of the top. screen there. Yep. Right below, to the bottom left of the T in turn. Yep, so those guys just went up there. We started a comment saying the um, some of the transmitters are way out of position. Yeah, yeah, this one over here they've knocked to the side. I'm not entirely sure. It's key they, positions, though. Yeah, it's key. right. So they yeah, you can just measure they know it right where back they out. Are. Well, it's, it, no, it's not intercept. It's it's not in three designated spots. It's just marking. Oh, the terrain. that's right. It's the terrain. Yeah. So they know it's that massive piece. Yeah. They Where's know the it's one? that middle one. Right there. Oh, okay. Middle, middle center. Yeah. Off. Here you go. You can see right here. Cockles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does that not be? That, that looks not? like it's barely out of say, range. I was going to say that looks really close. Piece. Yeah. Like. This is range one, right? Range one. Yeah, beyond range one of other pieces containing. Yeah. That doesn't feel. Could be very, very close. Looks like we yeah. have one hit rolling in. It went off. Here's a, here's a scenario. In a. Pure mistake with human thing. Imagine if they ha if that was the case. It was too close. Just roll with it. You'd have to. Yeah. yeah at, at this, this point, point, you can't yes. change it, can no. you? No. At That's this exactly point, you it. have to let it be. Yeah. Yep. It's one of those. Yep. Lesson learned. Next time, please. Thank yep. you. Done. Thank Which it might be that that someone. it might be that a range one just shaves right through the middle of that. Yeah. And yeah. is just there. So. Yeah. That must have been four hits into Ewoks if three of them were canceled beforehand <laughs> from low profile. <laughs> yeah, Marcel just goes, yeah, yeah, I just have to roll one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did he guardian that with Chewie? He sure did. Chewie is gone. He took the, okay. Let's swap back to All right, so these Ewoks now charging full steam ahead. Just double moving as everything over there is activated now. So, and this is perfect too, right? So like knowing he's up an ax, he lets his opponent use everything in that corner. Then he safely moves the three, four units he has in this area over there without being contested. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. All right, I'm going to take 20 and go grab some food. Yeah, buddy. Be right Do back. it, dude. Get you some. All right, all right, all right. Oh, they've left me here on the mic solo. Marcel, just so you guys know, is having a blast right now. He is fully dancing and singing beside the table, just, just hanging loose. 
And honestly, that's that's the best way to play Legion in my mind. Um, you just just hang loose, have fun, roll dice, all for it, all for it. I'd be right there with him if I wasn't sitting down behind this uh, camera controller. Sounds good. I'll be back. Just thought I'd let John know where the food was. <laughs> I, that's yep. <laughs> solid, solid. Hey, don't forget to use that coupon. Yes. Use I'm the coops. Use the coops. <laughs> use coupon code Adepticon2024 for more. Got to use the coops. Oh. Oh, I have to tell you this, as to you, Cockles, and then to those of you watching, when I landed yesterday, oh, okay. I was just listening to the, because uh, I, I was flying United, and I was just listening to the audio that was on the United, you know, it's just like, oh, let's just listen on here, you know, yep. and I was listening to, uh, it was uh, Classic Rock, which is one of my favorites, I just love Classic Rock, and it was like, it's a set playlist, so it just plays like what's next. I can't remember what song was playing, but it, it, it flips over to Final Countdown. Da -da -da -da. Exactly. As the plane is coming <laughs> into land. So, you know, it starts out, it's like 10, 9, 8. I'm looking out my window, and I'm watching the ground get closer, and I'm hearing the countdown, and I'm like, no way <laughs> is this going to happen. I kid you not. That's a life goal. The moment it hit the end of the countdown. <laughs> 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 We hit ground, and I was just like, no one else experienced this moment with me. I'm a no big fan. No one else experienced this. So. That. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah. Now, I've just lost my Wi-Fi. Oh, no. And I've just been working all day, and it hasn't been, I haven't moved it. My, oh. my, so, my, so, cause it, it reaches the guest for me. Right, 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 right. So, why has that happened? I don't know. But I'll just. Uh, I'll here, do Lewis, I will transition over so you can see the players' names at the top of the screen there. Marcel Fontenay, Oshimi Fontenay or Fontenez, and Philippe Vukic. Yeah, and Lucas, uh, player mics would be amazing. Um, we, no uh, idea. No idea why I'm going to press this to see what happens. Well, the, I, oh, I think the battery on the mic that is that we have dangling oh, from the top, I think the batteries have died. Most this likely. rig goes up higher than our other one does, so it's kind of hard to get on top of the table to change it out. We've had no time in between these rounds to get this going. And health and safety um, says don't stand on chair. <laughs> exactly. Well, and I, I stood on one earlier, and I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I trust this too much. Um, so, yeah, rather than having the players individually mic'd up, um, because that is a lot of wear and tear on the mics themselves, We've just dangled the mic, um, but we will have to. Uh, Teasingly. Yeah, and we're going to, once this day is done, we're going to lower the rig and figure out where uh, where we can put this mic to be better accessible um, to, to get this get this going. So. But hope you guys are, are still enjoying yourselves watching the stream um, from wherever you are. Um, We'll be now. We'll yeah. be transitioning now from uh, European time players who will be going to to Betty Boys. Ah, because yep. it is now in Britain. It is plus six on now if you're from US time. Uh, so we have come out to about twenty to eleven. Yep. And so then twenty two hundred going into Greater Europe, into into France and Poland. Yeah, uh, twenty to twelve. Yeah. Okay. So sleep well. Um, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and we'll be having. Uh, I, I, we aim to have uh, a really nice little fun matchup for the first game, if he's willing. Yes. Uh, and then, and then we'll, and then it'll be some European probably for the game two. Yep, yep. And then game three, four, we'll go on to more competitive. Um, so we want to spread the love. Yes. Because you all deserve it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we want to try and get uh, as many people from uh, around the world on the stream as we can. And I think we've got the first potential Bolivian on tomorrow. Yes, that is our that's the that's our plan. We contingency want as of right now. Yeah. Um, and I think Josh supports that as well. Talking nice. to Josh about it, he was like, "Yeah, do it." 
So Love that. We'll see what happens. We also don't want to put too much. But sometimes, yeah. We have with with you know with Lyle. If he says no, yeah, fine. Right. Right. Um, we always ask players, are you comfortable going on stream? Because some people, they just they don't want to do it. It's just more anxiety. It's more to do. Like, they just don't like the added potential stress, which we try to make this as... That's what Marcel said. Marcel was yeah. the same. He was like, I didn't really want to, but I'll do it. And it's like, if you don't want to... I literally said to him, if you don't want to, just, it's fine. Yeah. There's no, there's no offense we don't, we, I mean, we're here to have fun and play. Yeah. And the last thing we do is make something that's potentially can make you more stressful, even more stressful. Yeah. So, you know... Uh, we, we always ask players, you know, if, if they're okay with being. And most of the time, players are like, wow, I get to play on stream. Awesome. Cool. Yep. Let's do it. You know. <laughs> Ollie um, still hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but then there are those times where you just, you know, players are like, yeah, not, not really feeling it. It looks like right there we just had a Snow Del Mico punch into that Ewok group to kill four Ewoks. That's huge. It's... Oh, it's the attrition that's going to be the one this one. Yeah. How how can uh, Marcel and Philip ma manage and mitigate the attrition the other delivers? Yeah. Um, I am not sure if guarding all of the Ewoks with Chewie is wise. Obviously, he would have done Guardian Hand, but I'm not saying. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I would have done that, but. Just let him go. Equally, I'm not uh, an Ewok regular player right. so it's kind of like that's not my judgment call right but uh, it, this is what makes this game and well, many others as well like you pretty unique it's like I will do one thing yep. you'll do another yep. Bush will do another yep. Ollie, Andy whatever they'll all do di we'll all do different things yes because that's who how our our brains work yep uh, and that's what makes it fun like I scenario is it's like I build a battle deck some people pick it going I want to play these missions to because I know them good I build a battle deck to screw over my opponent because I'll, <laughs> I'll put in stuff that they won't like because no, generally no one likes to play disarray because right. they don't like walking around the table yep um, which is especially on these tables if you're in the middle and you're on disarray and you've got to walk around that's a pain in the neck it is it is <laughs> alright so just uh, looks like a, a double move with uh, 3PO there which kind of interesting I wonder if he's trying to get 3PO to go up and uh, base that KP Hoping he can he can get there. Oh, what does he doesn't debase it now? Uh, he's not fast enough. True. Oh yeah, he's speed one. Right. Because there, if you're looking at your screen, I'll I'll switch over here for you guys. So looking at the screen, so you can see there's uh, 3PO and uh, Wicket still alive. Um, right through uh, Philip's forearm there. <laughs> that is what you call timing. Yeah. It was like when we were being, when we had Chick on, you'd move the camera yes. around. People walk in front. It's like, right in front. Yep. Mm, I did away. it to myself. <laughs> I'd know more than to flip the camera around so you could see you guys. And then I walked right in front of the table and I was like, <laughs> yep, I just realized what I did. I just realized it. Looks like we have IG-88 here. Has moved. Did he? F did he flip to the other side? There we go. I have there the chat. Is. I have the chat back now. So. Ah, perfect. Okay. Oh, it's actually only nine thirty. So nine nine forty in the UK. So you're five into the six. Oh well. So you go to bed soon. Uh, Alex uh, Alexandra P says uh, she's not going to bed. I wonder, might she be ma uh, the the partner of Philip, or anything? No? Oh. oh no, I misread, sorry. Alexander, if you're not going to bed <laughs> until uh, not going to sleep until our guys are done with their game. He just put his glasses back on, so yeah. just so you all know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I, was, I, he was reading that sans glasses. <laughs> uh, Orin says, uh, I had a similar experience when I took off uh, took off from Dallas. We built this city was yep, playing. Love that. Right as we lifted off and I could see the skyline. That's pretty cool. As long as <laughs> Anyone familiar with the song Air Hostess by Busters? That would be quite an entertaining one to have on a flight, on a, on a, pl a plane flight. <laughs> Danger Zone would be excellent to play on the runway. No sleep while my buddy is playing. So, yeah, hi, Emil. I assume you're listening in Poland then, that means, uh, and, unless he lives somewhere else. Uh, just guess, and, or unless you're friends with Marcel. Uh, I just uh, took, a, took a shot. If you are friends with either of these two players, tell us a funny story about them. Tell us what they what they do well and how many times they beat you or you've beat them. Tell us some interesting things. 
Uh, does the LCQ have a top cut? No, it's just four games. So we'll have enough. Yep. So how, 60. Yep, and they're taking uh, four, and four, four, undefe yeah. four undefeateds so will get four undefeated. invites so the, for tomorrow. So the next game will be will, will be two people who are 3 no. Yep. Who one will move on to tomorrow yes. and one will not. Oh, gee. Yes. Yeah, this fourth game is going to be a that sweaty game. Are you, is that sure? Because surely if, he's, if he loses or she loses to the winner and the other two, surely the per and so because it'd be four. No, we, have, we have what sixty? How many are playing? So 60? we go six, sixty to thirty is after one. Right. To fifteen after two. Okay. To seven and a half slash eight after three. Right. So then the so then those eight will so play. those eight so those seven and a half, so one's going to get a pair down. Yeah. Which minute, which will be really in, uh, yeah that's that's be harsh. Yeah. One's going to get a pair down. And then the others will pair against each other to get four undefeated. Yeah. Yeah. Rough. Yeah. So, I mean, it makes tense final. It makes it like winning. It's winning in. It is. Winning in. It is. But imagine if you're winning in on the, um, on the, on the, no, so if, if you're the pair down. If you're the pair down, you're, you're, you're pretty done. much out. Yeah. 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 If you're, yeah. yeah. Uh, which, which would stink for that to happen. No. Hang on. No. Here's the scenario. The three and oh plays the two and one. The two and one wins. Making them both three and one. One of them has to go through. Because the other three of the, 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 ah. of the three games, so that with one of the three and ones will go through. There was, so that means mathematically one of the three and ones must go through. Yeah. Because if yeah, you have four, you have seven, seven three O's with one, two, and one. So that's the eight, half that. Yeah. So it will be one, three, and one. Yeah. And that will be rough. <sighs> and that'll be basically the. I'll go down to the SOS and on to extended SOS as well then. Yeah. Woohoo! Man. It might be worth looking might be worth getting the standards up in a bit and we can see if we see who's doing what in the standings after yeah. this game. We'll have a Yeah. We can make a I wouldn't say a prediction, we just make a Actually, let's let's see if we can pull it up, if I can pull it up in my game up link. Yeah, I'll get up here as well. Da 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 Oh well, let's have a look at the chat for a sec. So that answers the LCQ. Uh Four games top four, and yes, there we go. Cockle's got a side event update. Uh, with well, the Swiss, tell you what, while Zane's doing that one, I'll get the Swiss uh, on game up link and see what's going on because I think they're only doing three. Are they only doing three games on the Swiss? I think they're only doing three on the Swiss, yeah. I believe. Because otherwise, their brains will melt. Right, because those guys, the, the ones playing Swiss, are playing the main event tomorrow. Yep. So they're all Swiss for them is just kind of having fun, um, playing playing a fun game. Um, or sweaty practice. Or sweaty practice. That's exactly right. Exactly seeing that. Uh, does anyone know what the highest finish who played the LCQ and made it in has gotten? Well, there's st we're still playing. We're still playing, so yeah, that's yeah, still going so, on. Uh, yeah, that'll be determined as the weekend goes on. Oh, ah, ah, no, I think what he means is when someone got an LCQ, won an LCQ, do they know where they placed the following in, in the worlds? So, yeah, I think that's the question. Yeah, if someone confirmed the math, there will be five three-in-ones. Uh, command cards down. Uh... Log traps and a machine made for killing. So demoralize coming out and the log traps on the ve on vehicle stuff. No vehicle stuff to do it with, but would that be inter uh, interesting anyway? Let me get the side event up. All right, so we are. Legion Swiss. There we go. This is turn three, right? You've literally just gone into turn three. They've just revealed the wow. cards. Um, I think both one pips on it. On the side event, uh, I'll just give you a little. Uh, I'll give you a little top eight or a top seven. Cause someone's dropped out. I think um, the top seven currently is Andreas Roda, Ryan Slowski, uh, Matt Bronson, Owen Evans, uh, Scott Serrato, Mitch. I'm not going to pronounce his surname very well, but I'll give it a go. Mitch, Kazmir, Zach, and Danny Williams, and then eighth is Joe Lanza, but this greyed out. Um, Kevin Jones, I'm pro from I'm Kevin Jones, who I know is 2 0. Nav is 2 0. Uh, JD Nielsen at 12. David Labrousse from Spain. 
2-0. Daniel Fryson, Greg Kappel, and that's that making up your top 10 really going that way. Um, other names. Let me go through some famous, see if we can see some famous names from some of the doing. Michael Barry is 2-0. Kyle Dornboss is 2-0. I need to meet Kyle. I've never met Kyle. You've never met Kyle? Never met no, him. I know Kyle. But I... I I, I've not been here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so Kyle's 2-0. Uh, John Dunn's 2-0. Andy, Andy Terrell's 2-0. Lee Mackin went 1-1. One one. The Tempest has gone down one. Oh. That was... Un I'm slightly surprised. Uh, Nathan Gribble's 1-1. One one. Who else is anybody that's looking for sort of major names? Dave Nolan from Ireland is 1-1. One Marcus Vacker from Germany, one on one. I mean, we'll get you'll get more info as it comes up. Uh, I haven't seen Ollie Dyer's name. I'm still scrolling. All right, here we go. Uh, Ewoks moving into these shores. This shore gun line has literally stayed here since deployment. They have not moved, so this is the first time they're getting uh, any interaction with them. Um, Marcel started playing Legion about four months ago. Wow. That's fantastic. Daniel, thank you for that update. That is Yeah, man. That is very cool. He's doing really he's playing really well. He's 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 running his list very well, so kudos to him for sure. Yeah, uh, too early to say who's really leading because it's KP. It's more of an attritional scrap at the moment. Uh, so No, Kyle Kyle uh Daniel Kyle is not in the L C Q, that's just the Swiss rounds. He's just yep. playing for fun. He already has his yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. qualifier. He's just uh, yeah, just chucking. Yeah. That was me reading the Swiss. Um Zane will do the uh L C Q's in a bit. Yeah. Four months ago. Yeah, that's could you imagine that'd be the uh the, the true underdog story. <laughs> right. Comes up, wins so, the LCQ, and goes to that. So here we are for the uh, for the LCQ here. Wow, this is kind of nuts. Right now, Mateus and Philip are both one and two, or they're they're, they're two and zero, oh, but they're on the ranking. Mateus is number one. Philip is number two. Poland, doing That's, well. Yeah, yeah. So those you know, guys so are, statistically, last year at Worlds. So obviously, I was watching from afar, and I did lots of stats and looking right. through. Statistically, at Worlds last year, by nation in terms of player, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Participation and country participation. Right, right, right. Poland was the, mo the, was the second most performing nation. Ah, in terms as, of as far as like in terms a nation of who like the, won. Yeah, in terms of like the most wins to like based on uh, their percentage, percentage of wins. Of to, uh, percentage, percentage of players to percentage of wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they gotcha. were like I think they, they were like second, uh, second compared to the UK. Wow. Oli, the, and that's only because Lila, Ollie and Andy all made top all three. All made top, yep. Uh, top, 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 top four, top, yeah. top four and eight, that yeah. sort of thing. So we um, have, yeah. so right now on the LCQ, Mateos is number one, Philip is number two, Marcel is third, Preston Chavez is fourth from Dust Bowl Bounty Hunters, Brian Cook from Dust Bowl Bounty Hunters is fifth, Stuart Johnson is sixth, Angry Ewok. Um, um, our first game. Our first game. He, he is yep. seventh. Um, Chase Smith from Tennessee Volunteer Legion is eighth. Um, Zach is ninth. And that is our all of our undefeated. So in that group, that will be... I like Tennessee Volunteer Legion sounds like an actual regiment. <laughs> I, I, it does. <laughs> so yeah. something from the from the Civil War. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I know Brian Cook. Um, he's he's uh, I've I've played with him many times in many tournaments. Him and his dad are fantastic. Nice. Um, so it'd be interesting to, to see. He's running. He's running uh, CIS. So we may uh, see about jumping him on here next depending who's who he's playing against so have we had what have we had what have we not had today we haven't oh, had shadow collective we haven't had shadow there's no well there's one shadow collective that's in here um we've had rebels we haven't had clones there is have we not had clones jeez how yeah, do i miss no that? clones there's actually no clones in the top that's quite surprising yeah Been asked a question. Zane's going to answer. Zane will field. What was Zane? Uh, IG got a bounty. Oh, thank you for telling us. Yep, yep. But we hasn't got a bounty until the end of the game, if he's still alive. Yeah. But, no, that's cool. Oh, she's good. Well done. Um, well done, Philip. But, yeah, the first, the first Gar player 
in the LCQ is 19th at one and one right now. How? How? I know, I'm without looking at what the lists are. I mean, our top, the top, so the top eight, nine right now that are undefeated. There's one Shadow Collective. There is one, two, three Rebels. And then one, two, three, four, four Empire, and then a CIS. Well, let's hope it's a Shadow Collective versus Clones for the final game because we haven't had them on yet. That's Either all. that or a Shadow Collective versus uh, versus Droids. Yep. Yep. I'm still shocked. I'm still still shocked. Yeah. Philip, on the other hand, is a veteran player. Started with X-wing in 2013. Uh, plays Legion for, uh, from the from from the Premier, so I assume means to start. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that, for pa pa Pavel. Uh, Emil also says Polska Grom, which I hope I pronounced correct, but I assume means go on Poland <laughs> of some sort of way. Um, Poland, Poland can get yeah, Poland can do well in worlds. Uh, yeah, Poland. When the guys from Poland have come over to the UK, uh, they've generally done very well. Uh, guys like Oscar, Kasper, Mateusz, yeah. uh, Mickey, who I don't Mi think can make it. Mickey's a top bloke. Right. Um, yeah. So uh, the Polish guys are good guys when they come over and stuff. Who else have we got? Yeah, I've base headed over to my store for a Legion X-Wing uh, the other day from Orin. Um, headed over to my store. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, so yeah, Orin's going to set up a TV to have the streaming on again for something else, which is cool. Uh, Daniel Dosso, I've been watching Legion for watching Legion for about two and a half years. I've had my first army for about a year. Uh, paying a friend who's just doing some finishing touches on my second army. Nice. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, I've never played anything other than home games. Uh, I try to follow uh, as close to tournament regulations as I can. All good. Uh, Kevin Alexander says, I like the tech of adding Dell uh, to give yourself another piece, uh, another piece unit to the snows. And apparently I did perfect pronunciation on my Polish. Nice. Yeah. So we got this little bit of mayhem going on. Holy hell, what's going on with that Ewok balance? They just, they just jumped up to... Uh, uh, yeah, I think they're. They definitely just took out a sniper. Yep. And then they're poised to. Wait, how did they? Did they split? They scale, didn't they? How, did he base two units? What did he? Yeah, so he's got. He based one unit. And he must. And but he just took the. the no, because it was those two there. So those two there, and those two there. He's trying to keep that lead, the binocular dude behind that. Oh, I see. Cover with the snipers out yes. here. Yes. Yes. Okay. I was I was seeing them as a pair here and yeah, a pair yeah, there. Yeah, I was yeah. like, how did he do that? Yeah, yeah, no, now I see what he did. Now I see. Oh, Pierce unit, not peace unit. Sorry, Pierce. Hello, John. Hey, I'm back. What did you get? Recharge, pizza. Good nice. Night. Did you get the pepperoni or did you get the pizza cheese? I wanted the pepperoni, but it looked really old. It did. So look, uh, no, it did I'm look not a going for it. Yeah, that's probably a good call then. And for those of you who remember our British friend over here talking about how it was peppery before, it was it was normal pizza. That's just flavor, <laughs> you know, seasoning, <laughs> that thing that wow. that we add to our food over wow. here. Wow! Wow! So wow. he'll. <laughs> Let's see how it is. He'll get used to it over the <laughs> over the few over the weekend. I see. How, I see. Yeah, how we're it is. we're trying to ease him in with just a little black pepper first. And I know. Then, yeah, fine. I mean, <laughs> take 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 a, take a shot on taking a shot on our food first. I mean, taking I mean, a shot right seems there. literal. You're in you're in it's America right taking a shot. That's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's cross Atlantic banter. It's all good. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> So we were just going over the uh, the LCQ top players. There are four empires, three rebels. Remaining? Uh, two, two rebels, yeah, that are all undefeated. Yeah, three rebels. Yeah, there's top nine. So there's three rebels, a CAS, and a, uh, uh, black, a um, black, uh, shadow, shadow Flight. Yeah. No, we assume it's Black no gar. There are no Gar wow. undefeated. The first Gar is 19th, and he's one and one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the only hope for Republic getting in the top cut 
is him to win and be the paired down player. Yep. Which ideally, what we would like to try is get either the uh, Shadow Collective or the CIS yep. on. Um, we could send it on. Yeah. And then hopefully they're not paired up against one of the guys that's already been on, and then that would be perfect. Right. So. Don't worry, Kev. We all have those moments. How is this game going? Are we... Uh, well, the, um, e the Ewoks just went duh, 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 yeah, and they, took yeah. out sniper squads. The uh, Ewoks have all completely gone towards that that Empire ball that was just sitting there yeah, the, the whole time. The Shores have done had to move. Uh, they are now just ba he's now basically doing the charge of the Ewoks. Yeah. Um, spears to the left of them, spears to the right, run at them with fur and teeth. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Which. We're in turn three. There should be plenty of time. If he takes these guys out, he can get his back KP here and then flood that middle KP. Because um, all that would go on that middle KP would be IG, which IG did get his bounty. Um, he got Logre. Yep. Um, so Logre. Oh, snap. Yeah, so IG does Logre. have a bounty, which is huge. Is IG vulnerable at all, or is he, he nice is, and safe? IG is tucked back behind that building there. We can see him. Yeah, IG does have his yeah, but IG has bounty, yeah back here so he's gonna play it safe he's gonna keep that bounty and hopefully get that dang that kp yeah, um, yeah, yeah so there are ewoks just on the other side of that building though right uh of, of this kp here yeah no oh oh yeah actually yes there is there is yeah i thought so yeah so he could in he the could, middle uh, curved building yep there's two yeah. units yeah so they could give him trouble yep So we've lost, we've obviously lost Chewie on the Rebel side. Any yes. others that we've lost? Han is still here. Han has two, uh, four wounds, I believe. Oh, yep. Um, Boba has two wounds. 3PO is still sitting out here with two wounds. Um, Wicket, I believe, is still in this. That's got to be Wicket right there. I think that's Wicket right where he's putting that aim token at. Yeah, yep, that's, okay. wi that's Wicket. Do we think those two wounds are on Wicket then? If the four are on Han? Uh, oh, actually, that four, the four should be on are on Wicket because he had those prior. Okay. Yeah. So two on Han. Yep. Man, this chroma key. We're going to nail this down. Don't you worry. Yep. Yeah, we may have to hang out a little bit afterwards and just get this dialed yeah. in a little bit more. But the, the issue for us today was we had... Pretty much most of the equipment put up yesterday, last night. Yeah, we but we did not have, have internet all. until this morning, so yep. we couldn't see anything until this morning. And then we only had an hour from when the doors opened, when we could get in here, to when they started letting players in and getting yeah. things going. So we were we were busting this morning uh, to get this going. Taping up cables everywhere and yep. all that bollocks. Sorry, all that rubbish. All worked out in the end. Though. Oh, so Slingers, Ewok Slingers just moved up, and he's now taking a taking a shot at these uh, scouts on the roof here because he's not in base contact with them. For a crit and two crits, two crits. That's that could be all he needs. Oh, saves by one. Yeah, that's a surge in a blink. Yep. And guys, stay tuned. After this game is over, uh, I will get up and show these uh, cards and yes. these dice and this yes, acrylic yes, 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 yes. Uh, turn token um, on stream here. Um, so stay tuned. We will show you that uh, live, what that looks like. And then I believe we may be doing some giveaways as we get into um, the actual Hopefully. tournament. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, I, I, um, we, 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 we are. Yeah. So. Maybe. We will we will be revealing all of that uh, tomorrow. Yeah. So. I will, yeah, I think we'll we'll pester um, AMG and just yep. say, can we know, and then we can show. Yep. 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 So we will we will be sure to uh, to get you guys some uh, some goodies headed your way. 
Which should I mean I totally will can e can mail those out to people in the U.S. and then Cockles if someone yeah, overseas so gets it. Then the, the perfect thing is obviously we've got team thing going on. Yep. You guys do stateside. Yep. We do Europe side. Yep. Look at how that worked out quite well. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's, so it's like <laughs> it was planned. It's like we made it <laughs> that way. All right. So what do we got here? He's got a shot. Oh, I believe this is the uh, snow unit trying to take out um, the last bit of Ewoks that are left over here. I think there's only a few. It's hard to see. I see two surges. Going to hit down the ball. <laughs> so so third, surging unit. Four. Yeah, it looks like that Ewok unit is gone. Which, I mean, you think about it, he, j he tied up that unit for two turns to not do anything but just punch Ewoks. Right. So, not terrible. Is there anything, to quote for is there anything south of that image underneath? Uh, down, I don't believe so. No, I don't, no, no, I don't no, it, think so. No, no, it is all here in north, so. Uh, yes, Kevin, it is uh, interesting the Empire list is doing well in the LCQ. Where is he going with 3PO? Do you all see? Do you see where? What is he? He's going to his other Ewoks. Yeah. Guardian? Because everything over there is activated now, so he's not at risk of all right. getting attacked. He's just keeping him safe. And he's not a bounty target. Right, right. And he's a low cost unit, so you're not worried about kill points on him, so. Well, let's try and nail down what our kill points were so far. So Chewie's died. Anything else from Rebels? Uh, he's lost. He just lost a skirmisher unit. I think just a naked skirmisher unit. And then he's lost another naked skirmisher I unit. Because he got, he got flamethrowered and lost the yellow squad. And then he just lost the squad that was in melee. And then he's lost uh, Logre and, um, and Chewie. So he's lost four of his units? Yes, I believe so. And our other player, our Empire, lost both mortars and a strike team? Both mortars, a strike team, and I, th I think he's close to losing a shore unit. One, two, yeah, he's, yeah, it's close. All right. He's lost four units. Cool. Sk skirmishes with Axe, naked yep. skirmishes, yep. Uh, slingers, and Chewie. He hasn't lost Logri? No. He didn't say Logri. Because that's where the bounty came from. Maybe he just forgot to mention it then. As that's possible. <laughs> okay. So he's, he's lost still, he's, quite a bit. He's still got um, tokens in his bag. Mm. So that's the issue there that he's working out. He won't know fully until he draws them. So it looks like we've lost five units, so we're down to nine, and then down to eight in the other, in our Empire player. Yep. This is KP. Ewoks indeed. jumping up and over. There we go. Going for IG. Cameron Gordon, the messenger here. Any speculation of what AMG has in the pipeline for Legion? <laughs> this one unit is now on a stay. I would suggest, Cameron, Whoop. that uh, if you get a chance to watch back, go back to our second stream, go towards the end if you don't watch, if you haven't got the time to watch all of the game. We had an interview with Will Schick, who yes. told us quite a, quite a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, the bit, one of the interesting things I found was also the concept that, that how long it takes to do the sculpt and how far and back and throw and to and all that sort of stuff. Never thought about scale. Yeah. Yeah. Until he yeah, said the, it. The like disproportionate uh, aspect that you have to make the heads bigger and the hands bigger when yeah. you're scaling it down just so your brain registers it. Because you never think looking at them, like not common eye, is yeah. going to think that it's scaled wrong. Yep. By the way, 
as part of my costume change, I modelled, I've been given a jumper from Mr. Miller. Nice. That's Austin made that. I love the sparkles oh, on okay. it. It's sparkly. <laughs> um, so he gave me that. And then uh, obviously he showed me some of the things, part of his, his and Ollie's uh, banter battle, as I shall call it, <laughs> involving T-shirts and all sorts of stuff. Love um, it. Which his mum has been got, and his dad have got involved with. But I'm not joking. Tomorrow is going to be hilarious when they both reveal what they're doing. Tomorrow is going to be a good day. Tomorrow <laughs> is going to be funny as. Yep. Um, so stay tuned. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just fun. You're welcome, Karen. Let's see, what are we... Okay. Yeah, Kevin, your, your comment about the HH12s, lots of, there's lots of... Um, because there's no one so list beats all at the moment, there's lots of... So Kevin's comment was uh, surprised to see lots of HH12s in Empire lists. Oh, I'm not but, surprised about that. Yeah, I'm just saying, for me, no, just because you, there's no one list at the moment that is a beat everything. So there's a rock, paper, scissors lizard spock scenario going on yeah and you need you need impact a, you need impact to deal with a bus did, or the ducks did boba just disengage because no. han was basing him and now he's not no well what command card are we on did he play his or we're still on whip three. cord no it may be he wasn't based and he just happened to be close Maybe, no, but maybe. why would Han walk to him that close? Right, and then he was right there to be shot at by all those shores and yeah. didn't, so. Uh, we're in this hard part of. Yeah. We leave him to it. Interesting. I'll ask. Let's just see what's going on. I'll just ask where did Boba go and see what gets answered. answered. <laughs> Whoa, oh, I just some noticed. straight fire on the defense roll. I Two blocks and a surge and a blink. I just noticed 3 po has gone, too. Gone dead gone? Yeah. Well, he was in the middle there, he yeah. He was just sitting there because he double moved out there. Yeah. Well, he double moved. Was that last round? Are, Are we, we on turn four now? I didn't see cards. I didn't see cards either. I wonder if they snuck into turn four. Yeah, still turn three, so, okay. Oh, okay. C-3PO must have got sniped. Here's the yeah. answer. So Which I'm wondering what he did is he used the snows to punch the Ewoks and then shot with Del Mico into 3PO. Can you do that? No. Okay, then I don't know how 3PO Not if, if you're in melee? Yeah. No. Not unless you're versatile. No, you can't. Yeah, versatile is the only way you can shoot out if you are engaged in melee. Ah. ATSDs can shoot out because they're never engaged. Gotcha. So the answer to the question, and we didn't, I can't believe we need, any all three of us didn't go, well, that'd be why. Hand disengaged. What? what? Hand disengaged from Bobber. When? Just that's when that, that's one of that. I thought we just watched him walk into that. No, so hand, yeah, he moved him over, and then I think he made a mistake, and now he's moved him away. What? So he's disengaged him because he's out. He wants him out of the fray. Because I think they're engaged him, him there. But either way, he just said hand disengaged, so I'm just going to leave it at that. They're yeah, in the okay. game. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. All right. You can do like weird. Uh, sorry, Kevin Alexander asked no split fire in melee, or he said stated, uh, you can. Split attack split, in melee, split but it still has to be melee. If you have arsenal or multiple weapons and you're engaged with multiple units, yeah. Because then those are all melee weapons. Uh, well, no, I mean, yeah. Who else has got versatile? That's Grievous with his pistol. Din with. Uh, Din's got versatile something. Yeah, yeah. That's his, his his pistol. Are they the only two? Maybe. Maybe. No, I six. feel like. Three PO log raid. Oh, so it's six, log ray. Chewbacca. Okay. 
Cool. Marcel just updating us on, on the units that he's lost here. Is this correct then? Oh, yeah. Three PA Log Gray, Chewbacca, Skirmishers, Slingers. Yep, that's it. Okay. Yeah, so we're probably looking at 307 points lost on the Ewok player and yep. 128 only lost from Empire. Yep. Here's our whipcord against a two pip of some sort. I'm thinking that it was a Ewok two pip. Yep. But I went away too quick. Well, here's the thing, too, right? The four units of Ewoks that he deployed and that other disarray uh -huh. took three full turns to finally get into action. Yeah. You yeah, know? it's painful. Um, whereas if he'd only just stuck, like, one unit over there, could have could have changed up a lot more. So. We think there are... 15 minutes left <laughs> for reasons we think there might be 15 minutes left ah okay ah all right just putting a complete I mean, leave they're in turn three we right that's confirmed or sorry they're, they're in, four. in turn yeah. four now we looked at when the times died and just gone down that <laughs> <laughs> yeah and see and this is where it gets crazy right because they're not going to make it into five well and the other thing is too is Nobody's contesting the middle point. Right. Nobody's touching it. They both, they both don't know when time will end. So nobody will go, oh, time's running down. I need to run a unit there now. So the middle point could fully get nothing on it. If he just keeps all of his Ewoks touching where IG is, then he could get that position. Yeah, bounty won't matter. If, if the Ewok player just keeps this pressure on yep. with most of his units, even though he's dying, yep. he can have one or two pull back and hit the points, Yep. and that's game. The other thing is, though, is he needs to make sure his unit leader is touching that terrain. If he's, if he's just running Ewoks around and they're not touching. I feel like, obviously, where he's trying to put Bobber, I feel like he, he, what he's going to do is just go out there and then go, see you later. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah, so he just whipcorded someone, a uh, Ewok uh, squad, looks like. Yes, yep. Yeah, because now they can't follow him up the building. Yeah, he wasn't yep. worried about Han, I guess. Yeah, Han is the the real menace against all these red saves, but unconcerned. That's on uh, Wicket. Oh, is those, it Wicket? Oh, yeah, sorry, Wicket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's a shot, probably three hit, four hits. Is that this Boba? is Boba into <laughs> three saves. Oh! That's oh! Han takes a single wound from a full boat. Wow! I think beautiful. nice dice. Nice no, dice. No. Nice dice. That is a nice dice. <laughs> yes, Kevin, we are turn four. Yeah. Did update them. I wow. think Philip was annoyed with that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean it was a, it was solid, solid, uh, <laughs> solid just, shot. Just heard all three of us go whoa, and then looked over, and I was like, sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but that's the nature of it. You know, that's that's what happens. We're we're here to commentate. Yeah. So. Um, and, and, and when you get white dice rolling like that, that's superb. Oh, yeah. Superb. So uh, skirmishers here uh, surrounding this lone scout trooper who's having probably PTSD flashbacks of Endor. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've all played the Battlefront mod. Bit oh, yes. Works, we? Yes, yes. We've all been there in that dark forest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's the, what's the name of the scream? Oh. Oh yeah, the Wilhelm scream. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm beginning. I'm hear that more and more in every film I watch now. It's insane. Did you hear the uh, scream for our Blue Knight announcement last night? <laughs> Whenever they were like saying like how like daft he was and how brave he was and he makes grown men scream and they played this like it's a scream I've heard before. But when they played it, I was like, oh, my gosh. That I was, had not heard Wow. That. Yeah, I was like, it was <laughs> that, like, <laughs> scream. I was like, oh, my gosh. I was too busy thinking, how have they managed to get away with having a very, very close parody of the Halo music? Very, <laughs> 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 very close. All right, so what do we? 
the teddy bears so are indeed out for blood Zeke. i think it is phillips move <laughs> yeah daniel i uh, never expect white, white saves to work and when they do you're pleasantly surprised no that's exactly yeah, yeah. Andrew Lynch, you got to make sure that you're logged into Game Uplink to view lists. Yeah, and they were there was actually a bug earlier, but um, they did. Yeah, for, it's yeah but, but it's it's been it's been uh, rectified now, so you shouldn't have shouldn't have that issue anymore. But apparently, before, unless you were in the event or signed up for it, then it wasn't showing up for you. So. If anyone's interested, uh, Wales beat Finland in <laughs> football. Oh, there you <laughs> no go. phone giving me headlines about the sport. Diffs won't be happy. <laughs> the Electro Whips have versatile. Well, thank that's you another, very yeah. much. Paul Jones. And someone also mentioned Boba, Boba Fett's rockets are versatile. Oh, are really? yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. So as a man who's about to get into Empire, Those I look forward rockets. to this. So I have, I did, but I have the bounty hunters already and all that sort of stuff, so it'll be fun. What is this, a three. Domico shot into Ewoks? Three and a surge. No. Blanked. Yep, yep, Domico shot. That's what it was. I think Phillips turning a little bit in the attrition battle. I feel like the minis on the Ewoks are now starting to melt away a little bit more. Oh, they've been melting. Yeah. Oh, God, well, yeah, they, yeah. yeah. You just see so much on there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So many furry minis. Yeah, so, Paul, on the Electro Whips, uh, Electro Whips, if you're not using them in melee, what are you doing? Basically. <laughs> just, just pulling Indiana Jones. Whoosh, whoosh, just <laughs> whipping pistols out of people's hands. Like. <laughs> We've got visions, visions of an Ewoks and they're going. <laughs> with a spear spinning around. And then hands and then just go. <laughs> 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 All right. So he pulled IG here. Uh, Alexandra P updating Mateus has won his third game. Ooh, I, all right. Is there a prize for winning the LCQ straight off the bat? Like a you top get to play tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, like, is there like a I'm little, sure like a more mini, prize tickets. Prize yeah, thing. I think just tickets. No, so, uh, yeah, that's yeah, the biggest tickets, thing. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he's on, what, 30 tickets now? He's won every game. You get 10 every time you win, yeah. oh, which wow. I need to go actually That is a lot get. of crits. What are these five crits going into? I'll go over here. I'll go see Joshua. Into that Ewok squad? All blank. Can you see them all, though? Oh, man. Oh, wow. That was devastating. Yeah. That was, IG. that was white dice doing white dice right there. Yeah. That was huge. That was a huge turn for Philip. Yeah, those Ewoks that once were able to maybe overwhelm IG yeah. are probably just going to die. Yeah. Yeah, especially with the uh, Snow's... Uh, shooting at the other squad over there. Uh, Anders, maybe there, he's talking about the Electro Whip upgrade for the Magna Guards, not the uh, not the Sabine Electro Whip, not the or hers is Electro Grappling Line. Yeah, and you know not what? the Boba Fett Whip Cord either. You know it. Is is so high? Like, it still irks me, but Sabine's whip being able to keep people in a in a close transport, just oh, that's awesome! It hurts me it. to this day. You can't see them. It's oh, like but she whips them. It, whips I, them that's good. what that's <laughs> that's what gets me. It's like you imagine like people sitting in an SUV and someone outside just like whipping the outside of the doors. And the only thing is, they would be like, we don't want to get out because you're gonna whip us. Like that's the way I make that see work. Well, so so they have handles, right? And she whips right. the handles together. But only on one side of the vehicle. You still get out the other side. Nah, it reaches all the way around. <laughs> she whips the whole vehicle <laughs> the together. The whole thing. It just it just and grapples it just the whole open. thing. Closes all the doors together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, nail the perfect. Makes perfect sense. See, I look at it as like they're all sitting inside and they're like, dude, just get out. And he's like, no, she's going to whip me if I get out. <laughs> like, do you want it? You get out. And the guy's going, no, no, I'm not sitting there. You are. You get out. 
that's how I see that. And I only see that because, like, Florf did that to me with uh, my fleets in a bus um, at Lone Star a couple of years ago. And I was just like, that's a thing? And he goes, oh, yeah, it's a thing. And I was like, oh, great. And basically, my fleets just rode in a bus the entire game because she would just be like, whip cord. And I'd be like, awesome. <laughs> I'm glad these guys decided to get in here just to ride a bus the whole time. All right, so that, that Ewok unit just blocked something here. I saw white dice blocking, though. That's always always good for Rebels. We've got a nice whoa, whoa. Let's see what Han Solo's up to. Two suppression. He might only get one act. No, this Wicket. Sorry. Ah, yep. He's based with a... Wicket oh, just did wow. three wounds right there. Holy. Did He He, he just took off that... Act. Yeah, he just took off that short trooper unit. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know if he aimed first, but if he didn't, then free action. So this is what we got going on from this side so you can see better. Both shore units are now gone. It's just Veers left in that corner. Um, you know, I would almost just leave Veers and just say, cool, whatever, and then just run those guys to contest that middle point now. If he knew that time was going to be up in four minutes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But if you're expecting five or six rounds. Right. Well, they'll still get a 15-minute warning. Right. So, But if they don't start the next round in four minutes, yes, then this yep. is their last. That's true. Which I think, they, I think they will. I think everything is pretty much gone. There shouldn't be much left out here. Yeah, it'll be pretty close. It's closer than I expected after how slow the first couple rounds have been. Yeah. Had a blank. Was that Boba? Fi that was Boba finishing. Uh, no, nope, no. That I'm was that mixed was mixed up on sides. Yeah. Melee it's with so a symmetric. <laughs> yeah, melee with a, a sniper, one sniper. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, sweet. So what's our allocation for prize tickets to for on stream? They get ten for winning. Yep. And then eight for losing. And if wow. They, yeah. That is a lot for losing. Uh, yep. Okay. But I don't think I don't think they're I don't know if they're getting eight out there. You think? It, but they get ten out there. Or for winning. So maybe right? it's the same. Maybe it's ten it was, and eight. I thought it was ten and five. So what are the other three? No, here it's very here good it. question. Don't know. <laughs> maybe yeah. in case of a draw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no. If there is a draw. Then uh, they split the last two. Yeah, they split two. it in half. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we get no, we, no, no, we get them. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gonna, if they decide to draw, it comes. We're going to take our really six some, prize really tickets. To <laughs> dice. We're going to split those yeah, six we, among us three. <laughs> it, it's just like the kids are going to Chuck E. Cheese's and they're like, if we put our tickets together, we can get the frisbee. <laughs> like, right. And then we all three have to share the frisbee. Yeah. <laughs> my turn to have the frisbee. I'll take the frisbee Friday. I get. This is my weekend to have the frisbee. So we got five full hits coming in. They get ten and eight. Who's, yeah, who's, that, going, who's eight. that going to? Is that is that a Han shot? No, that was five dice, five attack dice. They will be. Um, I'm going to make a guess. They may be into running to the time three, at some point. All soon. three saves. Yeah. Um, one blank though. So who is this? Uh, Beers. Yeah, because it was red dice. Well, it's Empire. It could be any of them. Or if Empire's defending. But the only thing over there left is Veers. Sniper, everything everything up that way is already gone. And so it was only... Oh, no, it was something there. over here defending. Yeah. Was, could have been. Is the, his mate's gone. Oh, okay. It's the sniper. Because his friend's gone. I'm just going to ask them to move that buckle. Oh, man. All right, I'm so Han mixed up with the sides again. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Han is moving here. More Ewoks made it over here. I didn't see how many Ewoks made it all the way across the field here. So there's one Han shot into... So that was a crit and a hit into someone. And there's and a another crit, crit hit. and a hit. Just auto wounds for Han. No reason to roll. There's no impervious. But he rolls. Who's... Oh, he's. Is that must be Boba Fett. Uh, yeah, it's got to be a shot into Boba. That's the wrong amount of impervious dice if that was Boba. That might must have just been a roll to roll. Not 
Rallies one off of some unit. Oh, this is his uh, immobilized unit. I think. Oh, so they did not make it. They do not get to start another round, I, I believe. Oh, wow. That would literally have just come in. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez, that's horrible. Got to find it. Oh, we're... It's only like the fourth time that's been picked in. Uh, can we get a top-down view just to have a look and see what's where? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they are talking. Uh, now. Judge just told them they had 15 minutes and they have not started the next round. Do you want to find out? Kami. Kami. Are they starting another round or that? find out. Things are being checked. Things are indeed being checked. So here's the scenario. Here's the scenario. Both players have just finished a, a round. They've been told that there's 15 minutes left. Pretty close to on the dot. On too. the dot as well. Yeah. Can they get another turn in? I don't think they'll get a full turn in, but you do. You should you get leeway on a little bit on the stream anyway, and but uh, not our call to make. It's not our call, correct? So I they think are they playing are. Yeah. cards, so, so they're it's going literally going to be a race of yeah, race to the race to race to points, as in race to the race to the key positions. Yeah. Now both players know that they're short on time. Yeah. So working left to right. Uh, so where's so it's that one there? Has Ewoks any chance of the snow troopers making it? Whatever is that? Just, are they in melee there? I think they might be in melee. So the snow troopers are I not think making it. Most things are tied up in melee by now. Apart from Boba. Yeah. Who is up here? Ah, uh, you got some Ewoks there, but if they're not there, they're not scoring. Right. So he wins the one on the left underneath the card. He wins. Oh, hold on. I think oh, they're geez, calling that's it. That's it. That's horrible. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. But. Here comes Zane. So, just ran, talked to Josh. They have not finished this round. Time is called, that is it. They do wow. not get to play another round. They literally so. didn't even get a chance to put it out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, who I, Marcel's not happy. Who well, it, it also wouldn't have changed anything. It's not like you would have played differently like to just, make that happen. He's not happy about the time. You can see the, the conversation going on. I, which I, I get because he can make plays to make it competitive. Philip wins now on 1-0. 2-0 because he has bounty. Oh, is he no, no, that's the bounty, I think. Well, he's, he's also basing the uh, key positions. He's not, so he's not basing that one. He's basing this. He's basing the bottom thought, right it's here. It's not that one. It's that one there and that one there and that one. Oh, that's, that's right. It's, no one's so basing no one the far right. Any, no so one's basing in, the middle. One nil. So it's just the one with IG that has anyone basing. Well where's, well, where's IG at? I think they've already picked up. Oh, have they? Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess Philip is already cleaning up and saying, yep, good game. See you. But... Unfortunate. Zero because I have oh, okay. Yep, just so confirmed. One nil. Uh, 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 ticket stuff there. Been telling us that I'm left over on the other side. Yeah. And so I made a decision to move, thinking I still had time, not realizing there was 15 minutes left. That's, so have you heard that? That's the state of the game now. Yeah, yeah. No, it is what it is. Yeah. It happens, but it's it nice to know that this judge wasn't going to be doing the same thing as the other judges. So it's a shame for you guys to change.
I think Marcel's a little upset there, which I'd understand. I'd be, I probably would be too. Uh, completely understandable. I don't know if I agree with him saying he probably would have won. Uh, only reason I say that is you've got Bubba there, double he double moves into the centre. I don't think he's got anything to counter those move to the centre. Now that we get there fast enough. Nothing. Yeah, that's what I mean. Nothing's going to yeah. get there quick enough. So he probably get. So it would be, he'll win one. He'll get one. Philip will get two, and then he might he might move his arms there. So it'll be. He'll win two one on KP. Yeah. But he'll get two to two and two then to two, kill points. And I think he'll and he'll win on kill points. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I think, uh, what? Uh, yeah. Are you, close. He, he might win the mission. He might not win the, the round the match. Yeah. Right. Um. So yeah, that's. Uh, I, I I get it. I'd be annoyed a bit as well. Yeah. Especially especially if there might not. He mentioned maybe a consistency issue. Apparently, other uh, judge might let it. He mentioned whether I'm. Right or wrong, but hey, it's, it is what it is. But he's yeah. gone over. They've had a hug. I think they've. Yeah, that's they, yeah. not. Yeah. Hey, it's it is what it is. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, go over to this camera here. If you want to pan over to uh, this shot, and I will show you the, uh, oh, the cards, the dice, and yep. the acrylic dial. Yeah, go for um, it. Which are, I think, the, what they said. These are the these are prize wall. These things, are part, prize, this is part of the prize wall. The no, dice I are prize these wall. Are participation. Or these are participation for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think two, th two <laughs> things. These are things that you can get while you're yes. here. Yeah, <laughs> having that, I'm sure. Uh, two things can be positive of Yes, that. yes. So these are things you can get while you're here. I will jump on camera and show you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, Dan Thompson saying, yeah, sucky format. Uh, I never liked this format, which is why we never did it at major events. Yep, I think maybe these are one of those, like, lessons learned situations. Yeah. Who knows what goes down. Uh, so. Dun, 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 dun. Nope. I was about to say, the other one? Here we go. Right, could you uh, we'll get them to take the command card out? It'll be Andy as well, I think. Yeah. Zane, if you take the command card out, please, because you've got that over the left. Lovely. There we go. Cheers, dude. So, we have uh, our uh, General Gr Full Art General Grievous. Full GG. Full GG. Two-sided. That I think has been out already. That was one of the previous kits, but so that's that's available for has everyone. Has it really? I've got. I think I've got one. I know we've had General Grievous before, but I didn't unless think I've seen that art. Full art. I'll have to check my cards. I think I've got that one. Here we go. Is Josh? No, the the Empire player won on bounty. No one yeah. scored KPs. Yep. Yeah, no. Here comes the die. Right now we have uh, Mandalorian, Mandalorian resistance. resistance. Alt full. Almost full art. There's full art. There you go, there's the full. Uh, no. uh, Ollie, I'll let you get your headset on. Here we are, Dyer. How you doing? Yeah, good We're looking at you. prizes first. So, Alt, G and Oceans. Pretty good. Flip around, full. Spicy. Yes. I love that art. Yeah, that that's background fun. is that's cool. just fire. Uh, Ollie, fill you in here. We just had, literally, they finished their round. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. And we uh, have an uh, acrylic round counter, yeah, acrylic, mind you. It looks, it looks like the cardboard, but it's acrylic. And then the dice, uh, the dice are pretty. Those are the white defense dice. Yeah, white D. And um, and the gray is enough contrast from the white to, yes. to make a difference. Like, it, it's not as bad as, like, the white attack dice have been. Um, I think it's good. I like it. That's cool. And there we have uh, the uh, show there and tell. Is. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so here's a scenario for you, Ollie, we, that you've missed on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Zane. Um, literally, they finished their round, and it was the 15 minutes flipped. So they couldn't start their last round, and no one was on any, any key position. And I think they were going into turn... F they would have been going But a bounty in. had been scored. But a bounty had been scored. They were going into turn five. So, uh, so no one could score. Um, Marcel, a bit unhappy because he felt like he had a chance to, to do something. The Ewok player. The Ewok player. Uh, so yeah, a little, little annoyed at the format. So what happens? What I would suggest for players to do uh, when they're getting to Look the start of their rounds phone. is to get your phone out as you get to the table with your opponent, and as soon as you get to the table with your opponent, you've you said hello. Start a two and a half yeah. hour timer on your phone, just so you have some kind of clue. Because although, if, if you start here pretty much as soon as you get there, you can assume that you're probably like a touch before or maybe on when they're going to start the round. And then unless they, they're all, all blank on reds, which 
if we're going by right. my, my results today. <laughs> they, they will. Oh, hello. What happened in game three for you then? Uh, just like, like rolling like seven saves on a unit of Black Suns and failing five. Ouch. So I was like, oh, cool. Get rid of the rubbish rolls today. Yeah, well, again, like it's all, it's, it's all learning today. So I'm equally happy going 0 4 as I am 4 0, so long as I'm learning stuff in each game. Uh, and it's it's a it's a huge well it's a huge that's not a word it's a much larger array um, of lists to play into especially ones that you don't get to play at home so you know like mistakes in deployment like turn zero especially in that, that in that in, in my last game then just gives me a better shout to to look at it but yeah um, right. as as much as I am um, I think that Galactic Conquest the the theme of it is interesting however I think. I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to they're trying to make it so that the players can't slow play. However, sometimes when there are difficult decisions to be made in game, what it's going to, in what, what, well, what it's going to get me to do if my opponent is playing, not slow playing, but like is measurably slower than I feel it's, like he should it's be. Taking you, dis, taking conscious decisions time. Yeah, then you're gonna be, you're kind of gonna be there like, well, come on, hurry up, like, because I because I don't know what time it is. So it adds an extra layer of stress yes. to your game that I could that that you could just do without. Yes. Yeah. Um, and that's uh, it's 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 a really it's a really hard one to gauge because like a, a game like that where nobody's on the key position because nobody's got any idea what 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 time you have left on the round. My I would my comment on this one this particular game is maybe they both could have been a little bit quicker. I think if you yeah. just I think if you told people when there the round starts, there were 25 acts on the yeah. field. No clocks, no ask, no no asking how long's left on the round. But if you know when it at least starts. Then that you know that still strips away the or how long's left on the round the slow play yeah. element of it, but you've got a good idea where, where like where you can start from. Um, but yeah, like I'll I'll play devil's advocate here a little bit. So it, we're gonna have like so, we're gonna have some uncomfortable scenarios. What's Dan um, Thompson saying? He, he was talking about the timer issue or, or so about setting a can't timer make yourself. Notes play. So you it, it isn't it isn't making notes, and there's nothing in the document that says that you can't start a timer yourself. Right, right. Like, it's not and be, be, because you're not you're not actually making any notes. It's not right. like you write down time at started. Yeah, maybe you're setting a timer for when you need to yeah, eat I've a got, granola bar. Need a, I've got to set an alarm. I've got to take some medication. Right. You know, if 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 they're if, if they're going to add a level of stress to the game, then it's I think it's within players' interests to take some stress out of the game. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, you know, it's it, it's it, it, it's all it, it it's always about like. We're all here to play a game, and and that's it. And you know, I'm I'm getting it. I'm get I get it. It's going to be stressful in some matchups. Right. You're playing some of the hardest opponents in the world, so you've already got like loads on your plate. Um, so adding extra to that to me, especially when you, it's going to be like four rounds, probably of like some of the hardest Legion you've ever played tomorrow. Then yep. yeah, you know, you have to kind of yeah. take it with a pinch of salt. Here, here's the here's the skinny, as I as I'll put it. Um, we're going to have a lot of uncomfortable situations. We're going to have a lot of, with how many games are going on this weekend, there are going to be a lot of games that end like this where the players are caught off guard. I think their hope, whether or not it's a good hope or not, but their hope is that the impact from this game and the stories players share, share from, oh, I have to stay on top of the time, is going to influence the entire population to be more cognizant of the time and play faster. Well, yep. I, I think that's I think that's I think that's fine, and I, and I do. But think it's, it's going to come like it's going to come after we get over this hill. Yeah, and and it's going to take some time oh, to get there. I, I think <laughs> I think they should I, I think they should remove the random round time. I think that's I think that's a bit a bit odd. Yeah. Um, just with because some some lists are really favoured to get in that extra. At least it's not randomly subtracting. I mean, <laughs> no, but like some some lists are really favoured to get in that extra five minutes. But is are some lists? Do some lists really need that two hours and thirty five compared to the two hours thirty one? I, I, like, I think so. I don't. I think, I, so. I think so. In that, in, I think in, in if the that's the case, then you could play five minutes faster. You could find five minutes of your own time to shave. You you could, but. Again, how when you've when you're already playing a very stressful game, yeah, in a in a hall, everybody's tired, everybody's travelled. Is that really going to be at the forefront of your mind? And I think the answer to that is no. Mm. Personally, that that would be my answer. Like I've travelled, like I've travelled five thousand miles. Like it's tiring. You're doing four rounds yeah. in a day. It's all like just high frequency like decision making. You're gonna be yeah, tired. You're gonna yeah, make yeah. mistakes. And sometimes, like you're gonna get. Um, I can't even think of the words. There we are. <laughs> 
yes. I don't know. When, when you've got too many options so for decisions, so and then overload. you can't... Decision yeah, overload. Yeah, decision overload. Like, yeah. You, you're going to get it. And that's, and, that, and that's going to end up taking a bit more time. And I don't the, think players should... Because you, you're almost, in a way, you can almost force yourself into making a mistake because you're trying to play too quick because you're worried about the round. Yeah. Ending. yeah. So here's the thing for you, then. We've got... Got, uh, what most nearly all the missions all decided final turn turn six so kp is a t6 decision intercept you can accumulate points during but it's not the ultimate end if you don't get anything in t6 is there a case for that amg could maybe develop something a new mission where they do new missions eventually i mean i imagine it'll be on their roadmap as he was talking about earlier that new missions would be accumulate during the game to prevent this kind of scenario. I'm not saying you know, it has to be, I'm just saying, I'm chucking an idea out there. Right. I, I don't think it's... I, I think... Uh, so there's only, obviously, there's only one mission where you accumulate during the game, right? In well, terms of congratulations. Congrats. Congratulations. Um, there's only one mission in the in the game where you cumulatively score victory points throughout, right? And that's just intercept. Intercept, and then all the the small ones, bounty and secret mission. But those aren't permanent necessarily. Those aren't locked in. So I guess, I guess, I guess, intercept. I guess bombing runs there as well. As, as you, bombing as you, run as, is as, a score in the moment. Yep. Um, whereas like payloads, that that's you know towards the end. the end of the game, and that yeah. and again where where often you would need to move your payloads for six turns, um, yeah, to like, or five turns at least to get your score in. It's hard to plan when you don't know how long's left, because then you can you can end up like rushing through decisions, and then again that's where that, that, that's where mistakes arise. I think when you're at a certain level of legion, the only way players get advantage is when small mistakes are made, um, or, or there's like a, a real sort of like list imbalance. Like this list is really good into this, yeah, uh, or vice versa. So I'd say that that window of player skill is a lot is very very small where skill doesn't make a huge difference um but yeah at, the, at like the 1600 plus elo i'd say maybe maybe that's when like you're relying on small mistakes of your opponent um but i've just got a scenario for you boys yeah let's hear it just, just talking to philip philip just ending his ending his game he's like he was like thank you for the stream love it and i was like thank you very much for your support um and i said to him you're what you're basically winning in mate and he was like Oh, but I'm playing X-wing tomorrow, and I was like, "Okay." So there is. I'm, I've, I've, we, we hadn't accounted for this potential scenario that someone who is in the LCQ plays, wins, passes down. Yeah. I, I don't think that he'll probably do that. If he qualifies, surely he's going to play in the. He, he said he was in 50/50 just then. He just he was like, maybe I'll play X-wing. But at, at, at that point, it. And this will probably just sound like a, a not a not very pleasant response, but if you if you've you, done someone if, out of if, job. If, if you've done someone like every round that you win, and this is the, and I, I said this about people who go to o world open qualifiers when they've already won their flights and hotel. I don't mind if you've already got a world's ticket, uh -huh. but uh -huh. because you can come first in a world's open qualifier, and then the flights and ho hotel don't pass down, right? Like, like they're burned. Yeah. So if you end up winning that event, so basically you're saying if you you win let's, in UK style, you won MKGT and then you went and won UKG. Well, yeah, like you I, would have been screwing someone well, over that sort of well, Exactly that. So I, I won MKGT last year, and then I went to LGT and I played a completely different game because I was there, like, ev for every win I get on that table, I am denying someone a chance. Yep. Of, oh, absolutely. Of, 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 of moving through. And you being honourable. Well, you know, <laughs> it, it could. could <laughs> honour comes in all shapes. Didn't shape. know he had this much honour. Uh, <laughs> honour comes in all shapes and sizes, <laughs> such, me being. Such an integral man, integ man of integrity. <laughs> Listen, mate, when you look like a rotisserie chicken, you have to be honourable. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie Nando's diet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so no, so we, we, it'd be interesting to see if that is a scenario of pass downs. So he's win even though he's winning in, he did say maybe he will. Um, who knows? We'll see what we'll see what happens. It's not, it's not, not like he's going to have more than six or seven, uh, five or six models for X Wing. Nick, Nick Dixon, right. I, I completely agree. C cowardly behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> That's how um, we lost Armada. Oh. How, how do you mean how we lost Armada? I'm intrigued. Um, what, eh? Yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to that. Do, do you mean like players, players falling out because all the good players continued playing in like the the big ticket events or, or other games or other games like they've switched to other games? Like, uh, let, let, let us know. I mean, Mr. Armada, Armada's still going on. Like the community's keeping it alive, Armada even lives. if they're not getting as much new product. Well, they they haven't had any new products in for, for well over years. a year. Yeah. People playing in Legion over Armada. 
People I, playing Legion of Armada, that's what it is. So, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I honestly think that because Legion has more available to do within the game, and what I mean by that is when you buy your Armada models, there's no building component to it. Um, there is some painting, but generally speaking, the models are already they're already painted, already I mean, painted, you can touch, you can touch up. except for like the little the little ship. So, the reason why maybe Legion gets a, a larger attendance is because it, it you know it adheres to people who want to build and paint, uh, as well as you know sort of play the game on top. So, I, I think Armada is great in terms of I, I have like six ships. It's super easy to travel with. Yeah. Uh, you ask anyone who's tried to bring a Fluttercraft abroad and they'll tell you <laughs> they'd rather be playing Armada. <laughs> Dave Nolan's got yeah. the nutcase. Battle gamers. <laughs> Battle gamer man has got himself tree, tree, tree Fluttercraft. Ask him to say there's a Fluttercraft in the trees. <laughs> but it's not problematic for two English guys, two British guys to do an Irish accent at all. No, ah. not, not, not well. I'm, I'm half Irish. It's all right, I'm half, well... Scottish, he says, is killed. <laughs> I'm just doing the wrong accent, it's fine. I can do what I want. Ah, uh, me, I, I can't I can tell you. <laughs> I can't do it, Captain. <laughs> the engine is just... Do no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing Star Trek references. Um, <laughs> and we're not, also not meant to mention that. <laughs> it exists. Um, I'm so a, waiting on... I'm going to post a link to a forum ruling about the, the player notes, just so it's cleared up in here but but I think a, a timer is not notes which you have to no that's public information uh, uh, so in terms of uh, John Armada may get card packs uh, and updates like that but what they don't get is new miniatures and the amount of the amount of like local game shops you go into unless they've got like a thriving Armada community okay. already there you just do not see it on sale like at, at all You'll, you'll, you'll see X-Wing, you'll see Legion, but it's, it's so rare that you actually see Armada. At least, at least in the UK, I can't, I can't speak for the rest of the world. Yeah, so we have got one round left for both the last chance qualifier and one round left on the Swiss as well. So I think a lot of the Swiss is somewhat finishing up shortly. The event, the event for Swiss was due to finish at 8 p.m. So I don't see that happening, uh, especially as obviously it's nine minutes to seven here. So I think it's going to be a late one. Yeah, Sh Sh Shatterpoint is in the main hall this year um, instead of uh, instead of Armada, I think. So basically, my original thought process, if I had more of this in Slash Rock, would have been those Ewoks, the Black Squad Ewoks, would have been moved up and shot. Mm. Uh, so I'm assuming we'll be getting round four underway soon for the last chance qualifier, uh, if there's... Uh, Time on the round has been called, and a uh, hard dice down will be coming in a couple of minutes, I would assume. Sir Sith, what, what do you mean by red list? He's trying to do a list command. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Bushfax said that that will not work. Yeah, so where, 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 where's everybody watching from in the world then? What kind of countries uh, are people uh, coming to us live from? Belgium, very nice. Work is not a country, Mr. Platt, but I'm going to assume that's Birmingham and that's Andy Platt, unless I'm very wrong. Canadian West Coast, nice. America. <laughs> what do you from Shaub? <laughs> I mean, I, 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 res I respect the graft of watching the stream when, when it's already on. <laughs> 
Canada, very nice. Oh, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Can't, I don't get bored of that joke. It's, um, it's Canada. I don't think they have that song. <laughs> oh, Canada. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in on Mounties, yeah, yeah, I don't, hey, yeah. Your, um, your mother was a hamster, <laughs> your father smelt of elderberries. Oh, we did that joke about the uh, medieval times yesterday. Oh, man, it Wasn't was it so cool to see an authentic castle in Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, <laughs> uh, I mean, all, all of those English accents were 100% real. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like 100%. 100%. Uh, our, our, our Blue Knight lost in one of his challenges. And I, uh, I shouted from the side saying, I'm not hungry, I'm just disappointed. Yeah, yeah, was, <laughs> and what was quite funny is he heard. He, went, <laughs> he, 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 looked, he looked round us like, oh my God. It was, at, it was, it was what rowdy Brits get that I don't, I don't think the rest of that crowd were expecting because then there's the rest of us. Because like the... You, you, Josh, you, 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 you were just chanting football chants. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. So like Josh and uh, Josh, the head judge, and, and others were just saying, what football chants are you going to do? I was like, Blue Army! And was like, yeah, there you go. Um, and then, who are you? And that sort of thing. But you, 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 you have to go, you have to go full Cockney. You can take the football. Sorry? You can take the man away from football. You can't take the football out the Sorry, that's the, that, that is the poshest man watching the stream. Who? Mr. Daniel Thompson from Surrey. Oh, hello, Daniel. Uh, there we go. Um, so we've got the next round in a minute. So I just had a chat with uh, Marcel. He was saying, that, yeah, because, so potential round telling information going on at the other end. Uh, Empire won, right, Cockles? Uh, Empire did win, yes. Yeah, Empire won that um, one. Uh, one, uh, one nil. Yeah, one nil because of a bounty. Bounty. Um, I think we've got new opponents. So, Ollie, keep chatting. Are yeah. you done now for the day? Uh, no, no, we've, we've, we've still got another round, but there's still a while to go on mine, so... Cool. Yeah. Well, you keep chatting. I think there's more people coming around. I just saw them, so... Hello. Right, one sec. So, Bradley Rooster. Uh, we've got Mr. 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 Brian, Mr. Brian Bear coming in again. I like, I've, I've, I've missed bits and bobs of the streams. So what's everyone's favourite part been so far? Oh, Surrey, Canada. I did not know there was a Surrey in Canada. <laughs> Living up with the Surrey. <laughs> Absolutely exceptional. <laughs> Oh, the, G the Gian Ocean promo is absolutely stunning. Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a really, really nice promo. Uh, so I, I think a lot that is, I, I, I am absolutely over the moon with the dice. I wasn't expecting to get like multiple different attack dice or like defense dice that we hadn't seen before. So to see white defense dice, black attack dice, and also an additional red is absolutely amazing. Ah, nice. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm finding out a lot about geography during this stream. <laughs> <laughs> I have incoming information. Brian, we bear, bear. He's standing here. He's running his double bus five fleet tomorrow. Yeah. And he's just tabled someone in another, another game. What was it you tabled? 14, uh, 14 impact. 14 impact. At least with 14 impact. Blizzard. Ah. Um, and, th and, this, and, this, and this is why I didn't bring Blizzard, because it just does not play well into so much of the meta now. Well, there we go. But, so you, can't, but you can't take it away from the, uh, the Koala, Brian. <laughs> koala? Yeah. He's a cuddly little man. <laughs> Anyone who's not seen Brian Bear, um, yes, he's, he's, he's slightly smaller than me. I'm slightly rounder. I mean, that's me being really kind to myself. You're like, you're, uh, like if, I'm, if I'm a rotisserie chicken, you're like a, a ham hock. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian's a chicken breast. <laughs> turkey. I'm gonna go with like a turkey. That's uh, fine. What's Andy? Chihuahua. Is that is is that Liam? Is that is that how am I getting yeah, on dude. in Take terms care. of uh, in terms of the games? He's two and one. No, I'm not. Oh no. Oh, you one and two. Yeah, I am one and two. Oh no, yeah, you lost to Ken uh, Kenobi first, didn't you? What is this? Some odd symbols. How are you? Oh, one two. I lost all my games. Yeah. Oh, you're in Spec Ops. Right, he's, ju he's judging. Then how are you? Michael strong? Ramirez is judging the spec op stuff. He's just uh, so he's just doing that. So yeah. There you go. This uh, what have we got going Come on? I mean, Canada is still a British Commonwealth, right? Yes, yes, it is part of the Commonwealth, and they have uh, Charlie as their head of state. Uh, Tom, I'm assuming, said that you're a honey glazed ham. <laughs> oh, he wasn't Ken off. No, you're right. I have not been Ken off all day. I will, I will glaze him with honey. <laughs> 
No, sorry, I'll glaze him and call him honey is what I meant to say. <laughs> Wee. Um, Thanks, Tom. <laughs> uh, Tom, uh, Tom, if you don't... He, he, com commenting as That's No Moon on YouTube and or uh, the, the chat is uh, Tom, who does our videos. And when I say does our videos, that's kind of a... Uh, he is our videos. And yeah, him, Tom, him, him Tom, and Jack. Tom, Tom, Tom and Jack do all our videos. Andy and I generally play games, stream... So basically, the, the, the way I break it down is, right? This is what people say. Oh, what did you, do? you and Andy do the clever, sound clever, talky stuff, right? Tom does the clever and Jack video making stuff I go and verbal w waffle and, but, but control you and Andy somehow to stay on topic and that's about me that's it no, that's fair that's right. uh, so Liam so ga game one I was against the uh, LVO winner uh, Nathan G Gibble I think Gribble 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 this is a great um, so that was Obi Cody Padme um, again like the, the dice have been like super swingy. They've either been like really, really in my favor or really, really not in my favor. Um, so I'd, it, it's hard to gauge where you kind of sat without seeing more of like a balance showing. So for instance, like in the, in the game that I've just had, uh, some Black Suns get out the bus. Um, it is into a standby. I expect to lose sort of one to two Black Suns, maybe three. Um, I had to get out, otherwise the bus was going to be shot. Then seven hits go through. I roll five blanks. And that's most of the squad gone. Did you allow him to do the golden hello there? I've got. Um, that, that, that's that, no, sorry, that, that's in game three that I've just played. Not 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 game one. Game one, I think I, I think if it, I failed nine out of nine of my first saves yeah, on the one like, on the buses. And sometimes these things happen, and that's all part and parcel of the game. Um, but my opponents have all been phenomenal players, except for Chris Reese. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> He's got. Michael Ramirez uh, so yeah, I, I am. I'm playing Fury Road. So I'm playing double bus with medic, gunk shield, uh, comms jammer. One of them's got the raiding party leader, uh, and then running three naked swoop bikes, and oh. then two black suns with shotgun vigos, and two black suns with magdet vigo frag grenades. There you go, Tom. Have that. <laughs> <laughs> Have that. Uh, yeah, get game how, two. Game two British. into experimental droids. That's a really good matchup for me. And then game three, I made some mistakes in turn zero. Had a couple of swingy dice rolls, but um, again, it's given me a bit more of an idea of how I need to do things for tomorrow. So uh, um, somebody lent me a lot of the minis to play with, but it wasn't Tom because I don't trust him. Who did? Any, any, give, anybody that isn't Tom. You want to give them the credit? I don't want to give Tom credit. Oh, I see. I see where you're going now. Absolutely, I you were absolutely being actually not. Actually, genuine, but no, you're just being. Uh, no, that's fine. It, uh, Dan, it is. It, it is. It, it's both annoying and a lethal list. Obviously, there's there's plenty of ways you can beat it. Um, really, really heavy impact lists will do really well into it. Again, like I, I made I made the hedge that I'm unlikely to see lots of heavy impact lists. Now, don't get me wrong. I've come across two <laughs> out of three today, which is not not your ideal drawing. Do you but think that maybe like that would balance out tomorrow? Yeah, I, well, I think my list is generally it's quite capable into, like, Yoda Padme, which is a good portion of the meta. It's great into Wookiees. It's great into experimental droids. I just happened to have come across, like, Double Darks, Bosk, and, like, Snowtroopers with impact grenades. That's, that, that's designed to beat me. Um, and then also going into, like... The first game, which is like uh, Obi, Cody, Padme. Cody, like fire supported shots are amazing. Here's All right, guys. Hello, mate. So I'm trying to get us a, a CIS for this next matchup. Sweet. There are, well, there's one who is 3-0. There's one more that is potentially, they are playing the last bit of the round to then determine. Um, so. Don't tell Marcel and Philip. <laughs> well, so they're, they're, still, they're still playing. They started late over there. We started at the time we were supposed to start. Oh, okay. They did not. So that time that they sent us was time. Um, but yeah, so we were waiting for that one to finish. As long as they don't play Mateos or Philip, then <laughs> yep. we'll be good. So, so. here's a, here's what what uh, Zane's just looking at something going what. So I'm gonna mention. I'm gonna say two words. <laughs> Emperor <laughs> <laughs> Tau Patine has just been revealed as a miniature to Ollie. Yeah, because you were being really loud laughing. Well, just get rid of people's ears and go explode. So, uh, yeah, Emperor Tau Patine was revealed as a mini. Yeah. Anything else been revealed with it? Uh, well, I've got like a dice bag. Do you, do you want to take this to the camera? <laughs> yes, do it. Yeah, take the camera. 
So we're, we're, we're going to preview at home. So for, I, for, I, for those I, of you now, I don't know if we if I can actually if we can actually put that on there. No, you can't. Yeah, uh, unfortunately. Actually, no, you can't. So. Oh, fair enough. Uh, but you I can put it on your Instagram. Put it on our Instagram. <laughs> that's, that's not going on our Instagram. But Why? There's, per, there's a permanence to that. There's more people watching that than there are on the Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that all that's been revealed so far? <laughs> well, that and like some other little bits, but I'm excited for. What are the little bits? Uh, there's like the the dice tray, the T-shirts, right. the model, right. <laughs> the, the order token bag. Anything else? Well, is those more? I know, I'm just asking what else you've been trying. Yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> <laughs> the fun pun. There's still some fun to come. Yeah. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, just if, if, you have, if you're unaware, Ollie and Austin are effectively banter brothers. Uh, uh, and when <laughs> I d I, you can tell me when it started, but well, when did it start? Uh, what, what was the what was the conception of said banter? I think we were just messing about on Facebook, um, and I was just I was just going back and forth on there, and then it literally just came to like me wearing a t-shirt out to WTC. He's come back. He's come back pretty hard. I think uh, I think we're on about evens though with uh, what I've got what I've got to throw at him tomorrow. Yeah, I think you, yeah. So, Ollie, he's he, he's gone for lots of little things. Yeah, he's gone. Whereas I've gone for one big one. Yeah. So, what <laughs> what Ollie has seen so far uh, has been very good, and it was basically there's a there's a picture that Tom, who does our videos, took uh, of Ollie one time when we were staying at his flat prior to a, an event in the UK, and he is literally. Getting out of the shower, but he's in a towel, and he, he just caught him by surprise. It's like, and you know, when someone is surprised and they raise their hands, but they're, ra they're raising their arms, but their hands <coughs> drop. So it's like, like someone's playing a piano, and he's like, <laughs> with a towel. And so he's he's been dubbed Emperor Towel Patine because yeah, he's wearing ta a towel. Towel Patine. Towel Patine. So it's, it's, what, it's what I live for. <laughs> it's it's cool. So uh, so uh, Austin has revenged with various Towel Patine references, but it's not just Austin. Austin's mum's been involved with this. Austin, she also made me a nice jumper. Though, Austin, so. she did, and she made, and Austin's dad has been involved with this. <laughs> it's been a very much a family affair. Problem is, Austin's incapable of doing a prank on his own, so he's had to get help. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, my, yeah, mine's, mine's all me. <laughs> I, I would just say uh, there's, there's one more thing you need to see, which is awesome, uh, and your thing that you're doing is equally awesome. And this is the thing, like there was, we said about the community earlier on in the stream, like. I don't know of other game communities that do or have that kind of funny relationship that are mates who've just met in this game. There are mates who do separate things, but like this is, it's it's a little bromance. Um, and and Austin's mum uh, has and and Austin and family Miller. I'm loosely going with. I've just, uh, he gave me some swag earlier on today. I'm currently now wearing a jumper that he provides me, which is lovely. I got the same mum. Yeah, we got some jumper bros, jumper brothers. Uh, me, me and Andy have got the same long sleeve top. You and me have got the same jumper. Um, I've got a t-shirt that says "Crits Needed" uh, with a stormtrooper going. Um, and stuff. Uh, a bag. I got the bag like you have, uh, uh, and and other things as well. So it's it's really nice to see. Uh, people in the chat. Um, can't wait to see the upmanship. The yes. one-upmanship. The one-upmanship. So Austin's been to Tenerife, you're going to Eleven Reef. You nicked that off me. No, I, someone told me that years ago. I've, Outrageous. I've had it in my head ages. Outrageous. I've, I've had it, it's, a, it's a reference to a bloke at work. It's like, oh yeah, I did this, I did this. Yeah, Louisa, have you, have you, Louisa, have you not, have you not seen what I have got planned? Because there, the, there are very few people privy to that information it's just like only team uk people if andy's no if andy's kept that quiet from his wife <sighs> it's almost as bad as as giving like telling a rumor to your friends that makes them call your wife and makes her so upset with you that she gives you a grilling when yeah. all you tried to do was prank us take that andy yeah it's almost as if you and your monobrow <laughs> it's almost as if <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes. Uh, context on that is that uh, when we were at World TC in Spain, uh, Andy and um, other Andy and Tom were getting a flight home before Ollie and myself. Uh, we get to the airport after they're there, and we get a message on our WhatsApp group saying um, Andy's been arrested by the Spanish police, who are known, <laughs> who are famously known for their love of British tourists. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, we, it's, it's not like we go over there in the thousands every year and just cause so much, so many problems. Correct. 
Uh, so he said that they've been arrested for it, but that the, this bag had failed the, jug, the drug swipe that goes on, and that he'd been taken away, and he was waiting an interview from police. And he wound us up with it. It just, it just got us, and that was it. Obviously, he didn't. It was all worked out in the end, but he didn't tell us, and he didn't tell his other half, and, and it so was all prank war. It was a good, it was a good prank, on the back of it. But we were fuming. Oh yeah, I was. Co Cockles almost got arrested himself trying to get Andy out. Yeah, I went up to <laughs> trying to get Andy out of where he wasn't. Hola, hola, officer. Donde esta mi amigo? Donde esta biblioteca? <laughs> yes. But yeah, so yeah, it's just, that's just how we roll. Uh, so. Um, you sit down, you're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I have a kilt on, I'm just standing up. So I'm just but, but, Tom, by, you really enjoyed this whole prank. Do you mean the ones that are happening right now or the one that you managed to, to somehow convince Andy to get himself into trouble for? Because, trust me, Tom, your, your comeuppance is coming. Your time is coming, my friend. Your old emo haircuts on Facebook are not going to stay secret for long. Yep, and also, well, to be fair, I think his time's coming up. He's, he's due to be a parent. He's expect his wife is expecting uh, later this year. His comeuppance will be like, ah, how are you sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> just all of them. <laughs> exactly, yes. That's uh, cool. We're just waiting on... Yeah, so we're currently waiting on uh, the next opponent. Um, it will be effectively uh, a joint final because there's a final as a top seven who are... There are seven who are 3-0 and oh, plus one, and then there'll be one three and one. Uh, so it means we worked out that there'll be minimum one three and one. Well, there will be one three and one. Sorry, in the top cut four. So deciding that on SOS is going to be. Was nice. that was that Legion players time on the round? That I just heard all because I'm not sure if we're on um, a microphone no, no, today. No. So we 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 may just not be. Oh dear. If you've been watching all day, give yourselves a pat on the back. Um, if you're watching in the UK, what are you still doing up? <laughs> You've got no, work. it's only like 10 past 12. 10 past uh, uh, 11. 10 past 12. It's five hours. It's 7 10. It's 8 10. It's sorry, 10 past 6. It says 10 past 7. It says 10 past 6 on mine. Hang about. Oh, what's my phone say? Right, the phone, the phone says 10 past 6, no, therefore that, that, that's a great time. I was just saying, oh, there's only, there's only an hour left and so I'm meant to be doing some trivia, but nah. that is incorrect. I don't think I'm going to make it to that. I, I, I looks like I might be playing some form of um, unlimited this evening, so who knows? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, USA clock's going forward already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have a little break for a sec. We'll mute the mics. Don't worry. We're just going to stretch our legs a second and just, yeah, that's about it, really.
here we go. All right, Your final game of the over. LCQ is between Brian Cook of Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma moment. Oh, we, hold on. We just m might miss the flop here. Roll out, fortified, and intercept. That's what they landed on. Okay, now you can continue. Yep, no worries. <laughs> That's all right. Um, Brian Cook from Oklahoma City with droids, one variant. And Pierce, who I don't have a surname, from Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska, um, running the slight differently variant on um, the experimental droids, both of them. Uh, Pierce has the three point bid. Brian went for a one point. Brian went red. Uh, Pierce chose blue. Brian's red, stayed on that side. I think he mainly stayed on that side because then he didn't have to move because he's in a cast, the poor dude. Apparently he's done his, Achi he's, uh, apparently he's done his Achilles in. Um, you know the dude. You know Brian. I do know Brian. Yeah. What's yeah. it like? What's it like? What's it like dude? Brian. Good Brian dude. is awesome. Nice. Brian, uh, he, he is Trauma Dog on the Discord. Sweet. And he's called Trauma Dog because he's an ER doc. And I'm an ICU nurse. So like we were, uh, me were like, oh, cool. Yeah, we know what each other does. Medical yeah. friends. We've got, we've got okay. Zane's off to help him out. Pierce, uh, obviously, I don't know anything about Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, Midwest stuff. Oh, I don't know. Anything. I hear it's basically farms out that way. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Is that is the college team the Cornhuskers? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the limit of my Nebraska knowledge. What is that's going on with our dice cam? Oh yeah. It's getting worse as the day goes on, and I don't don't follow. If Papa David's there, yeah, we get feedback. <laughs> no, no, he's. He's not available right now, that's for sure. All right, we're going to swap over to our top-down view. Zane's is getting the lists. And they're deploying. So um, yeah, Zane's coming over. The, one, the variant is situational awareness on something compared with not having situation on, on something right. or something like that. Uh, when Zane has them, we can go through them in more specificity. Does Brian do a medical pod podcast? Um, well, when Zane sits down, I'll ask him that question. He may well know the answer because I don't. Question, does Brian do a medical podcast? I don't know. I'd love to know that medical part. Uh, I've, I've chopped my foot off. What do I do? Go to a doctor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so here are the lists. So I've got Pierce's list here. And now we got Brian's. Pierce has. Should we play Snap? <laughs> T Series with electro, electro binoculars. Uh, T Series. There you go. Uh, one unit B2s with the HA and the Anna Super. Uh, IG 11 Magna Guard with. A uh, tenacity and a, a whip, so that's a four-man unit. Uh, super attack droid Kalani with Agtac and improvised orders. Two B1s with the the pair bot and three droid commandos, each with a sniper, each with offensive push, all with shields. Yeah, so a little, 797. Yeah, so a little variation on that. Brian is a 799. Uh, he's got a super attack with Kalani, aggressive tactics, improvised orders, comms relay, regular T series. Uh, two B1s with uh, PK series worker droids. He's got a, P2, a B2 with the Ha, a super battle droid, an emergency transponder. Oh, no, on no there. transponder. Yeah, uh, an IG uh, Magna Guard with uh, RPS. And then he's got three BXs. All three have droid snipers. Yep. All three have situational awareness. Yep. Two of them have emergency transponders. Oh. All three. Or two of them have deflector shields. Yep. One has impact grenades, and one has vibro swords. Well, well, well. Yeah. How the turns tables. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, uh, see which uh, which factory cranked out the better droids yep. here. Uh, yeah. So my wife is an ER doc. This is from uh, Timo Teo. Uh, my wife's an ER doc who listens to a podcast. And the guy mentioned miniature painting would be a wild coincidence. No. It's possible. Yep. Actually, it's I mean, like, I want to say I have talked to him, and he said I want to say he has been on a medical podcast. 
or he has Just one. Qu quickly ask him now before he's doing anything important. Because <laughs> if he does, that's pretty cool. And I'd love to know more about that. I saw a shake of a head. It's not that Brian. Oh well. Still he's an ER doc, so that's pretty cool. So we've got the rollout. The weird roll Oh that's that's so cool. This is one of uh, this is one of John's creations. Yeah, this is fantastic. Yeah. We finally get some of it working. This yeah. is like I feel like I've got 10% of my stuff working. <laughs> it's, no, this is dope. What you're doing yeah. is you're doing the Adepticon. I'm going to spoil something at the end. And then by the next day, you'll be like, more and more and more and more. I mean, hopefully. And then, yeah, and then come Sunday. Each night, I'll, yeah. I'll try and fix up a little bit more. Yeah, it works. I think some of my fundamental processes for this were flawed, though, so. <laughs> but it's good. We'll make it work. Here they are. I do like how the deployment zones turned out. So. Ta-da! On the stream. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll send him the link. I need the link myself. <laughs> uh, so Zane, you said you're, you're an, what was it, you're an Eon, Eon nurse? ICU. ICU nurse. Yeah, intensive care unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you JD from Scrubs? <laughs> he was the doctor. He was the doctor, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know that's on, so that's on Disney? That's on the Disney Plus in the UK. Oh, was it really? Just, so when I've been like doing nothing, that's awesome. That's what I've just been watching the hand I, on the background. I, hey, is, I, is Scrubs noise. is uh, Scrubs is one of the closest uh, shows to real medical. I can't do it. Really? Yeah. 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 For me, it is the way the way like the emotions and the way things are played that's out in that. Like, oh, okay. I, I will is. maintain the episode where Doctor Cox loses a patient through the liver transplant is one of the most yeah. heartbreaking things. Grey's Anatomy too. is straight up just for the drama. I there's I've only seen a handful of docs actually do what they actually claim to do in that you show. Tell me so house isn't real. House is absolutely real. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting, my, I'm watching. It, I go, how do you get that many infectious weird diseases in this <laughs> in country? Hey. In one hospital. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what can you do? Yeah. All right. So players are deploying now. They they had a handshake and they are on their way to putting down their their hordes. No red list, blue list uh, chat commands tonight. Um, that is on my docket to fix up tonight, though. So it should be good for the rest of the weekend. Yep. This was the dress rehearsal. Yes. And yes. it's gone well. It is good. Yeah, it yeah. has. Not as well as I would have liked, but yes, it has yeah. gone well. Yeah. Thank, thank you to everybody who's been here since uh, the start of the morning and he's jumped in throughout the day. Uh, huge thanks to you guys because... Uh, you're the reason why we're doing this. Um, so big thanks to all of you jumping in to watch us uh, stream this for y'all. Um, it was a little rough start this morning, but you know we we got internet this morning and had yeah. to get everything hooked up to the laptop and going this morning. So there was no rough testing anything last night. And um, for context, those of you who are probably watching now are probably more American than they are European. And uh, as, going, they, as they've, yeah. Who the hell is this voice? <laughs> What's happened to David's voice? Yeah. Uh, so um, I'm Cockles. I, I uh, host uh, along with Ollie and Andy the That's No Moon podcast in the UK, and our video content with Tom and Jack uh, as well. So if you don't, um, and we were invited to collaborate with the Avid Base, and we are chuffed to bits to be doing so. Um, we all were, we, when we got the message, we were buzzing, um, and yeah, we've loved every minute of it. Uh, collaborating behind the scenes with John doing loads of work and then later on over the weekend there's some more content dropping that you'll see that we put on uh, to get you all the feel for lots of the players uh, because over in Europe we know who Luke Cook is for example but we don't know who Luke Cook is because no one's ever met no one we don't get a chance to meet him and the same way you guys if you're not at Worlds and things you might have heard of Andy or Ollie yeah or Lila for example and then but you just now they're here we've, we've compiled a list of uh, interviews with them uh, and interviewed and that will be broadcast uh, on, our, on the YouTube channel that's no moon podcast YouTube channel and the having base podcast as well they have base channel <coughs> excuse me all together um, and that way it's the community from all over the planet just getting to see each other and 
get to know them a bit, that sort of thing. It's really, really cool. John, you you had chats with who did well, you, who did you? Oh talk man, to? I talked to a lot of. Um, <laughs> I don't. I, honestly, I don't remember who all I talked to. So, uh, who are the prominent ones? Oh, you're gonna put me on the spot because then if I forget some people, <laughs> they're gonna so get all upset. I will forget people. I'll call out while you look up. So I interviewed. I interviewed Luke Cook. You were very gracious to let me do that. I beat you to it. Probably. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, I interviewed. Brian, I'm not bitter about I that. Interviewed, That's Luke, fine. Uh, interviewed Cookie and um, and We Bear. Uh, and then interviewed um, a chap from San Francisco who reached out to us, uh, Robert. He won a World Cup qualifier out in the Bay Area, I think. Uh, I interviewed, uh, I interviewed um, a couple of Polish players. I interviewed a Danish player. Uh, obviously, I interviewed Ollie and Andy, but that was weird because I do a show with them. So it's just like, oh, I'm going to chat to you, but we know what it's like. Um, uh, Kevin Jones, who represents the Netherlands, even though he's British. Lots and lots and lots of players, um, just so you can get to know them really, and it gives a proper community feel. And it will, we talk about their list, how they go into the game, tactics they might use, and then there's a fun fact that you might not know. Uh, Luke Cook's fun fact: he played tight end at college at football, which makes sense because he's very, very tall. <laughs> I did ask him if he was going to bring a ball. Can we fling it around the uh, uh, around the, the, uh, the auditorium? And he was like, "Oh, if you do it," and I went, "Well, no, I'm travelling here. You've got to bring the ball." <laughs> oh man, yeah, I don't have a list anywhere. Of but if but it's on the YouTube, but I can't see the names on my. Well, we'll leave it as surprises then. Yeah, it'll, it'll, be, a surprise. it'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise. I did interview uh, Austin Miller. Yep. I did interview Dustin Grorud. I think Kyle um, as well. Who? Kyle. No, I interviewed Mike Berry. Yep. Dashes, from yep. Uh, Dashes from Fifth Trooper. Let's see. So this is also quite fun for me, like, because I don't get, obviously, I wouldn't get to see you guys right. in the flesh. So when someone goes, hi, I'm, and they say their name, I would be like, oh, I know the name. What? And then they go, oh, this on Discord. Oh, hello, mate. You're right. How are you doing? It's yes. quite funny. Yes. Um, so, like, obviously, wait, I might. Oh, I have somewhat of a list here. Go on. Here we go. All right. Nathan Gribble, I interviewed. He was the LBO Obi Wan player. Beat Ollie's that one. Oh. Uh, Sam McHenry, PAX winner. Uh, Danny Trujillo. Hilo. From uh, one Gen Con. Yep. Robert K, who won Golden State, and Josh Flepisaurus from Nova. Nice. There were a couple of more too. I interviewed two from Canada as well. Timbo? I interviewed Timbo, so three from Canada. Because oh. Timbo, I always forget Timbo's Canada. Um, and the other two, actually, I failed to mention who, uh, three, I should say, I interviewed a family. Who are in Pop, uh, Portland, Oregon? Oh, okay. Um, they're not. They couldn't make Adepticon, but they reached out to, to us after one of the podcast shows and said, "I'd like, we'd like to participate as part of the community. My two sons play." And I was like, "Yeah, do it," because they're a bit too young to play at the moment, but they'll be playing. They'll be wiping, wiping the floor with me uh, in, <laughs> in a few years' time. That sort of thing. Assuming I make it. Um, so I interviewed them, and they had questions for me about Adepticon, about the game, where they think it goes. It was a really nice chat. And it was, they were good lads, nice. Rio and Kai. Uh, if they're watching now, no, it's not past your bedtime, it's your time, isn't it? Uh, they might be watching now. So uh, they were there uh, from Portland, Oregon, uh, along with their dad, Will. Um, and I also interviewed uh, Mr. Table himself, Nick Bodnar. Oh, um, okay. Obviously, he does all, the, obviously he does all of the, your tables. All right. Uh, and then the other interview I had was a guy at uh, the UK who's probably like the equivalent. He does a YouTube channel called Crafted Terrain, and he's called Kai Lee Macken. Uh, and he, I interviewed him, chatted about his um, his list and things. Because he got, he won a ticket anyway, but I interviewed him about his hobbying and hobbyists and all this sort of stuff. Because he comes from a very much a terrain uh, hobbying background type thing. Uh, he loves games, obviously, but yeah. But he and he's from he's from Birmingham, not Birmingham, but he has a very different accent to your Birmingham, Alabama. But equally, I imagine equally strange. If anyone's ever watched, do you know Peaky Blinders? You watched that over Oh in? man, I love Peaky Blinders. Right, so he is from the land of Peaky. He's from Peaky Blinders. Proper sounds like that. <laughs> very much, very much from Birmingham. <laughs> Welcome back, Zane. Wait, we're talking Peaky Blinders because I love that show. Yeah. I bought a suit just because of that show. So Lee oh, Macken, Lee Macken, who is playing, represent the UK over it, over it and playing. He right. is, fr he is effectively our Peaky Blinder. Really? Yeah, he's uh, he's from he's from Birmingham. Not part part of what I will wear. 
this weekend is part is from the suit, the full suit that I are have. You gonna, are you going to tell me, my name is Aidan Ferguson and I'm a Peaky Blinder? <laughs> and I'm a Peaky Bang. Blinder. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's not from London, son. Oh. Can't get it wrong. That's Billy Kimber. Billy, it's Billy Kimber. It's Billy Kimber. Um, and yeah, we're having fun with all. Yeah, lots of different accents. I will, I will definitely be attempting a more vari- variation of American accents, and I will take you up on the Haribo. Uh, They're good for your uh, voice. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll tell my wife that later, and she'll be like, "No, you can't eat any more Haribo." <laughs> like, no, they're good for my voice. I'm helping lubricate the esophagus. Yep. Um, shout out, shout out to my sister-in-law who taught me that. Yeah. Same sister-in-law. You're a ledge. Um, here's one for you. If you you lot have been doing my accent, what one I've got to do are you? Ooh. Yeah, where have I got? I mean... Have I got to go... The only one I can really pull off properly is that, Hello there, my name's Cockles. I'm from South... Some, somewhere in the South that talks like this. Yeah, that's fair. That, that modelled on, like, really camp Lindsey Graham or something like that. Yeah. That's pretty close. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah. And I'd say, I mean, a Southern accident is, is one of the uh, more out there ones that's easy to, to grab onto. I saw, who was it? Someone did a thing saying, oh, if, in, if you're in like Cajun country, dung dung, diddly dum bang, dung dum, like that, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's all I know. <laughs> yep. Is it required in EXD to bring a Magna Guard? Um, no, but you can, Everyone you brings can, no, one. The reason is you can because you can make them core and then take triple M. Yeah, but like, why take the Magna Guard? You're limit, you are limited on what core you can take on those ones, though. Yeah, but why take the Magna Guard? It's what, not great. What are you going to take instead? Huh? What are you going to take instead? Like another the, another B2. I think you're limited, though, on what you can take B2s. Well, he has one. Oh, I see what you mean. So you can the 90... Oh, yeah, drop the... Drop the yeah, that's a straight upgrade. Yeah. In my opinion, I mean... Those magnets are one wound, and... The one wound is the real killer. Red safe? Yeah. Yeah, but pierced... Pierced goes away immediately. Uh, that is, that yeah. is the best range pierce target. Immune melee pierce, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, yeah, these are very similar. It's the, what will be the test, the litmus test, will be the BX, all shields versus part shields. Because he's got one with br- blades and two with shields. But the blades are spicy. But he's got situational. Uh, sorry, Brian has situational. Pierce does not. Yeah. Pierce has the offensive push for more... Output. Those, those swords, like I mean, they get right past the shields if they get in there. It will cut them up. Is there a pierce on the swords? Uh, let me bring it I up. I know they gain charge. Regain immune melee. No, uh, so no. Hang on. Uh, is it not duelist pierce? Bx blades. Vibro swords. You gain change, uh, change, charge, charge, change. Yeah, I knew that. And uh, I guess it's double dice. That's it. And you get a red and white spicy. It just it cuts past the shields. Um, But then you so your magnets in the magnets in uh, experimental are as follows. Magna, magna, magna. Uh, dodge move charge. You get the extra, so you start with four, so you have five. If you add the mini, add the extra in. Right, right. I just can't figure out why. I don't know that I've seen an experimental droid list without a magna guard, and I don't know. Let's why. have a quick look at. The Maybe it's because RPS magnas were just one of those things that were. But these are electrowit magnas. No, uh, he's Brian's got RPS. Okay, well, this is one of each then. Yeah. yeah so you're so you're advocating a drop of the magnas and put into a V2 yeah, instead. Absolutely. Do you reckon it's because of the AI attack that could be a pain in the, well, pain in the neck later in the game if you close up? So you have the AI no, attack. No, because you don't take this B2 Super Battle Droid upgrade. You take the T series upgrade. Gets rid of your AI. Uh, what's the T series cost? Hang on, is that same? I mean, 13 plus four is your space. 17 points. Pretty uh, sure it's less. It is 18. Well, he's at he's 797. Got his, yeah, he's got it. So yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. it. And you lose it, and you gain a red dice, and you gain a reliable one. Yeah, yeah you do get a lot for it. Yeah, you gain a ton. you gain a surge, a reliable. You know. You also then uh, you gain a plinking shot because you have range three. Got, I'm convinced that there's a requirement in here. But I could be wrong. I don't think it's a requirement. I think it's an option. Yeah. I mean, 
everyone's doing it, so I must be the one that's crazy. But <laughs> hey, if everybody's jumping off a bridge, you're gonna do it too. Three to six core units. There's no okay. limit on the number. Zero to two B1, zero to two B2s. And they only both only have one. Both only have one. So yeah, they very much could swap an IG for a B2. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm just uh, theory crafted. Yeah. All right, we've got all our order tokens out. What, is there one in the bag of each? Like a typical droid fashion. Yeah, that's probably exactly. There will be no guessing as to what's in the bags, what's, what's being pulled in these games. It'll just be, yep, this is what's out there. This is what we're playing with. Yeah. IGs also, well, I mean, they stopped the order chain. So does B2s. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a straight upgrade from the prototype IGs. Yep. What are the upgrades? In John, you want to switch us over here, and I'll show the, oh, everybody yeah. kind of what we have lined up. Attack. All right, guys. So here is oh, and we got our first drops. Both orbital strikes. <laughs> <laughs> Both orbital so strikes. So we get down. in the mirror, folks. Yep. This is going to be whose dice? Sorry, the trolley goes past. Yeah. This would be whose dice doesn't let them down. Uh. It could be, it's yeah. It could bump, be for on the, the bumper anyway. They both, I mean, they have Kalani on both. Mm -hmm. They do. Yep. Kalani on yep. both. Here's the interesting thing. If you want it, comms if, relay on the one. If one hangs out Kalani to do the bumper, the, the other, other one can, can take the, the shot at Kalani. Yeah, yeah. The other one then go. Oh, I'll take it on Kalani. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's just four hits into red saves, right? Like, yeah. Like the likelihood of that. There's a, oh, there was a roll. Oh, so no. I saw a crit hit. You've never seen my Yoda dice fail. There's another. <laughs> Three, probably. Yeah, hard to tell. Oh, you're good. Oh, you need more? Oh. I don't think we have more. More what? <laughs> I think there is a request for more dice. I think there's some in the box, isn't there? How are we? Someone steel dice? Someone pocketing the boring core set dice? They are LVO dice now. Not LVO, sorry, they are Adepticon dice now. Yeah. What's that on offensive push? I'm just making a list with your, your idea with your, your double BTs. So just a offensive push times three. That was definitely at, oh, it could have been at Kalani, it could have been at Magnus, could have been at BX here. One miss. One missed save for a wound. On unknown. It wasn't on BX because he would have popped it. That looked like a wound on Kalani. So, this might be why. Let's hear it. You're limited in taking two B1s and two B2s, okay? Yep. If you do that, unless I'm missing anything. So, T series with an extra binoculars. Oh, is that standard T series? Yep. Oh, this is the extra T-series as well. There we go. That's why. I was looking at that one and that one. So it's got Prince Kalani. Uh, who have I missed? You are three points over at the moment. So you would just drop the... Probably drop... Drop push on one of the BXs. And then you've got a 797. And you've still got all the upgrades bar one offensive push on one of the BXs. So you have super attack, super attack with aggressive and improvised orders, the regular T series with the um, Binox. There we go. Two B2s with a heart and your T series tactical droid. So you, you're free of AI type guys. Hold on, how is how is the B2 you're typing up 95 points? And theirs is 90. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, but you, you're, you're advocating a T-Series. No, I'm trying to figure out the, the written down points oh, yeah. on your list builder. Oh, no, I'll do that then. Fine. You have That's fewer it. upgrades so and more points. 787 now. And oh, I'll okay. Put, and I'll put that offensive pushback on, and that will there. And that would send you to 793. Yeah, and also you could probably upgrade one, at least one of the B2 
bodies to a T-Series, even if you don't get to upgrade both? Yep. So if you upgrade, yeah, if you upgrade both, you three over. If you don't do that, yeah. Yeah. So I, but I would advocate go for both. And, and then drop fine points somewhere and else. Drop, drop offensive. Either way, it's one. not like he has a T series on this B two unit. No, exactly. So, so yeah, that's a, a theory. Yeah. You know who's not ask, and who's playing a bit, uh, experimental droids? Who? The ever champion. Who's that? Luke Cook. Oh. He's playing X XD. Oh, look at that. So he, I know he does like B twos. He, I would be. He's doing experimental droids. No tank. No tank. Yeah, he's doing the non-tank variant. And his logic was, when I spoke to him earlier, was um, he thinks that if you have the tank there, it becomes such a piece that everyone focuses fire yeah. that you lose points quickly. So he prefers the infantry. Interesting. So the tank the tank offers uh, command. It gives you command node. Uh, so give, and, you and one of the weapons has disappeared or something. And, so, and you can't transport. So uh, during the command phase, this may issue an order to a core unit, so it helps you with your order control. Yeah. Eric Pichette, I don't know how to say your name there. I apologize for butchering it. Um, this is a good point, that you would lose the, that one unit wouldn't be able to use the a, the special ability, because it would no longer have AI. Yep. But, I mean, I'm still not seeing how it's not a strict upgrade from the IG-100 prototype. That's alright. I'm no good at list building. I've known this. It appears my fluffy bit of my microphone has disappeared. Just wonder if it's down there. It's not the end of the world, it's just disappeared. <laughs> huh. Oh well. Oh, uh, Tim, uh, Tim Mateo says after one game with, uh, with uh, IGs and experimental drills, we'll never do them again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Uh, Mag is it questionable. Do you know what? I will, when Zane's back, I will wander and I will go ask someone who's better at Legion than me uh, and their opinions to see what they say and why Magnus in or Magnus out. Uh, and I'll go ask Andy because he hasn't been on here today yet. He's been too busy oh, yeah. playing anything. So I'll go ask Andy, also known as AJST in the uh, Discord, and, see what, and see what he says. And if Luke Cook's up there, I'll get his opinion as well. All right. I don't see a lot of bodies on the side of the tables, so. I know one orbital strike went to Kalani and the other. Thank you, John. Uh, he says it's been a long day. Yes, I agree. I uh, went out into town and was listening to audio only while doing the errands. Uh, good job on all the streamers today and the players making it this far. Thanks, John. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, this, this seems like a very American joke. Nicholas Dixon, my favorite medical drama is trying to get the insurance company to pay for anything. <laughs> Hello, NHS. <laughs> it works. Um, normally, I'd like to say any early calls on this game, but I genuinely, I mean, I mean it's a I bit no it's a, it's a near enough mirror match. I like melee and being aggressive, so I would go for the swords, but I mean. I mean, both players opted for one flavor of melee over the other, um, while one player took the, the swords on one of the BX squads. Uh, his Magna Guard has a rocket. And a whip. Oh, uh, yeah. And then the and other player the has a whip on his Magna Guard. Yeah. So, eh, you know, we'll see. Will immobilize come into play? Well, I mean, on intercept? Not really. Maybe. No. No, they're going to need to be there anyways. They're going to run at each other eventually. So, Pierce is on the left side of the map with Brian on the top and the right. Uh, so he's moving north-south uh, with Pierce going south-north. Um, if you look at the camera view at the moment. Um, both of them are using the curved buildings at the moment to sort of hide behind. 
Uh, who has the range? So, the, the, uh, so arguably, Brian has the, the slightly better range because he's got that rocket as well. They've all got the. I mean, yeah, the that gives them that gives them a fourth one. I mean, that rocket with rocket onto the on the beach. The rocket with the extra dice could be nice because it's crit one range four. Uh, and, and and impact on the B2s. Yeah, I mean, so it's... Yeah, impact on B2s rarely matters. I don't think it'll matter in that toss-up either. I feel like it would take a mini out per turn. White saves. Well, you're, I mean, it's only armor one on the B2s. Yeah, but you still get any impact. No, I know, I know. But if you get three hits on the B2s, you have impact one, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Like, the only time it matters is when you have impact one and only one hit is getting to them. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you have two hits, it's still armor still canceling one. Yep, that's that makes sense. Yeah, that's why I say small windows for that to matter. Um, but with cover, you know, like getting three hits, that impact would push through the armor. So question from John: Thoughts on droidicas in experimental droids? I ha I, I can answer this, but I thought you go first. Thoughts on droidica um, in experimental droids? Right. I think. I mean. Most units can benefit from those extra dice. The Droidica already have a pretty decent die pool. Um, they need crit for me. They need crit one. Need crit one. I think. I, I think if I know we spoke with Will earlier, and he I was mean, like, he's hesitant to do things. Yeah. But if that was a unit that needed something, a keyword, crit one would be it. Hmm. That's all it needs. Um, I think we need less crit one out there. But <laughs> I suppose if you just give more things crit one then Rebels could just die faster and yeah. it'd be fine. <laughs> so <laughs> I have run experiment droids with Triple Droidica. I went to an event uh, in Peterborough, the UK, and uh, there's some hits there on the dice. Uh, I ran Triple Droidica and came, I went two and, one, two and one. Yeah, two and one. The game I lost was the first game to the Pink Suns. Lila Pink, Sun, Lila Pink Sunned me. <laughs> it was the first time I'd been Pink Sunned. Um, and it's the first time I'd also run that list. Uh, I learned the lessons are that they run at you very quick, a lot quicker than you expect. Yes. And despite the fact that I can put the, the the suppression on them, the Dauntless kit still kicks in. Yes, it does. So that was a problem. Um, but it's, I, I won the other two games. Uh, I beat a Ewok list with it. That was tough. Well, it wasn't tough. It was. He didn't <laughs> have anything that could counter me because he because like my droid my droidicas could sit. And I, I just blocked them off, blocked them off with everything. Yeah. They're, they're vehicles. Because so their vehicles can't move through them. Yeah, they can't move through vehicles. them, and I can just move everything around behind them. Right. And obviously, because they're line of sight blocking as well, when Ewoks got closer, they couldn't shoot them because they blocked the line of sight. Right. Then they popped around and did all the big big shooting. This. Right. Uh, and you almost want to, like, space your droidicas, like, just less than an inch apart from each other yeah. to give yourself firing. A little a little gap, yeah. Across or through them, but yeah. not um, allowed to be charged. And then I beat a mate, although it was closer, he, he was he still he's getting back into the game. Uh, he's one of my closest mates. He was get, he was running what did I give him? What did I lend him? He was doing droid he was running a droid list. Uh no, he's doing an AAT an AAT. Oh, okay. Uh AAT Magnus and Core. Uh he could have won that game, but he, he made a few misplays that sort of made that change, that sort of thing. Hey, Ben's here. Uh, he's a James chatting to a dude called Ben. We helped set up upstairs. Oh, okay. Day. He is a lieutenant colonel in the in the army. Oh, nice. That's that and is up based, there. Oh, five. Based, uh, based in San Antonio, Texas. Really nice dude. I was chatting to yesterday. It's cool. Very cool. Uh, Nerdo McWeirdo stream. We just started. Crap, I didn't. What's that? I didn't make note of what time they started. That they been useful started. To know. Uh, no, I tell you what, I can tell you. <laughs> but after this game, we're done for the night. So. Yeah, this is the last. At one. least two, two and a half hours. They left. started about uh, quarter past six. Quarter past six. So we're uh, forty minutes in. Yeah. Okay. Cockles, I'm happy for you and Ollie. Uh, and you like the jumpers? I'm wearing mine now. Uh, we wanted to give you guys something to go home from the USA Souvenirs. Thank you very much. Andy got a t-shirt too. Uh, and we've got extra token bags for the guys back. You, Holly Miller, you're a ledge. Uh, as we say over our way, you're an absolute legend. Um, I look forward to hopefully seeing you when you guys uh, come over to the UK, potentially, next year. Um, I'll happily be a tour guide. <laughs> this is London. This is where the clean Queen lived. This is where a tear is, that people get their heads chopped off and uh, all that stuff. 
Have you been, ever visited the UK, John? No, I've been in the airport. <laughs> Which, what, Heathrow, yeah? Uh, probably. You saw I, the sights. Honestly, I haven't kept track. No, that's fair. Yeah. I've been to to Italy a couple times, and I've been to Spain once. Nice. Going back to Italy this summer. I said, that is triple quad block Ooh. from... You know, this is way more red saves than belong in a droid army. <laughs> Have you got family in Italy, I take it? Or is it just no, like no, there? I just, I really like Italy. Ah, that's nice. Italy <laughs> yeah. is nice. I've done it twice myself. Yeah. <laughs> yes. A clock. We don't have those. I can't, <laughs> I can't think of a more animated and entertaining tour guide. I used to do it for a job. I did do it as a job. Um... Uh, previous life before I was an engineer, I worked at a language school, was in charge of all the pastoral non academic care, and had to take foreign students who were learning English at this English language school into London and Cambridge and Liverpool and all these places and just say, hey, look, this is history thing, and here's a thing, <laughs> and here's another thing. And then the first question I'd get asked would be, where are the shops? <laughs> okay, they're over here. The one thing I would say, though, if you're going to be a tourist and you're going to you want to be get the, the full British experience, is go take in a proper football game. And by that, I, I don't mean, know they played football over in the UK. That's why I said proper. They Pro play football. Proper football. The proper football. Yeah. In it, you know what I mean. They're, they're throwing the pig skin around. Yeah, over there the, in the UK. Yeah, no, no, the, you know the, the, the football where we actually use the feet. And I say that as a oh, proper okay. American football fan as well. Um, no, I'm not going to give in on this. No, I know. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a mm. cultural joke. <laughs> um, no, go take in a game. Uh, but don't take in one of the Premier League games. Go see a lower league game because they're, uh, much, they're much more entertaining. Okay. We got B2s running up, double moving. Yep. I think Pierce looks like he's looking to assert his authority on the middle so that when Brian pops out... Next round. He's got targets to shoot at if that makes sense yeah looks like we see some bx shields flipped on the other side on brian's side can i just i know it's not legion related can we just take a look to the left and it, and absolutely admire your man's jacket oh that is a nice jacket yeah man i like that yeah, see jacket, i should have brought my jacket that jacket beard and haircut yeah love yeah. it yeah with uh, with the uh, is that the Adepticon pin? What is he got on his lapel there? I genuinely can't see. <laughs> it, it it's hard to see in the shadow. I miss. I, yeah. I couldn't read words earlier. With my, so yeah, I'm not saying that now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, lost my cactus. Is droids versus droids? Near mirror match. Um, minor Ho differences between. And Holly. Soccer's good. You just got to see the right team. Oh, oh I, I love soccer. <laughs> I do. I honestly do. I grew up playing soccer. I'll watch yep. soccer over any other sport. I'm a, I'm a hockey guy. Oh, we got a jersey on here. Got, I've got the one underneath. Yeah, it's fine. Nice. It's very apt that we were supporting the Blue Knight last night when my team went <laughs> blue. So I was wondering if, it was, if we'd had to support the Red Knight, I would have been deeply conflicted. Yep. What are, what, are, uh, what are we doing for food tonight, guys? Are we? I, I feel like we're fending for ourselves. I might just, get, I might just uh, I order no in idea. a McDonald's. Uh, are they still serving food here? I'd be surprised if they don't. There's a pub upstairs. The there is that, yeah. It should go for a bit, yeah. It's only 7 o'clock. I might go grab a concession before they close. Actually use a the ticket they oh, gave yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually do that. Nice. To be fair, I'd be surprised if they... Because there'll be other games oh, still going got on. Another double right. block on us. red defense. So I imagine we can go once we've shut down here. Okay. Go get nibbles and then shut down properly. I take our, oh well, it's just taking computers away, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> oh yes. All right, I'm gonna go run and go grab something. Yeah. Sounds good. You guys want anything? You good. I, I would love, as you say, can I have a soda? A soda. Soda. Yeah. Can I have a yeah. Pepsi. Yeah, I call it a Coke. That's in te so in Texas, so e everywhere else, so like like Midwest, you get pop. Yep. Oh, and then, that's true. And then, uh, well, like w I think West, West Coast, you get soda. Um, pop kind of goes up to the New England area too, I think. Um, the Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Louisiana area. Where are they from? It's yeah. Coke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Coke. Yeah, Coke could mean a Seven Up. A Coke could mean 
An orange Fanta? Nice. Just give me a Coke. So, <laughs> you say you can have a Coke in certain parts of London, you'll get a very, very different response. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I can have a soda. But then, but then the other thing, too, is like some places, if you say, can I get a Coke, and they bring you a Pepsi, you go, no, that's not what I yeah, want. I was say. <laughs> but if you ask for a Coke and they bring you a Dr. Pepper, yeah, cool, I'll take that. If you ask for a Coke, they bring you a Coke, yeah, I'll take a Coke. I'll tell you what I should have, actually, while I'm here. A Mountain Dew. Yeah. Have you not had? I, I don't think I've had one for years. Oh, uh, and you don't get them in UK, uh, right? I do, but I just haven't. Had the, it's not the same. It's, it's like when you go. It's like when you, yeah, you like, like, yeah, go. I love a Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. I love a Mountain Dew. Cool, Johnny. Johnny B. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. For okay. Now. It's like when you go to Ireland. If you have a Guinness in Ireland, it tastes oh, nicer. It's so so smooth. There's a recommendation for any tourist. So smooth. Yeah, that was uh, that was the best decision I ever made on St. Patrick's Day was to go to the Guinness brewery that day. Needless to say, I uh, was we'll seeing double. We'll, we'll, see you, we'll see you shortly when you bring back the drinks. Oh, it was totally heavenly being there like that. They just, you went up top and they just kept giving it, they just kept pouring it, just kept seeing it coming out and coming out. And I loved it. All right. See you in a moment. Cheers. All right. Yeah, so Pierce is, I think, asserted his, uh, to quote Carmen, asserted his authority on the middle. So I think when Brian pops out, he will be... Yeah, one of them's going to have to pop out first, or maybe they just don't pop out at all. And they both wait out the round two. We'll see. We'll see. I, I, they're I both hope, nine acts. I hope it's not. I, I feel Pierce has got the uh, ability to push one of those B1 units up. I mean, one of them's going to do it. I feel like they're going to, and it's whoever's going to act last. Because they're going to have order control, so they're going to get to move whatever unit they want to last into it. I, I, want, I bet they're, they're going to have the same command hand, don't they? Aren't they? The standing orders. They're, uh, <laughs> they're going to have the, exactly the same command hand, surely. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I would be shocked. Does EXD get any special cards? No. No, they do not. Good. I no. mean, not like oh. the five first and the uh, so tragic and stuff. I don't feel bad for them. How busted their ability is. Well, as Will Schick said earlier, though, that's it's. He, he justified that how they developed it quite well. Isn't he? They needed to justify it, but he explained the. I mean, he get, the logic. He, he explained it. why it's thematic, sure. Yeah. But that doesn't mean it's not crazy good. But not against armor. I mean, everything has. Ah. No, it's, yeah, no, everything's got its Achilles heel in it. I mean, and like they could still take rockets. Like they have hedges against armor if they want. The E sixty R is that sixteen points? I think. No, I don't. I'm not worried about the points. Is it cumbersome? Uh, no. Oh no, no, it's not. Oh no, hang on, that might be because I'm thinking the RPS. E60R is not cumbersome. It go. taps, but it's not cumbersome. But a non-cumbersome rocket is a big deal. Being able to move, shoot, could hit armor from five range away. Yep. Yeah, it exhausts, but I know they have a couple of ways to recover for free. Well, the uh, uh, three, pip. The re three pip recover card. Yeah, yeah three pip from the super tax. They underestimate our means, yep. I believe. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. The only snag comes obviously when a lack of AI comes into it. Yeah, I'll pop over to the other camera here. Oh, look at that paint jobs. That is a very well painted army from Brian. Not that not that Pierce's isn't, but it's just uh, basically makes that pop out a little bit more. They look like they're white droids. Yeah, and he put little rubber colored rubber bands around each of them just for. Identification. Yeah, purposes. better identification. They're already themed each color, but that rubber band does do a lot of work for. It just means that when you showcase them, yeah. everything looks the same, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Well, and I guess you could pull them off for the for a painting competition. Ooh, you know. I didn't see that unit on the right hand side hiding there. Yeah. I was not aware. That almost looks like Grievous, but that's Magna Guard. Yes. Yep. Max. That's the Rocket Magna Guard. Yeah. An interesting play for him there would be to scale them onto that roof. Actually keep firing rockets down. Uh, I mean, you'll be in range two right there, almost certainly. Like, that'll, that? that'll be firing more than just rockets. Oh, then he will. And I think that's another non-cumbersome uh, yeah, rocket. Yeah, I guess it's not cumbersome on, on them, no. Yeah. 
because they're heavy duty robots and say, nah, sod it, we're fine. Yeah, apparently. They're strong. They don't need to slow down for no rockets. What time does the stream start tomorrow morning? That is a great question. We'll start whenever the championship starts. Uh, we do need to figure that out. Let's see if I can get to a schedule. All right, looks like round one tomorrow starts at 8 a.m., so we will be streaming at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Um, we'll be here earlier than that. Stream will be queued up at least 10, 15 before. Oh, yeah, we're going to be but we're on, We're on it like a car bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> 8 a.m. each day. And that's CST, Central um, Standard Time. Ooh, I don't know. I'm not used to dealing with Daylight Savings Time. If that becomes CDT or CST or whatever, that's nonsense to me. Chicago time. Local. 8 a.m. in Chicago. Adjust accordingly. They're cleaning up, going into round two. Right, our car's going down here then. Yeah. Pierce is on it straight away, and Brian's about. Oh, there you go. Oh, do not underestimate our uh, on <laughs> both. Look at that. Bravo, gentlemen, bravo. That is two mirrored <laughs> command cards so far. How many times are they going to snap, do you reckon, in six turns? Four? Ooh, yeah, four, right. is, four is a pretty good number. I'm going with four, um, four snaps. I'm willing to bet they get more than that. Uh, I'll take the over on that. You'll take over four, okay. Yeah. I'll take four. I'll take a bang. We'll see what Sane says. Uh, I, we are now have, uh, we don't roll off. I think it's Brian. No? Oh, yeah, it's Brian. Brian, because we flipped cameras. Yeah, so Brian, no. Brian first. Now, what's the what's the reasoning for why they want, they both wanted that card so bad this turn? So. What does it get? The, uh, the recover. So I reckon you're recovering the shields. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So Refreshing all those option. shields. I did see several shields flipped from last round. Yeah, so it's nice I, read, and gross. Read, I read the text. So obviously it wasn't divulged. Uh, choose two with face up tokens, each in recover. So I think he's recovering um, the droids with the shields. So yep. there you go. That might as well not done anything to him. Um, equally, you do that with the HAs. You do the B2s, HAs for the following, following round. Yeah, okay. And then obviously he's going to go direct that B1 unit at the bottom, ping it back, uh, ping it back up to the B1s there, and then ping it back to. Yeah, oh, they both have did. a single T series and Kalani. Yeah. That's two sources of direct, in addition to command card orders. Yeah. Um, so B1 is or B1s get themselves in the B2 for free. Another direct can always go to the Magna Guard on each. And that leaves just the BX droids um, on average. I'm just thinking about Although it in he general was, he will have ordered, for your command cards. He would have ordered the three BXs, so that's them gone. Oh, yep. Hang on, so we can work that, that's 100% of them ordered. Yeah, that's it. Already. It's done. Direct. One, two, three. Direct. One, two. Oh, yeah. your two commanders are left. Is yeah. What's left. You either leave, uh, but you can chain it back. So you could go. Well, you could end it on the B2. So, yeah, because the B2 or, yeah. doesn't chain. You go one. And you'd want to get two, rid of their three. AI, yeah. or but you'd yeah. want them to ignore it. If you leave them in it, but he hasn't. So I'm interested to know what he's, what, how he's done it. But as long as you leave the same tokens in there, you're fine, don't you, really? No, because you have to deal with the AI. Not a range. The B2s oh, are range, range limited. And he's not seeing them at the moment where his B2s are. What do you mean, B2s range limited? Uh, oh, well, well, the HA's well range this is three. a range three. Yeah, yeah but the um, he won't, but where they are, they're not going to shoot because he can't see anything. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the, it's the other one that's the ACM that's range two, isn't it? Yes. But the the B2 Ha is range two to three, exhaust, cycles. The B2 Ha. Impact ha. black. Impact and blast. 
Ah, see, Daniel Tom Thompson, even you got mixed up with it. Daylight savings time is busted. Uh, I will not be around there noon, thank you, Holly, just because that happened in Spain. But in Spain, I was paying my own way to be doing things. Now, we're here, I am staff, I have responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I, uh, the social night happened on the uh, Saturday night of the World Team Championships in Spain. Uh, I got back to my room at about 5 a.m. Yeah. Thank you, man. And, um, yeah, I didn't wake up. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't hear my alarm. And my roommate at the time was, uh, he's okay, he's just asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and they sent, Andy sent his missus up to see if I was all right. And I was actually fine, I was just asleep. Did you, did they tell you what time they close over there? By chance? Oh, okay. But they're restocking. Interesting. Oh, they'll be carrying on the... Yeah, yeah. They're, they're restocking stuff. So. I might pop over there in 15, 20 or something then. Yeah, yeah. Get some food before Mountain I have Dew. to pay for it. <laughs> I'm going to swap to this top down for a little bit. We are all posturing. That is so many bodies. <laughs> all posturing for scoring round. How many times in this uh, game will they snap? Come on, what? Your mic's up here. <laughs> <laughs> She's been drinking, that's why. How many times in the... I did wonder why I was quiet. I was looking His at His first sip of Mountain Dew. Uh, <laughs> forgets how to work the mixer. <laughs> Don't want to get on there. Crockles is doing the do and he doesn't know how to handle it. <laughs> Don't twitch it. Uh, <laughs> how many times in six rounds will the command cards be snapped? They're two for two. Oh, I think it'll be every turn. Are you if, if, if both of these guys have, have played these lists a lot, then yeah. over, are they the same? I mean, no, are we practically. Do you want the over or under on the on four? We do not know if they're the same. Okay. But yeah. What you got? I've I've gone four. John's. I took it. the over. He's taking the over. I think, I'm taking the over too. Yeah. I might ask for them. <laughs> Take one <side laughs> over. Look. Because they're. I mean. Back. Because they're going to play essentially the exact same game with each other. Yeah, they're they're both doing, yeah, they're both mirroring each other. Neither one's being overly aggressive. Yep. These are both 3-0 players. Uh, yeah, so we're going to see less and less mistakes. All right, Cockles is bringing us the, uh, the command hand. Okay, so we have... Okay. Oh, yeah. We both have one yeah. picture the same. Yeah. And yeah, it's all the same. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So both players have the same command hand. <laughs> just verified. Well, just there. I mean, if they're both playing the optimized version of this list, then the, you would hope they yeah, have kind of the same thing. Yeah, yeah. And as we're, I mean, we're in the fourth round of the day, so we're at the higher tier of play. Yep. Um, Pierce so it like, makes I imagine he's exactly the same. And I was like, I didn't say anything, but in my head I'm saying I couldn't possibly come in. <laughs> <laughs> well, Holly, by the way, the reason I was up at 5 a.m. is because I was making sure your son would, would, wasn't drinking himself as well. It's fine. <laughs> I just saw him. He's doing well. He's hanging out. Nice. He's got a bunch of the Florida guys. They're just playing, having fun. Oh, they, is he playing games? I thought he wasn't playing. Or is he just getting casual? I think he's just playing fun stuff. Ah, sweet. Yeah. I described Austin, so, my, so obviously when I go back to Spain, I said, oh, I met all these cool people, no, no, chatting away. Austin's this, and I, and I described Austin, I said, if you, if you were to draw a man from Florida without knowing exactly what his face was, you would, just, you would probably draw Austin. And just like, man, Floridian Jesus style, that sort of thing. <laughs> Floridian Jesus. Well, you heard what Austin was saying. No, so you <laughs> heard what Ollie said yesterday about one of the knights. No. Because he was dressed so posh, he said it's Poshton. Because it was long with a beard, so it's posh in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that the red and yellow knight? Yeah. Yeah, that posh, fits. That's why I knew. It. See, I knew the exact it night you were talking about. <laughs> I knew the exact <laughs> night you were talking about. It was posh, posh in. Oh, dear. Lots of talk about daylight savings in the chat now. <laughs> 
what I'm thinking is that you should just basically move the clocks forward half an hour and just never have to change it again. That would be the sensible thing, surely. Or just leave it. Just yep. leave it. You know, what? Oh, sorry, you know what? On either one, and after a couple of years, everyone will get used to it, and yeah. it'll be fine. It'll be done. Because what weirds me out, too, is like, it was starting to get brighter earlier, right? Like, yeah. earlier and earlier. And then all of a sudden, it was just like, and no, we're not doing that anymore. Yeah. And yeah. I was just like, what the heck happened? Like, yeah. it's Full such back, a weird. Spring forward. Yeah, it's such a weird. So I spent the first 30 years living in Arizona, mm. and we never dealt with that. Yeah. Because, I mean, every, the rest of the world, we had to deal with. Um, having different time in relation to the other states. Yeah. Um, but that's not that big of a deal. You know, we're, we're in line with California in the summer, in line with Utah in the winter. Um, yeah. But yeah, we never had to set our clocks forward or backward or straight. worry about work. That was the thing for me is like I had to work spring forward. So I went to sleep that night, constantly looking at my clock. I was like, I don't want to miss this. Yeah. I don't want to wake up an hour later on accident because my alarm didn't go out which yeah it's on my phone so it updates it knows when the time changes but yeah. still it's just all these smart devices make it simpler um wow we have a lot of passing and not moving to the middle which is i mean i mean it's what you need to do but i haven't seen many dice roll from these outside units i would have expected some attacks yeah unless is our is Brian's units like completely hidden from attack? No. From this angle, it looks like it's very close, yes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but surely like he can make some attacks. But no one wants to pop out to become the target. Yep. Is the idea. He's gonna he's gonna push these magnets right to the edge. I wonder if he can move them and then shoot across. Is he gonna shoot that BX? Absolutely. If he's got, I guess I, he doesn't have range three, no. but he has range four, and this is our rocket BX. Yep. Uh, Tim, uh, he said uh, his wife worked an overnight on a full back uh, hour one, so she had to work an extra hour for free. Yep, I've done that many times. Some hospitals that have worked yeah. at. The clocks are all synchronized, so it when you hit 2 a.m., they all spin backwards. It's like being in the twilight zone. So <laughs> there was one spot you could sit in the unit, you could see five clocks spinning backwards at the same time. <laughs> you just want to go, no! Analog that, clocks that eight hour in 2024, right can you imagine? Right, 12 hours turns to 13. Uh, I didn't want to talk at all. Yep. Uh. Yep. But usually on that night, like when you know that's happening, you have a potluck. Everybody brings food because you're like, you got to make this better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But then if you work the overnight on the spring floor, you're like, we have to go home an hour. Early. You hope that basically you're you they throwing dice light. and we're not seeing it. I saw him shaking them. He was thinking about it, and now he's coming over. I think. Now I think they're gonna roll. I just want to make sure dice cam's not off, so I don't see the blur. Here we go. Oh no, right. dice cam's on. Refocused. I saw one hit. Yeah, I saw one. It's like just a just bounce to cover. cover. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ollie. Austin is used. Boy, how's the photos that would change that image from his days of playing heavy metal music? <laughs> I, heavy metal Jesus. Well, I mean, did he like Judas Priest or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, Lamb of God. Black Lamb Sabbath. Heavy metal. Black, yeah, see, there we go. Oh, we could, it could go all day. <laughs> and so either player is, they're, they're all within four of each other. No one's within three. Just just suppressions so, around the table, right? Yeah, whoever whoever moves forward to to take that first shot is going to get aim shot back. Yep. Which guys, we will have a new table tomorrow. Yeah. So this will be completely different tomorrow, and we will keep that one all day. Just because these rounds are so quick, um, in between, there's hardly any time. Oh, there's to, no chance to move we any terrain. To. It's not happening. Especially in a way that would make it. You know, we try to make these. The, especially the stream table as balanced as possible for both players. Um, obviously, when you 
put 100 plus tables out there, you're going to have some variance in them. But the stream table we try and make as evenly uh, playable as possible. So right. there would just be not enough time to shuck all this stuff off and put out something equally as. We have our first move into the middle. Whoa. Uh, it's a shielded today. BX. Bum, bum, he's maintaining bum, range far enough bum, away. Bum, bum, but he's definitely going to be dum, in. Dum, 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 dum. The first BX to take a step from to the middle of the earth. Does he have a shot on anyone? Around the flank. What, what's going to be quite funny is over the course of the weekend from today through to Sunday, the quality of our chat. He's going to go from <laughs> sensible to bizarre because our, our tired levels and our concentration brain meltage will be like, what? Yep. How is the dice cam worse on this view than it is on the other? I wonder Probably because it's brighter. I yeah, wonder I if the, brighter, glare, the glare on, uh, on the old uh, uh, map. Yeah, but, that, but that's a separate um, that's a separate layer behind it. That shouldn't affect, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I wonder if it takes different settings from each scene. I'll figure it out eventually. Should we get a total of those hits there? No, we'll count the defense dice and know by that. Suppression? That's the unsuccessful hit to only oh, the lonely. <laughs> so that was attacking the, the Magna Guard? Yeah, I think so. Because that's, yeah, because they got a suppression. So less than two hit or less than three hits if they yep. just took the suppression without rolling. Here's the thing, though, like this, this BX he moved out does have light cover, does have a dodge, does have double shield. Um, and is he CR situational awareness player or is he not our situational awareness player? Uh, I think most of the situation awareness is on Brian's side. Brian has him yeah. and red is um, Pierce. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, the, cr the shields can stop crits, but... Um, it could be like a counter bait is what I'm getting at. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like moving in the BX out there to convince others to come out to take a shot. Right. So that Pierce then can come and come, take his own shots. Take other things, yep. Yeah. Bait. Yes. It's kind of like who blinks? Who blinks on this first? Who's going to go, right, I'll make the move and I'll do this? Yeah. Some sort of catalyst is needed. Yeah, we'll see. We will see. A uh, single surge, surge and hit. I, I'd be tempted to try uh, a cheeky, a cheeky swing. Shield and block, or shield and dodge stopped it. Um, what's the new unit on the north side of the board there with the two two, two shield? He's gone over fast, maybe too late. North side here. Here. Yeah. Uh, it's already activated. It's already activated, but maybe in turn three, is there a scope to kind of try and shift out that direction? Because the firing lane to get there, But he'll get so much returned. But can he? Can they get around? Because they've got to come around. So when they're they here, speed three, right? can't see in they here. Can. I think yeah. they can get there. I just wondered if there's a move where maybe he could try and bait them there. Because as soon as he bait, but as soon as the BX has come around, yeah, because you know, everything else comes around. Yeah, because like if you move to that corner, like you're saying, yeah. Then that brings them around, which then lets him come around too. So you yeah. kind of get this like toilet bowl. Everybody da, 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 comes da, da, da. out. Yeah. So Pierce is securing this middle now. Is it worth hanging out a unit as a sacrificial pawn? Right. Chest style. Yeah. To get everything out to die and try and capitalize. And you know, if I were to, if you were to do that, I think you use your cheap. Find out whatever your cheapest unit is. I guess some B ones. B ones and PK. And just yep. throw those. Or, out the, there. or do you go T, to T series? You lose, you slightly naff your order control, but right. the T series is just like, Meh. it's a, but it's a good bait target. Yeah. Uh, 
I think T Series too valuable in these lists. Yeah. Because it's giving out tokens. Yes. To oh yeah. They both the have Binox, right? Uh, no, uh, only no, one no. is Binox. Brands is Brands is just plain. That pissed. But they both have Bolster. Do both they have both have Bolster? Both have Bolster. Is that a Bolster two searches? Yeah. So they're providing bolster in a direct. All right, Brian is moving something out now. Okay. So Cockles, you could be correct that in him moving something out has now caused Brian to need to move as well. Who activated first in this round, do we know? Mm, good question. It was a roll off. And right, right. I th and Brian went first. So Brian went first. He's got fewer activations or fewer turns to move stuff into the middle. And he started moving stuff into the middle later. And he was not one move away from the middle. That is, there's no way that's range one. I hope, this, this is a horrible potential scenario that, that should be it. it comes down to a roll off every round. And I've, have, had that, I've had that happen, actually. And you, loo and you consistently lose every first turn at oh. first. That, yeah, but the... It's, it's unlikely, but there is a, a potential. It's just like, that, that would not be nice because... I think off that first shot instantly nerfs like 40k style, just nerfs the other side. And yeah. Just, yeah, I think I went two for six when I had Oof, it. Yeah. So I was just like, oh, cool. <laughs> like when I did, I was like, oh, look, I got it. And then I was like, well, crap, this is actually a turn I didn't want it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Oh, he's double moving to the middle. Okay. That BX oh, was this the repair? That he went over to repair the Magna. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That was why the, the weird move north. Yep. Okay. I wondered, I thought it would be extra blades because he they has got both, extra blades. Let's see, we have a double repair on one side and... Double repair. Double repair. Okay, yeah. I mean, for 24 points to heal up four red saves is... Yeah. Is that a Magda or is that BX? Gross. Sorry, that in the middle. Yeah, this right here is BX. It's got the shields. Um, no, the, sorry, pointing yeah, in the middle. Oh, is that a, that's not a mini? Oh, that's, that's the intercept. Oh, it's the intercept point. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. My brain's going... That mini? There you go. No, he was pointing at the, the token on the... Yeah, look, I thought, is that a mini oh. that he's moving yeah. to? What the hell? I do like that view. Let's swap over to that. Also, just showing you the awesome... So, Brian's son, Josh, is the one who paints everything. And Josh has painted these droids, and they're a... Uh, uh, like a dummy droid. Yeah. Like a training droid oh, scenario. Awesome. Yeah. And so they look fantastic. So, like, he has little rubber bands on them to color differentiate them, yeah. but they're all painted the same. They, when he gets the whole thing set up, it looks immaculate. Yeah. I think he actually won first place at LVO painting this, oh, wow. this last year. So, yeah, because they had the uh, guy from Artist Opus and then uh, I think Rebecca paints minis, uh, both judged. And they liked his because it was well painted and unique. Yep. So, um, red, list, rest, red list request, uh, Brian Cook list, please. We had the the kit the code uh, the code uh, Ryan Phillips the code is not working so I'll just read it out for you. Um, Brian Cook is running Super Attack Droid Kalani uh, with Ag Attack Improvised Orders and Comms Relay T Series nothing on B1 with P, uh, PK times two a B2 with the P2 Heart an extra Droid and a Transponder RPS Magna Guard uh, three BXs. Uh, they're all a bit different. Two of the BXs are Sniper, Situational Awareness. Oh, no, they're all a bit different. Hold on, let me read out. So the first one is BX, Sniper, Situational Awareness, Transponder, Deflect Shield, and Impact Grenades. The next one is Sniper, Situational, Deflect Shields. And the other one is Situational, Transponder, Fibre Swords. Uh, so he's got that. And then Pierce's list is a slight different variant. Uh, it is T series with, with Binox, Kalani with Agtac Improvised Orders, B2 with Heart and Droid, uh, two PK B1s, the Magna Guard with a whip and Tenacity, and three BX is all the same snipers, offensive push, and deflector shells. Uh, but yeah, the codes are not working today, but they will be, we hope, tomorrow. Cross your fingers. Yeah, yeah. We, got, we got it. We'll get it. Yeah. Evening Terrain Studio. Good evening. I want to see if we can set up victory points on the stream before intercept. It's pretty relevant to keep track of. So. Yeah.
So Mountain Dew tastes nice. Yeah. Yeah, that was all right. It's very, very sweet. Yeah, I can't. I it's can't like, even really drink it anymore. My mouth is like. Yeah. So uh, uh, my dad drives truck, and Mountain Dew was his like main like stay awake, and so that's when I drink it was when I'd, I'd ride on the truck with him. Um, in in the UK, if you were to go to like a fast food joint, you got your fountain drinks, right? Yep. What do you call it when you just take the drink and you just go all the way down the fountain and you just get a little bit of each of it? Do you guys have a term for that? Well, uh, two answers for that. One is, uh, I've never done that. Because <laughs> I'm... 40, you know, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> no, so, and the other one is, uh, we're British, we don't do that. Okay. How, John, dare we, how dare we mix our drinks? John, have you done this? I have, oh, as a kid. Right, like, right, right. I feel like cocktail would probably do right. We didn't have a name for it, though. Really? Yeah. We called it suicides. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what? Because what? You, were, you, were, you were combining every single, I mean, literally, like, there was, like, tea. Like, you had tea, oh, you had Diet Coke, you had Sprite, you had Mountain Dew, you tea. had Pepsi. Yeah, yeah. Like, the concentrated stuff, not, like... I was about to say. Proper tea. Yeah. yeah, no, no. So it was. you called it that because the amount of sugar that you were going to intake <laughs> and the amount yeah. of energy you had just did you in for the night. No, but, yeah, as kids, we would do that. Going to, like, uh, CeCe's Pizza or something like that. Yep. Yeah, you just... I imagine that actually gets done in, uh, like, five guys, probably. But I've never done it, so... Yeah. The only, the, 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 the only drink mixing I do would be alcohol, so there we go. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. And that's a proper reason to call it suicides. <laughs> oh, man. Too much drink causes the liver to go, no, thank you. What are you working? You working on victory points there? Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's not going to be anything fancy. Uh, There's two two hits on there, flat dice coming up. Two, shall I see where it's going? Do uh, we have our first mini off the board? Uh, Yes, actually. First mini is, is that off the, the first? Board? Hang on, I'll check. I is that the first, second mini? Oh, okay. okay, all right. Oh, that, that feels slightly better to have the second mini. <laughs> <laughs> so one mini a piece. But this is this is how a lot of these, uh, you know, middle objectives will go. Is yeah. the players will circle each other and try and score a little bit with taking minimal casualties. I mean, the casualties are what's going to decide the game. Yes. Well, it can. Right? Uh, yeah, depending on who, who can take yeah. the middle uh, the most times here. One seizure, one seizure salad says, uh, I think he was referring to your cocktail thing as swamp water. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, that okay. makes sense. Uh, uh, yeah, that does make sense. There was a thing I used to do when I was at uni. College, yeah. Um, when... He's brought it back. Look, he brought the mini back. back. Yeah. <laughs> they got four repairs. And it's back. I mean, that's, um, that's what happened with the other one, too, right? He lost a magnet, and then he brought it right back. Love it. That's yeah. brilliant. Um, so, uh, so I would take... Uh, do you get uh, WKD Blues over here? What is it? WKD Blue. WKD okay. Blue? No. It's basically... Uh, you know, like a blue slushy. Yes. Imagine that melted. Okay. Tasting, but with vodka in. Ah. Stat. See, we do something similar. So we have Sonic Drive-In. Okay. Uh, we use ocean water, okay. and it's like a blue coconut, yeah. slushy kind so of thing. Basically and you add, vod add. Blue, vodka, blue vodka water type yeah. stuff. Yeah. Then you can take one bottle of that, uh, and then you take one bottle of Smirnoff Ice. a double six-up block? Look at that. <gasps> wow. See, you always roll your white dice, folks. Keep that. Oh, that was a rally roll. Sad. Still. <laughs> uh, that, don't you hate it when that happens? When you, when you, you waste roll your the, good dice. You roll the rally on something you don't really need to rally for. It was on his... It was on, it was, yeah, it doesn't need it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, WKD Blue. Uh, a Smirnoff Ice. It's basically vodka lemonade. Yeah. lemonade. And then, uh, like, a vodka orange drink. It's called a Reef. You basically take one bottle of each of that, take two pint glasses, and mix them all into one drink called a cocktail. It's called a Skittle. Skittle, sorry. Skittle. Okay. As in the candy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... That was my university drink for fun. Nice. Yeah. There you go. Good fun. He just got a shield flip. Did he sit there and recover? No, but he, well, he's rolled another two blocks on something, so. Because the do not underestimate our means is immediately that they recover. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, is it me? Oh, hang on. Yep, yeah, each chosen unit recovers yeah. is the text, so. 
that had to have been an action recover. Recover shoot, maybe. Oh, I know. He's got lots of dice that come in. One, he two, two aims. Three, three hits and a crit, I'm seeing minimum. Four hits up there. There's another one in the top right corner. This has got to be going at one of the two. I, I believe we're three to two in the middle with bodies, as far as bodies go. Um, at the bodies. With, uh, let's see, Pierce having the three bodies, three units, and. I'll remember names. Brian has two units in the middle. <laughs> yeah. um, Mike Larson, how is the random time going? Um, well, for the rest, of, for three of the current, well, for two, the two games we had first, absolutely fine. For the third game, it kind of didn't work out well for devastating uh, for and a, for one player. In oh, this game, look I, at those blanks. In this game, I feel like it might be. In, we, I think it's they're going quick enough, but. Yeah. It, 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 it is what it is. Uh, but as Ollie was saying in between streams earlier. Five dead B ones there. You're not with hell. You're not. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? There's no rule saying you can't just write the time down, look at your phone. Right. And then just go, right, two and a half hours. Done. Oh, hello. That's a, was that a squad? Yeah, uh, it was at least five B ones that I got just picked saw up. saw a squad just go. Yeah. Yeah. That was a double aimed range three BX shot. That is the power of experimental droids. Just Ooh. picked up the whole squad. Which, if we go back to the middle or the top down view, get a better view of that middle. <laughs> yeah, I, I do love it when they end up round four. This yeah, it doesn't look like, sorry, it doesn't look like uh, Brian has any more units in the middle. No. Uh, Pierce is taking commanding control of which, the Which, middle. I mean, this is huge. I mean, you know, like if Pierce takes this it, middle. It is only like round that. two. Like with right. Intercept, it is a completely valid strategy to yeah. let your opponent take turn two, or yeah, take the middle turn two, win the attrition fight, and then they could even take turn four so long as you Count. overwhelm them in yeah. turn six. The attrition yeah. fight might be hard, though. He's, what, he, what Pierce has done fairly cleverly is use the beam twos to go around because they're harder to kill, and their offensive output is reasonable. Uh, so that's why they've been able to take out the, oh, the B1s. I can't see how many hits that was. That was at One, least three hits. Two, three, four. afraid to mess with the chroma filter because it's <laughs> but the other thing that's like uh, that's I mean like yes you know Pierce is taking that middle pretty soundly right now and you know Brian was trying to push him a little bit the issue is now is Pierce is in a good spot to just kind of hang out yeah. and let One him have to come five, back around four yeah and the good news is is that Brian red he has four oh, red safe wow. misses that is wow that's big Magda's gone yeah Four of them. Four Magnus, yeah. That's the squad white. That is the and, squad. Yeah. yeah. So that w I mean, he just traded a B1 squad for a Magnus squad. Yeah, he would. Uh, is he it? No, he still, he still has one life. On the Magnus? Yep. He just picked up five. Oh, sure enough. Zoomed in, we could see an oh, Electro Staff. Look at that. We'll swap over to that so you guys get to see it too. So a unit's still alive and with his uh But still, I mean picking up trading four magnas for yeah B one squad is That's huge. Yeah. Huge trade off. Don't know about you guys. Um seeing droids on that Mars red base is just fun. it's just really cool to see. Yeah. I never get bored of seeing the Mars like the, yeah. the, the cracked earth bases like that. On droids. Yeah. That's what my mine are like that. I just like it's very just, it's really Geonosha. Cool. If you've ever played Jedi Fallen Order, one BX, one Magna Guard is always is enough to be a pain. Oh man! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty sure these are downgraded Magna Guards. <laughs> yeah. From the ones you see in Fallen Order. And uh, and the Droidicas can do one as well, because Droidicas in the game, in that game. Oh. <laughs> uh, Mike, I hope everyone has fun. Uh, since I'm not there this year, I owe Bushman that beer. Oh. Is that the case? 
Uh, Pierce is local. Uh, oh, that is true, definitely Mike. Red, his red defence saves, yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he wants Omaha to, re Omaha to represent. Omaha! 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 Oh, we're going into three. Oh, wait. Did we catch you? Oh, no. That's definitely a two to one score. Don't even need to ask. Yep. Hey, hey, three for snap. three. They, three. Will, they too will suffer. We've bet on this. We've done a bet. <laughs> We're no bet. I'm going to swap the turn numbers here in a second if I can pierce to get. Okay, so that was red that scored two. It is, and it is. Whoever threw pierce. that took it. <laughs> Have you lost that twice in a row? Yeah, he's lost that twice in a row. What were we saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yep. I, I felt that. Okay. So. <laughs> well, if Pierce can capitalize on going first. Uh, I know he hasn't lost an activation. For a moment, I was about to say, if he's lost, a, if he's lost that full magna, he could have passed. If he had wanted to. numbers back on here and then I'm going to go grab something to eat. Alright, there we go. Victory points are up there. There we go, just let Bushman depart so he can get sustenance. I, however, will order in a Mackey's later on because why not? What I've just also I've been sent some pictures for pre from, from games going on. Oh, nice. Here's a game for you. So, um, uh, Republic, uh, Republic games, a uh, Republic player uh, okay. versus another Republic player, I think. Um, 5-4 on victory points uh, on sabotage, advanced positions, and war weary. Kill points. How many do you reckon kill points wise? Uh, so it's sabotage, war weary, and. Advanced P. AP. Okay. And this is how many? I think it's double Republic. Oh, Republic match. Double off. Republic. Yeah, I believe it is. I'm going to say none. It was nil nil on victory points. That's what I was saying. I was like, because both probably clone balled each other. Five four. Yeah. It was a Padme secret mission. Win. Yep. I was gonna say they probably clone balled each other and just circled around. Yep. And, they, and uh, this play, this individual has won two of his games in the Swiss down to secret mission on Padme. See, on Padme, and, and that's wild because most people don't use Padme for secret so mission. So it, it's so. Uh, it, uh, she's been. There's been a school of thought that you take that card. And make a judgment call prize a game whether you double if you're going to go for it or not. Yeah, do, I ah. go, what, do I want it? And, and sort of like if you know that you're, that mirror, that extra mirror, that extra point could be the difference. I am True. of a school of thought that I uh, that I probably wouldn't divulge it anyway. Yeah. Because I would want to just ha I want a reliable personally, uh, reliable for the exemplar sharing all this sort of stuff. I also think if you're moving Cap if you're moving Padme, that she's not at her best. When mobile, mobile, yeah. You just want to be. You want to be doing quick thinking and one here, boom, yep. Yeah, boom, that's here. it. Yep. That's like, to the point. Like, so uh, this individual player was asking me what, when he when he first converted over to clones. Oh, I'm going to do this. This is it. He was like, I'll put the blaster on Padme. No, don't put the blaster on Padme. He said, Why? If you're shooting with Padme, you're taking up a token generation action that she uses, and she's a target. Yeah. With white saves. Because if you're shooting. Something they can shoot exactly. you. Exactly. If I can see you, you can see me. All that crap. That's yeah. yep. And she's range. And she's only a range two. I uh, know yeah. her blaster is range three, but it's it's not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not worth it. 
It's got what, Pierce 1 on it? Yeah, Pierce 1 range 3. Yeah. Uh, it's 2 white and red, huh? Yeah. Or, yeah, 2 white and black, 2 yeah. red and red. Uh, but anyway, it's not worth it. No. Um, despite her sharpshooter. B2 swinging around. It's going to be like the toilet bowl situation of just turning and turning and turning. Yeah, essentially. I guess they're shooting at the uh, BXs in cover there. Which I will say, I think Brian has done a better job of his uh, barricade placement. Yeah. It can't, I do, I do, uh, I think he might hinder him later on though. And my logic for that is that he's got to drop his speed. Yeah. Uh, bar the BXs, obviously, uh, drop his speed to get to the, to get closer to, unless he's measured it well. I can't see it very well uh, at this angle if the measurement's fine for range one shenanigans. Pierce is getting some love in the chat. Awesome. The game shop. Game shop. That's awesome. The game shop. E. Shoppy. The game shopper. Shoppy. 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 Woohoo. We're proud of you, Pierce. Getting some love. And uh, yeah, best door ever. And St. Dem. Hell yeah. Best door ever enters the chat. That's awesome. That's cool. See, and this, and this is what's fun about the streaming here, is you get all these local yep. people seeing their local players, and then it's like, yeah, that's awesome, you know? So I hope, this is what I hope, it was that with the stream, what we, what, that was the plan, wasn't it? And then with the video, pre-interview pre, pre -interview videos as well, you'll see yeah. your friend, you'll see yep. uh, uh, your mates, mates, and all this sort of stuff. It's going to be cool. Um, if you weren't on, on, online watching the stream when I was talking about this, basically... Uh, John and I, uh, and yeah, actually it was just John and I. You did no, yeah. Did you do it? No, yeah. Well, you would, you did, but yeah. John and I and uh, and Zane collaborated on some questions uh, and to ask members of the community who are playing at Worlds: your Luke Cooks, your Austins. Wow, uh, uh, what's that? One, two, three, and a crit surge. Yeah. What's wrong in that? And then uh, is, that is that surge? What is he? Is that with the BXs? Yeah. Oh yeah, the BX sniper. The BX sniper is not that much, is it? Oh, I'm trying to remember, what did he just shoot? Did he shoot with his B2s around the corner over there? No, he went with... He's defended. That would be a blank, 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 blank. That He was shooting B2s. Yep, so B B2s. BXs and a B2s. Yeah, yep. two B2s have just left the building. Yep. Um, yeah, so these interviews will be... Um, broadcast on the That's No Moon channel and I think the Evan Base channel as well together yeah. in tandem. Oh, that was a shot without an aim. They just shot and now they're moving back behind uh, cover. He's, uh, has he got Binox? Or did he get an aim from... No, uh, he didn't even no. re-roll actually, did he? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He just no, rolled he it. just nah. rolled. Yeah, so that was just a natural, just that's what he got. Oh, cheeky bugger. Yeah, right. Is Simon Fuller love playing tomorrow? I don't know. I don't even think he's here. I don't think he's here. Yeah. I don't think he's here. Mm -mm, I haven't seen him. If Simon was here, we would know it. Yeah, he would have come over. Yep. Yeah, he would have made himself aware. Yeah. So I think is Pierce going to go with some BXs to trade off with some B2s like uh, Brian just did? Maybe. Nope, nope. He just, just moved some guys and then passed, I think. And guys, make sure you... Uh, jump in tomorrow as well we will be having four games streamed tomorrow of the actual world championship um 
starting rounds. Um, it is going to be a single elimination format, essentially. Uh, players can keep playing, obviously. If you lose a round, like, you're not going to be moving forward, but you can still just keep playing to play um, and get tickets for the awesome AMG prize wall you that they've got going on. Play together um, and stuff. Which I, I would. I mean, I would. if I'm here, the, the dice are fantastic. Um, they've got foil command cards, yep. um, which are beautiful. Um, I would 100% just keep playing for the heck of it. Andy's, um, on, Andy's on record, I think. If you've traveled, there's two schools as well. If you've traveled far, and you, you, if you travel far and you lose the first game, you're still going to play the rest because you're playing people, A, you may not have met, but B, you can yep. have fun, fun too. True. But the other school thought is if, if someone does drop and meaning someone's getting a buy and, they've, and you've got, if I had that buy and I've traveled 5,000 miles, yeah. I'm going to be G darn peed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because that's not what you want. No. No, you want to come here and you want to play people that you've the, never played. The way, that would, uh, the way that I would feel better is if, okay, you've got the buy, here's double the amount of ticket wins for you to make yeah. you feel better. Right. Yeah. And I would say, okay, that's a reasonable, uh, what's the word I'm looking yep. for? Oh, and it looks like he just picked up the uh, Magna there. So one Magna yep. unit gone. No, he's now down on the act uh, is activation. Is he down on activation? Yep, yep. Or, no, well, Brian picked up something earlier. Oh, yeah, Brian picked up a B1. Yeah, yep. so, so B1 now, and a B, B1 and a, uh, and a Magna trade-off. But yeah, no, I would I would keep playing 100%. So tomorrow, guys, we will be streaming everything. Um, every game we play will be an undefeated player. So every match you see will be a sweaty, tough match to move forward. Yep. There will not be a, oh, he's he's one and one right now if he wins this one and he goes. No, it is straight up. You are one and oh, you are two and oh, you are, we are going to play all the way through. Yep. So. You'll, and we will try, obviously, those of you watching now obviously are based on this side of the Atlantic's time zone. So you probably won't see the ones early doors in the morning unless you're super, super committed. Yeah, yep, yep. Which is absolutely fair. Uh, yep. Um, but we'll probably end up, I think you'll probably end up having a European slash non-US player first. Yeah. Well, at least one anyway. Yeah. Uh, for in the first one or two games, and then, it'll, and then you'll see the transition. Yep. Uh, and we'll just try and retain the best of the best as we go along. Yep, just moving along. Picking, picking them up. There is, there's, there's a couple of people who've got lists that I want to see play because the lists are, are, un are unique. Uh, Dave Grant is running a Dave Grant list. And I don't know about you and people on the chat, you're watching a Dave Grant list do doing his thing is quite it's, entertaining. It's honest, it's impeccable. Have you heard what he's doing this year? I have. Vader Immortal. <sighs> yes, yes. And last year, actually, no, this was. Vader Power Tank last year. Yeah, but he was playing. Was he playing Kyle off stream? Uh, pass. I'm trying to remember. There was a. There was a. There was. It was either LVO or Worlds last year, where I think Kyle and Dave Grant got paired against each other, and there was another game that we picked to put on stream yeah. because I think like Kyle had already been on or Dave. It was one of those like someone had already been on, so we were like. I think it must be Kyle. Was on, I, don't, I don't recall Dave being on stream. Yeah, and so then we. Uh, so Kyle and Dave were playing outside, and so I was field reporting that game because that game was just as intense as the stream game going on. Yeah. And everybody's like, how's the other game? How's it? So I was like, screw it. I'm going to go over, and I'm just going to type it into the chat and just let it all in. McTowles so. has come over. Oh, McTowles. He's 4-0. He's 4-0? He's 4 Good job, buddy. He's got his ticket Good for tomorrow. Good job. That's awesome. He's guaranteed his ticket for tomorrow. <laughs> hey, that's what he said. That's what you do. That's what you do. You only come from Poland to win, all right? It's not We'll see you oh, Sunday. There we go. There it is. Yes. I love that. I love that mindset. I love it. Good job, buddy. Good Remem job. Remember, if you say you're going for a beer, but you have to stay out, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's cool, yeah. That's awesome. So that was Metallus, everybody. He was uh, he was on our second stream. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's one of the Polish guys yeah. who came over to play LCQ to get in, and he is in now. He came he's, to win. He's up. And at he least won he can say he won 8 one. Yeah. I mean, if he loses one game and for the tomorrow, he can still say, I have got, yeah. Yeah, he went, um, he went undefeated. So, yeah, so Dave Grant, I feel like we'd, yeah, I feel like getting Dave Grant's uh, Immortal Vader on would be good. Um, speaking strictly from a, the UK players that I know, um, there will be Elliot Thomas is running the Brobots together. Oh, what is that? IG, both IG11, IG oh, okay, okay. He's running the Brobots together. Uh, but he, he knows that list so well. Uh, I've played against him running it, and it's it's painful. Yeah. Uh, he beat me. I was running Anakin Quad RPS. 
Okay. Um, so at the time, a reasonable list. And yeah, yeah, it turns out that when the bro one of the robots wants to explode, nothing Anakin can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh. And it was that explosion that cost me the game. It Oof. killed killed Anakin on one wound. It was Jeez. like, oh damn! If I make the save, yeah, I win the game. If I don't make the save, I don't. But mm. if, yeah, so it was interesting. Uh, but he's no, he's, he's a good player. He knows that list like the back of his hand. And he plays out of London, and there's a very big, thriving uh, community in London. And that's where Lila plays. So yeah. The School yeah. of Hard Knocks. Yeah. The School of Pink Suns. Yeah. Um, so she's down there, and he does, and they, they consult together and all this sort of stuff. So I would be interested to see how he does. He was doing quite well in the Swiss. Okay. Um, I'll, we'll do an update on the Swiss in a moment. Yeah. He's doing what. Uh, so that'll be that. Obviously, I want to see Kyle play, um, not because I haven't seen him play on stream before, but because it'd be nice to actually meet him. <laughs> yeah. Have a chat yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, mate. Well, I'm Kyle from London. Oh, <laughs> not from London, from Cambridge. Um, just to correct that. But yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, can we get Dave Grant on? Can we get Dave Grant on stream? Go stream game, game one. Well, we. Uh, yeah, we'll, we don't know. We'll see who's on. Yeah. Uh, we we in our in our in our hearts want to play a certain individual in game one, but we'll yep. just let the gods decide. Yeah, and we'll see what the pairings come up because I mean you never know who people get paired with. Yeah. So. And game one could just be an interesting list against yeah. an interesting list because then as the time goes on, you're going to see the same thing. Yeah, we're gonna you're we're probably gonna wind up since this is so cutthroat and this is we're we're playing undefeateds. We're probably gonna have a lot of repeat lists as you're we go see forward. It, you're gonna see the XD droids on. Yeah. Well, at least, uh, what well, over the whole weekend you're going to see him at least three times. Uh, yeah, I would say it would, it'll probably be a third for sure. Yeah, you'll see Yoda Padme's. Yep. You'll see. What else is there? Probably some Ewoks. Yeah, you'll see the Ewoks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, that's the one I was thinking of. Yep. Uh, give Luke Cook, Kyle Dornboss game one. If, <laughs> could you? Could you imagine? Oh, that would be heartbreaking. It would. It, uh, it's kind of like. Well, that would be knocking one person out. That that person does not win worlds. Yeah, it's kind of why, like maybe the format at the moment is, I would say, is, is imperfect. Right. Uh, but then there is no perfect system. But, no, and yeah. it's all random. So, I, I don't know what, how uh, how people would feel about having everyone drawn in groups like the actual World Cup. You have oh, X right. amount okay. of groups. Yeah. With four in, and then they each play each other. Yeah. Then the top two, and then they go. Then they pair as opposed to the knockouts, like like the FIFA World Cup. I, I think I think that would actually be really a good idea, because then you because then you kind of spread the. Actually, uh, you know what it's like? Yeah, it's, it's um, what's the thing? Online league. What's it called? Online the, like the, fantasy. The, the, the TTO league. The, oh the, oh um. Um. Uh, oh, what's it bloody called? <laughs> John, save us! <laughs> what's the online TTS league, TTS league called? Invader league. Invader league. Thank you. <laughs> Brains is we were both just sitting here going, <laughs> and John's just like looking at us like, what's wrong with y'all? <laughs> so yeah, you could, because Invader League runs that way now. Yes. Uh, so, I mean, you could do that and see yeah. what goes on. Yeah. Welcome back. Hey, guys. <laughs> yeah. We were just talking about is like Brains how, already off? No, no, well, no we, we, were, we were trying to think of things. We were talking about the format. Really things really. are hard to think of. That yeah. is for sure. And we mentioned, someone said, oh, it'd be funny if you get Kyle and Luke match game one. And we were like... No, because that means one of them definitely won't make final stuff, assuming they deserve to. And then, one, and I speculated like, would a format change to something like uh, a pod? Like you each have your seat, your groups, and then the top top two of each group will go yeah. through to the knockouts. Yeah, that, like that requires so many more games, though. You know. Um, well, because if you do, well, because if you do it in groups of four, one, it two, takes two, three three games in the first in the group stages. Yep. And five. Then, well, we'll think of it this way: it takes five games to eliminate two thirds of the players, right? If you're in pods of six, it's five rounds of games to eliminate. I can do this. Two thirds of the players. Allow me to do math. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'll cross check it. Uh, so these guys have basically just been circling each other. Still, nobody's anymore. He, he traded. He got the magnas off. Uh, okay. He, he got them off with the with his uh, BXs. He shot them off and then moved. What? Um, but they've been uh, not not a whole lot of um, loss going on really.
Did that, that one Magna Guard you said is finally dead? Yeah. Yep. And that was Pierce's? Yes. If you have not if you have a, a player base of two hundred and fifty six, okay. it would take nine games to eliminate down to a final two. So you would have two hundred and fifty six. After three games it goes to one twenty eight. because uh, you do so everyone play so if you have them in pods of if you have them in groups of four in the top two. Hold on, walk through. walk me through this. I don't so, No no it's fine. So if you have two hundred and fifty six people. Yep. And then uh, Div, and then you pods of what? what what's what's the, so if you, the if battle you, plan? If you here? go if you go like the, the like the FIFA World Cup for example, groups of four, so each everyone plays three games in the, in the, in, the, in what you would okay. do the group stages. So after three games, groups of four. So that's sixty four groups of four. Yep. But, okay. you, if you do, but that doesn't that's not so much of an issue as much as you just know you're playing that person, that person, that person. Yeah. Yeah. So there's your three. So then that's divided by two after round. So after, that's three rounds to get to one twenty eight. Right, because you're, so you're saying two of the four advance? Two of each group, yeah. Okay. Uh, so there's, there's your 128. Do I two again? Gets to 64. That's four games. Well, so then then it's straight single elimination? Yeah, straight single, yeah. From 128 is seven games yeah. for a champ. Yeah. So yeah, so bang, nine, bang, bang. nine from 256. I mean, yeah. In theory. Yeah. But yeah, that's... <laughs> that's just, Which is what we're doing now. We have four, three, and two. Yeah, chucking ideas. Nine, but it's... Mm, yeah. Effectively, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because he's, the in in the group stages, you can still lose one and progress. Group stage is a useful tool that we haven't really utilized in Legion outside of Invader League. It's a bit. I, I know it's big in obviously it's big in sports. So obviously, FIFA World right. Cup, Champions League, um, uh, all, all, that, all that sort of the major sports and things like that. But the Rugby World Cup do it a bit differently. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a it's an interesting take. Uh, yeah, you got to, someone says, go throw in penalties, penalty kicks. What, how, how that I imagine would work is you take your mini, you put it on the table, and you flick it and see if it, <laughs> see if you can flick it in a goal. Um, good luck doing that with a flutter craft. <laughs> <laughs> you could do rankings from A to D and then split the two between D1 and D2. Same games, same amount of games with better separations. Rankings from A to D. I don't follow. Neither yeah. do I. Please, uh, Chris F. Uh, Timoteo, please, if you could uh, in, uh, uh, elaborate, that'd be great. Uh, someone's saying about you, Tim obviously said about using an official ranking system. While that no. has, yeah, that's not gonna. While that's been mooted, I actually don't agree with it, just because. Yeah. In. I suppose in a sport. In the sport, you, it's extremely it's regulated. Extreme, yeah, and you, you have sanctioned games yeah. where these are earned. Like, there's exactly. so many more factors. In this, someone who is unranked, like Lila last year, say for example, Lila, unranked, could come out of nowhere. Yep. Right. Start just, at death. All but if she's, if she's ranked and gets played and she's always playing someone who is ranked all the time you're not going to get that uh, underdog story are you so that's why pure random helps I say pure random Swiss random I don't, Olympic fencing style rankings I am unaware of how that works no the pods can definitely fail Every a lot of things can fail yeah um, you could get but the ranking system could also fail you know Pods, uh, pods, yeah, you can definitely because you get what the old group of death. So yep. you imagine the group of like Lila, Kyle, Luke, Andy. Two of them are going out. And then. Right. Yeah. But the odds of That's not three simple. players highly getting, improbable. like three highly skilled players landing in the same <sighs> four man group. Improbable. Yeah. Happens in the World Cup, though. You get that stuff in, in the real world. Right. But, uh, yeah, but it's highly improbable. But still, the best two of them make it out. They, they still get a chance to play against each other. Yes. And, you know, and yeah, the yeah, best yeah. one wins. Yeah, the exactly. best one makes it out. Yep, yep, yep. The best two. Tim, I'll have a look at this Olympic fence because I need to look into it because he's saying it's 100 years of making a system that works. I'll look into that a bit more. Hello, Roll. Uh, at least two, one, two crits there. Three... Three hits, two crits, I think I see that. And that's that's tilted.
Oh, two crits off the reroll. Oh, snap. Boom. And blank. Ooh, that is... That looks like a dead squad. That's uh, B2's gone. All of the B2s. Whoa, wow. All of the B2s. So Frank far, Brian, Brian trading the better units here. I'm going to go get a, look at the, a better look at the attrition over there for a sec and see who's got lost what, because Brian's been as a trade, so we can't see very well. So bear with. Yeah. These counts are going to start to matter. Or points destroyed. Yep. Pierce that just lost his B2s. Pierce also has lost his IG. His IG, yep. Uh, he has all three BX still. Brian taking the moment to move more units out. Be a little bit more bold now that he's, he's up. further ahead in yeah. nutrition. Which to keep I, the pressure on. I think that's a fair fair thing to do. His five magnets have yet to pop out. They activated and they or do they probably just take a shot at one of these BXs? Yeah, I think that's what they did. Shields down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, like, you know, if the B2's gone, the Magna's gone, he's going to be leaning on these BXs to start carrying him through the rest of this game for sure, which is going to be tough when Brian has his B2s and his Magna's both still ready to go with all of his BXs. So. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, I, like, this is, this is where in a mirror – it gets hard to start winning back up because you're playing against the same thing you're playing. Right, so. just better. And they're obviously very similarly skilled. Yeah. So the attrition uh -huh. is uh, he's lost a squad of B2s and a squad of B as the as the Magnus and Brian has lost B1s. And that's it. Cool. Uh, he's lost minis, but he's not lost squads. Right, right, right. Uh, he and also he had two minis in there and then he just brought one back, which is just rude. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way it is. Things will never change. What are we looking at for time? Well, we could get you. There, we there's, know the there's still time in the official. round. There's definitely time in the round. There's time in the round. I that's feel what, like that's what they're telling the players. I feel like there's 20 minutes left. I, I kind of would feel like there's 36 minutes left. Yeah, that's a good hunch. But or we can't say. That's why we don't know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the world I think there might know. be. I think there might be 15 minutes left. We'll find out in 36-ish minutes. Yeah, you know, yeah. But. or 15. And yeah. we haven't got. Have we got snap? No, we haven't got snap. Oh, we oh, it's a no snap. Wait, but those are two three. The two threes. 
No, that is. That's alt art or something. They have the same threes, and they already played their other three. That's the same text oh, as okay. Roger Roger. Okay. They gain a surge or a dodge to three tro droid troopers. Yeah, that's four for four on the snap. <laughs> yeah, so so far, so far, John and I are. <laughs> yeah, so John and I are on the over so far. We're we're doing solid. With them both having the same two cards remaining, I don't think Cockle's four snap bet is gonna hold. You know, I mean it's fifty fifty actually. May the odds be in my favor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The only the only thing that's going to change it is if um, one makes a gamble. Yeah. And yeah, it's going to go down that. So well, be they the, both have the two and the they one. They both have it. a one and a two. They both have ambush and preservation protocols. And the preservation will only be really coming into it is if you're in melee, really. Yep. Oh, here comes a Terrell. A feral Terrell. It's a feral Terrell. It is. <laughs> How is he done for the day? Three and one. Three and one. <laughs> okay. Okay. What about? Dyer. Uh, he's currently playing. He's one and two. He's one and two. So Who did he lose to? Uh, John Dunn. He lost to John Dunn. <laughs> he made a mistake on the last turn. He says. There we go. There we go. I've got dice. Oh, I've got all of them. I've got the black, the red. I was nice. Say, I was say word dice. Nice. Good job. Right, hang on. I'm going to curse his dice. Two hits. No, oh, there we go. Well, we got. A, I'll tell you what's going on, and then yeah, and uh, we got a droid off. A, a near mirror match. Uh, they're both three and zero. Um, Pierce on your Pierce is on your left, and Brian's on your right. Um, they're both running very similar XD experimental droid lists. The difference is um, no, no, because they're sensible. Um, no snail tank. The the Brian has vibro swords on one of his. Um, BXs yeah. and Pierce and he's got an RPS in his Magnus okay. and Pierce has a whip and all the same on his um, BXs. So is that two shields and one vibro? Yes. Uh, yeah, on two shields, one vibro on For this Pierce. side yeah, yeah. and then three shields on this side. I think that's a really good way to run it. Well, well, and also situational awareness on all three. Mm. Here's a question for you. Yeah. Why would you run Magnus when you can run up another B2 unit? Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. He means yeah, no <laughs> Especially the prototype Magna. Yeah. They're awful. Courage one, like... One health. One health. That's, yeah. that's the biggest thing. The Courage, I don't think, is as big of an issue when you have a Courage 2 commander. Yeah. And you know, it's the same thing, and you're a and droid. You can't, think, like, leave them by themselves. Right. So, you've actually got to play intensively, like a normal core unit. <laughs> You mean like a player that's not a droid player, like anyone else in the game? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like <laughs> you have to play the game. <laughs> Do you know what, Terrell, you've not been on all day? No, I've been on. So. I'm going to tag in. Hold him to account, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we got Andy tagging in for cockles here. Brian is trying to figure out what exactly he wants to do here as he's put his orders out, and I guess he's run the roll off. Yeah. I think they could easily get to turn five before the... I think so, too. Before the timer hits. But... We had a... I'm good. ...bit of a fiasco in the previous round, Andy, if you didn't hear it, where... Um, yeah. The players just barely finished turn four after the time was called, after the 15-minute time was called. Oh. So they didn't get to start five. Yep. And no one was on any of the key positions. Really? Yep. Yeah. There was one bounty scored, though. So and that, that player it. won. Ouch. Yep. But the other player was Ewoks and could have dominated the any just, key just over, just, just overran it and been fine. Oh, that's, that yep. feels bad. But not knowing. Yep. 
Yeah, I mean, I no. suppose that's a side effect of the current uh, not yeah. being able to yeah. know when the round starts, etc. Right. Yep. Oh, these magnets are finally popping out. They are. What are we going for here? I think this is the the bold move, Cotton. Yeah. What <laughs> is he, if it plays what out? Is, what is he? Is he shooting for Kalani here? I think. I mean, the Would BX, you go those, Kalani? Those BX is out in the open. Only have one shield left and no dodges. Yeah. What is he? Oh, he definitely charges though. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the the Magna Guards with a rocket. That's the only difference, though, isn't it? With the, you get the extra man as a uh, the experimental droids, so they're four man squads, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was puzzled why there was five there for a second, but then. Right. Yeah, th our Electra Whip Magna Guard from the other uh, the other player is already dead. Got hosed. Did not get to see it in action. see some good dice here. Who is that that he's charging? A BX squad? Yeah, BX squad. Yep. Okay. That'll be big if a BX squad finally goes down. Yeah. Did he get in scoring range? Uh, doesn't look like it. I think he's got I think he's got one there. Uh, pretty it's, pretty it's close. close. It's close. Yeah. So, Andy yeah, is now jumping on hey, for us. Hey. First time on today. Yeah. Yeah. So, why don't you uh, tell us Ollie's a little Ollie's been coming over here every chance he gets yeah, to yeah. hop on the mic. N nibbling on the crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> so, for me, like, the first three games were quite uh, up until the timer. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, like... Um, was it... Sw I mean, it's Swiss. Did you feel like you were playing very sweaty, or was it just... No, like... Um, Game two was really hard because it was playing against Double Darks. Ah. Um, and Experimental Droids don't have a lot of impact. Right. Uh, it's Double Darks Palpatine, so that was even worse. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Um, and it, it was uh, just making them, him do lots of mistakes. Not mistakes, but forcing him to make bad choices and decisions yeah. um, from playing command cards. So right. Like, um, turn one with Palpatine, he had to double move to hide him. So there was oh, no strings. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and like, oh, oh, that is a Magna Guard oh. wipe. That is five hits and then five, not wipe, I no. guess. They're too healthy. Or no, these are it's five a, it's, the B, it's the BX. And that's five blinks. Four blinks and a surge, mind you. Ouch. Through their shields, because we're in melee. Yeah. Uh, he's going to expose his Magnas now, but. So you're yeah, trading up. I uh, mean, that's Definitely another trade off. Down. That's another yeah. trade off there. That's and they're not going to go down that easily. They're still going to take a lot of hits. Yeah. Because he's going to have cover from other stuff shooting at them. Yeah, he's so. pretty well wrapped around that barricade that mm -hmm. each angle he'll have cover. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. That was big. That was wow. big. Wow. Nice dice. Another, yeah, nice dice. <laughs> nice dice from the Magnus <laughs> for sure. But yeah, I've. It, I've been trying to come over, but just because going to the end. And yeah, if you're no going breaks. around into rounds, yep, yeah. for sure. I know all these games have been going a lot quicker. <laughs> <laughs> for better or for worse. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst he's done in a while, though. Oh. Is it? Yeah, he's one in two. Ooh. Oh. And it, like coming here, I think he'd only lost two games out of nearly 30 games or something. Oh, oh wow. So, yeah. He was getting a little too, too cocky, too yeah. confident over there in the UK. <laughs> So it looks like, is he moving? He's moving past the Magnas to just get in scoring range. I don't think the Magnas were in scoring range. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I he's not, we're not like getting the perfect view when he measures there, but it looks like they might be out. And these B1s can easily base the Magnas in B in. Because I think the, the non-unit leader there, when he put the, uh, when I saw him put it down, was in range, but the model oh, was yeah. uh, to the right of it with the red head by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah, right. That's um, uh, that's his leader, I think. Yeah, so yeah. Right. I think and that he's guy's just too out. far away. Yeah. yeah. But he, let's see, uh, was he the one that scored two last round? No, uh, Pierce scored Pierce two scored last because round. Because he, he had the middle control. Yeah. So Pierce is the one that's down on attrition right now. Yeah. But up in victory points, and he might get up again in this fourth round. Yep. But if attrition goes poorly enough, that won't matter for Brian. Well, yep. and here's the other thing, too, is Brian still has everything back here to activate with. He now yeah, they, has, could, they could run around yeah. for sure. Too. I mean, his, his, his B2s could even just swing around, take a shot at those B1s that are out there. and but The B2s got Haas. They do. Yeah. I like it. The... 
the only B2 squad remaining, at least. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, because because uh, Pierce has lost on that that uh, in the um, what is that Martian Genosis space? Yep. Yeah, he's lost his B2s and his his Magnas already. So. Okay. And now, uh, now and now squad, now BX yeah. as well. Well, I, th I think a BX is alive by one, because no. there is. There's no way. One right there. Oh, that is that is. Hmm. How did they have a no? They would have had to spend the dodge before. There was definitely five blanks. Did they have a surge? There was one surge. Yeah, yeah it's four. So, but did they have a surge token? I didn't see. I. They are. They're all aggressive tactics, or they they both are. With yeah. Kalani. So, that could have been how it held out. But these guys yeah. would have to snap in. Oh, I, I is, think they, that is snapped in. He snapped I in. See it. Yep. I see it. Yeah, he snapped because that one was he around the side. In. His metal blends in yep. with the cloak there. Well, and I don't think he could snap in based off where the other barricade is positioned. Right. And so that's where he wound up moving okay, into. Okay, so that Mac, that BX is not quite dead. Yeah. Have they got um, any heals left to bring them B BXs well, back? Well, he just went with that B1 squad and didn't heal anybody back. So oh. well, what's this, he might be a What's max. this other bot back here? Is that not a BX? Uh, that's a B1. The brown, no, the the dark brown color in front of the B1. That's that's the one. That's the one BX. I think that. No, with I see, the sniper. I see two heads here. Yeah, the sniper. Oh yeah, I see. I see. He's yeah. A, yeah he's the same color as the Magna Guards. Yeah, yeah. So there's two. So he must have healed that one back and brought this the one that with would the, track, the gun. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So it's now a two man BX. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That that just man that literally that's crazy because that is two different people's painting technique and it blends in so well you can't even tell that there's a, a bx head <laughs> sitting there yeah but you can see the base there in between their bases yes, yep yep that's what i saw when you said it. i was like what do you mean and then i was like oh and then i like looked up and saw the saw the eye and i was like oh, okay cool uh yeah it is possible this is their last turn um they are getting somewhere near that two and a half hour hour mark. Yep. And they're not going crazy fast. No, they're they're definitely they're definitely not moving uh, super quick. So. Oh, this is a big roll. Five, six. Do they convert? Who is this? Reds and whites. Who throws reds and whites? It looks like a magnum melee, but they've already gone. Is that BX, BX? Vibro Sword? Uh, only if it's spent the extra search for the extra dice. I mean, yeah, it could be BX Vibro Sword. I just don't see any in melee anywhere. Why? Why? Oh, do is that B2s? Yeah, why do his B2s have a immobilized token? Oh, like where did that immobilize come from? And an ion token. Ah, so it looks or like uh, it was this BX squad shooting here. Okay, on the left oh, of our screen. Okay. Is he just okay. with the yellow token. rubber bands? Yeah, I okay. think. But that was definitely melee dice, right? We're not able to go back and see. Yeah. He was asking about the shield token if it was untapped or not. Ah. And we're not able to go back and look. So. Right. Got to go with the current board state. Yep. Yep. That's two out of five blanks. Okay. Mm, yep, so loses two. Also, that squad. I'm still confused about who shot that. They could, I mean, there were, there might have only been two red dice. That could have just been a ranged BX shot. Could right, be. With the yeah, and then the extra black and the white in. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Just a range three BX shot. We know our dice pools, promise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'll admit it. <laughs> no, I don't either. I don't solve them. So Andy, are you are you excited for tomorrow? Is is, is the like anxiety there? Like are you like ready to get it going or? 
Uh, I think the anxiety for playing is kind of not not there at the yeah. moment. I probably will be really nervous tomorrow <laughs> morning. Yeah, but, yeah. Because it's that that one loss. Like, yeah, that's, that's that's what's weighing heavy yeah. on everybody from what I've talked to. They are they're all just like. Yeah, once I lose that game, pressure's off, I'm done. Yeah. Like, that's it. You know, like, yeah, everybody's, like, getting beers, playing other games, you know, like, doing whatever. So, um, no, yeah. But I'm really excited for it. Like, I've played four people, well, three people from not the U.K. today. America. Nice. Oh, nice. The, the one game I lost was to That's really the player. best. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's well, you awesome. lost to a U.K. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John Dunn uh, beat me. Oh, yeah. But like we don't play very often, um, okay. So like we've only played once before. Still good. So. Oh well, that's good then. Yeah, yeah. At least you're not like right in your local meta. Exactly. So you're like cool. It's not like Ollie or Lila or right, something. Right, 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 right. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, do you have any like pre-tournament rituals that you like to do? Uh, sleep. Sleep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pretty that's solid huge. ritual. That's huge. <laughs> but. Then I'm paranoid that I'll sleep through my alarm and stuff like that. Oh, so I don't get That's me. I, every time I roll over, I look at my watch. Like, yeah. oh, sleep. Okay. Oh, sleep. In. <laughs> Set triple alarms for these oh, events. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, heck, just to wake up this morning. Uh -huh. Actually, I don't even know if you heard me get up at all. I think I did, but I fell back asleep immediately. Yeah, I had my alarm set on my watch that would just vibrate, but then I had a backup alarm on my phone, <laughs> so I wouldn't miss going down to swim this morning. I was like, I gotta get up. I gotta make sure I get up. Looks like we had two hits. Probably not enough to get through cover there. No. So I think Ollie was lucky that we had me in the room because he, he didn't get woken up by his alarm, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, come on, get up. I've, I've had those kind of friends. I, I know how that is. Oh, yeah. Which I don't understand because, like, the moment, I mean, like, that first chime goes off on my phone, yep. I'm awake. Boom. Yeah. I'm awake. I'm turning it off. Like, yep, I'm up. Mm -hmm. I got it. Mm -hmm. So we're moving in. We're checking. Trying to get an out-of-cover shot probably from Brian. I think so. I don't know if he's got, but Brian's keeping up the pressure. He is. He's he's playing this well. He just needs to, the the pace needs to. They need to be careful of that. Yes, because one thing that was handy for us with the the Swiss event because that LCQ was starting before us. Ah. So if you heard uh, like last minute down, uh, like or the fifteen minute timer uh -huh. for the Swiss round, I was like, well, we've got about thirty to forty five minutes. Uh, oh. so it's a little bit cheesy. Maybe that's what our previous that player was thinking. That's probably what he was thinking. Yeah. Oh, okay. So like, I was constantly like listening out for the LCQ to give me a rough idea. Can't do that tomorrow though. Right. But right. No. Yeah. Yeah. It, it did help alleviate wow. the. Do you have a game plan for keeping track of time yeah. tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, do you plan on any just, just checking the watch, just, just seeing what time as, you get there? And uh, as soon as the round pairs up, I'm hitting a timer for two, two and a half hours. Okay. Cool. Because yeah. then if you're playing to that time, then you're recommend. guaranteed to have a little extra time yeah. playing to that. Worst yeah. case so. is, yeah, yeah. We, I've played too early or something. Right, yeah. right, right. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's not It's not bad. Cause so. I agree. My uh, second game, we we had like two activations left when they said, oh, don't start a new round. Right. And we was like, oh, right, we'll score it here as it is. Yeah. And he was like, he was like, oh, do you not want to play for round six? So I was like, I want to play round yeah. six. I don't think it makes a difference in the outcome. Like, right. it's still right. my favor. Yeah, yeah. But I was like... But also, you can't ask your opponent that. Like, that's a... If it wasn't where we are now, I'm happy to do that. Yeah, if, yeah, if you're right, at a local right. tournament, yes. but you can't... Yeah. yeah. It's like, I, I've do you been put play in that position before. It feels bad, because you're like, yeah. do you want to play it out? And I'm like, I think if we play it out, I'm still getting the win. I think it was actually worse yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this but, is the game state. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is what you have I'm now. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. But, exactly. Which, which that's how the last game, the game we had with the issue, like, that's, the player who won, he was like, that's it. Like, you need I to be on top of keeping an eye on roughly the time, the game state, like, yep. how you've yeah. been feeling throughout with it. Yep. Yeah, this, yep. Isn't a, this isn't a local 16-man tournament. I mean, there's nothing on the line today, though. Like, it's just oh, a, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, okay. There's for the, the, four the LCQ guys, four but like, like, for blinks. Swiss, yeah, yeah. You guys are just, just warming up for tomorrow. Yep. Yep. Which I think is great for the players that can do that because, like, I think it was Adepticon two years ago. That picked we up had a X skirmish. Squad. We had a skirmish tournament. Whole squad before the main. Yeah, that one. was a fresh, a, a <gasps> different BX squad just got wiped. Oh, wow. So now the attrition is swinging. Yeah, um, Pierce now has one full BX squad left. Yeah, and another those, one on two models. Those ones behind the blue barricade are the full ones that right. are left, and then the Top two that are engaged the with the magnas. But and then he's got two B ones and a T series and Kalani. It is snowballing. Yeah. It's not going to matter if he's not on that scoring point. Exactly. When the time but is that called. is true. Pierce is ahead in victory points. Yep. And he's currently Which contesting that middle feel point. So very bad. Yeah. Yeah. Because this would be an example where if you played out six turns, it's yep. completely going away. Even a fifth turn. Yep. Yeah. Even yeah. just one turn. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of that tomorrow. I think there is yeah. too, which That's is going to hurt. Yeah. It's going to hurt I a lot. I think it's, it's going to be a growing um, pain. Yeah. That and it's, if there's enough of those, it'll suck, but it'll teach the players, hopefully. Those stories will spread and players will be more cognizant. I, I think it's just hard that it's it's coming at such a dire event. I think it's that's, I think that's that. where it's going to hurt the worst. Oh, you know? yeah, I agree. Um, if, we, so. if it didn't matter that you could lose one game like last year, right. then I don't think it's as big of an issue. Yes. But I yeah, think it drives so the, the story home even harder, though, that it is. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like tough love kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. I can say this because I'm not playing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. So. Yeah, we're just over here by the desk. We don't care. Did you earn a ticket? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't play all year. Oh, that's fair. No, yeah, yeah, I played at LVO, and I was a little, a little late Where's, for that. I did not do well at LVO. Where is Brian going with? Oh, is he running back? This is T series. Yep, he's just putting him behind cover, securing right. the intercept. Yep, all so right. then he can move that's those solid. other BXs forward. I think. I think that's a yep. solid play. I mean, that's always quite a, an interesting thing with the experimental droids that you can rotate your back cap um, unit from a T series and some B1s and uh, based on what health pool you've got sat around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or even like a lone B2 is left on just the leader. If you can yeah. get him into a safe place, move him back, and now there's T series running forwards on full health. Yeah. Right. right. Yep. I mean, you can do that most factions, but I think you've got a lot more flexibility with uh, the experimental droids. For sure. I mean, th so the order. Uh, so why? Because of the speed three? Yeah. Okay. Speed three you gets you an extra them. two inches. Yeah. Because you can go from the your home objective to the middle with a speed two and a speed three. If you're right. on the edge of your home one, if that makes if sense. If you're on the back edge? Uh, yeah. So if it, uh, the closer part to the middle. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. On the inner edge. Yeah. So it gets you to what? The opposite? Yeah. To the next one. Yeah. Well, it's only like three inches to the from the one to the other. I mean, they're, six, they're very six. close. Yeah. Because I think some large bases can even yeah, touch large bases, both. Yeah, but with troopers, it's usually... But yeah, yeah. None of the troopers don't. Troopers are the ones scoring here. Uh -oh. But yeah. Seeing it. You get 14 inches of movement with that speed three, speed two. I think Which if is. I'm Brian right now, I just say, you know what? I'm up on this. I've got more units. I just run them forward. Just in case. Just get yeah. up there. Just Because yeah. you, know, you kind of ha should have an idea of how much time you've been playing with right now. So is that only one B1 score in that middle as well? Uh, currently, yes. I believe there's just the one B1. Uh, you see our top down? top down. Yeah, yeah. this will give us a better. Oh, that so. is only Pierce that is in the middle. And because yep. we already determined the Magna Guards were out from Brian. Yep. And then Brian has nothing else on this southeast edge. Yeah, he's already gone. Everything south has gone. He just has his B1s and his B2s. Uh, so, yeah, which the B2s having to mobilize from? I don't know what that's from. <laughs> know where the Electro Whip did not go off. No, and he was all the way on the other side. Those guys were dead. Is he using it to track uh, like It could heels? be using it to heals or his surge tokens, if that's anywhere near Kalani. Mm, that's possible. Uh, yeah. Ooh, this is a shot. That There's only was one. Four? Yeah. yeah. Four hits. This is a BX shot into someone. Probably back across into those other BXs that shot at him. I think it looks like there's five. I've always pulled aside. Oh, oh okay. yeah. yeah. Must have been one off camera there. Reroll for nothing. Yeah. Good white dice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's shooting, yeah, shooting those BXs on that he side. He has a dodge. There. He has heavy cover. No shields, though. No, well, uh, if he's shooting at yellow, I think he's shooting at yellow, they have one All dodge. All four of these yeah. shields are tapped. Yep. That was more offense dice. Was yeah, so he's going to spin the one dodge. Should be two defense rules. Yep. I'm surprised he didn't apply the pierce there. He, brought, he chose to reroll oh, another two white dice. He did. Yeah. Over a pierce against red saves. All right. Apparently oh. you don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> Justified in the end. Yeah. Wow. 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 Crap dice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, red dice are really swinging. They are fickle. They uh, yeah. are fifty-fifty. Yeah, yeah. Like and it, and, and like they could swing both. Like ways earlier, our Ewok thing. player, right? He's throwing his white defense dice. He knows what they're gonna do. Yeah. He literally right. just throws them like, cool. Something survives. Whatever. Awesome. Because like yeah. at one point he threw like one. He's like, whatever. And it rolled block. And he's like, went to pick it up. And he's like, oh, oh, all right, um, never mind. Okay, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, so. I got a, a live dude now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's 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 a feel good. Oh, all right. So man. just measured there. Still only one. One I'm scoring. like on the edge of my seat. If okay, here goes, here goes Brian. He's got, he's got him. Gonna get to turn five. See, here's where you said those barricades could potentially hurt him. 
But he may have measured those barricades to get him. Does that get in there? That might be. I feel like that might be just short. That looks close. No, nope, he's that in. Gets him. He's okay. In. By like half a base. All right. Well, that's that's what he needed to do. Is that so. just one to one though, or it is. that's one to yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. okay. So that unit here was just out. So that's tied up, but that he like he still loses the game unless he owns that middle. Has he got another unit yeah, to go with? He All also, I mean, because Pierce is ahead in victory points. Yeah. Oh, he's got his BXs down here have not gone. So these BXs right here oh. have not gone. But that, a, a, speed, a speed three will not get it there. Speed, oh, oh withdraw. Oh, puts that him could do it. In the middle. That'll mean Brian needs three in they could make it, though. very little time. Left. But he, he only has this. He only has those BXs left to go with. So as soon as he's done withdrawing, he goes with his BXs. Hopefully you, he just double eats them. You move and shoot that one dude. That withdrawal. To get to try yeah. and uh, make it one well, of these, it should be a two man. It, yeah, either yeah, way. But you, still, you still go for yeah, it. Yeah, because yeah. this is not yeah. like isn't going to be able to move, double move into that intercept. No, so no. he's moving. Yeah, range through the. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, that is that is a perfect move to get there. And it's setting them up for next turn though. You can do a yes. double move onto that point. Yeah. All right. Yep. So I think we're going to make it to turn five here. If they make it to turn five, then I think Brian's got it solid. Yep. He also just has to uh, like still keep the pace up because you, you 15 minutes still burns off pretty quick. Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. So here Brian's rolling some reds. Here he's got he's he's shaking reds in his hand. Where's the white dice for the range free shot? <laughs> I think there were. All right. Here we go. Brian's rolling. One crit, one hit. Crit I don't hit. see the it's other just one. the sniper that's thrown. It was a, yeah, it's a crit right here. Is yeah. That, is that range four then? Uh, beyond three at least. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought it was. It looked like it was range three. Yeah. Nice dice! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's exactly what just happened there. <laughs> Whew. Spicy. See, white dice are better than red dice. I mean, ugh. <laughs> yeah. I can't get behind that. Doesn't that feel better, though, when white dice save? They do. It does. Yeah, it's a more but rebels don't get enough chances to roll oh, white that's dice. True. <laughs> because just they just die. Yeah, they're just already dead. They have the yeah. same body count, and then they just die. All right, so we're making it to, to turn five here. Now, cool. I mean, now we see if they, they if they snap the fifth one. and then. Yeah. yeah so yeah. so Cockles gave us uh, over-under, since yeah. they have the exact same command hand, on oh, if right. they would play the exact same cards every time. Yeah, yeah. And we're he, four for four. Four we're, for four. We're four for four, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, they have the same two cards. Yeah, John and I took the over at four. Yeah. Um, so here's the thing: is are any of them in a position for preservation protocols? Did those magna guards get tied up? Uh, no, we withdrew. We withdrew. Yeah, they withdrew, so they're open. Now. Is there not? Is this B one not in melee with it? No, nope. just close to it. Yep. Yeah, I mean, so they both. I think they both have reason for ambush. That magna guard just just to go first moves closer to the middle point and hits a melee thing as well. Yeah. Mm hmm. He has to be careful with his cohesion if he's coming in melee at the edge of an intercept because you could easily get counter meleeed if the other one pulls out and your leader can get pulled oh, out. Oh, then you can you know? snap yeah. him a different way. I've yeah. done some of those shenanigans. Um, but there's that two-man squad in there. So you just hit that two-man squad. Hope yeah, and wipe it. Yeah. Um, just keep all of your models really... Well, well I mean... There's all kinds of scenarios. <laughs> Brian's tapping his command card, trying to see if he can get it to read through. <laughs> all right, let's see. Here we go. Oh, oh, Pierce, Pierce is looking to make sure. Actually, the biggest play would be you move the Magna Guards into melee with either the B ones. Ooh, oh, they're oh, not the same. Oh, they're, they're different. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Listen, we don't, the same. we don't tell cockles. <laughs> yeah, cockles does not cockles. know. <laughs> Yeah, the six for six. Yeah, we went there. We went all the way. 
So yeah, you move the Magna Guards into melee with either of the two units and take a standby. So you don't spend oh. the charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then that gives you options. You can trigger the attack when any it activates anything. And there's yeah, so yeah. much within range two. No, that's probably the call, yeah. Yeah, that's and, a good, yeah. And obviously, if they withdraw, you move back in and then you trigger the charge. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yep. it's got no, there's no force push or anything like that. That's right. right. Yep. There's nothing to yep. remove Just that playing standby the way it should be played. Yeah. Yep. The only way it can be played. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Outside of force pushing in the stand. I was going to say, besides doing that. So which which one played preservation? Was that Brian or Pierce? It's hard to that was, uh, that was, was Brian. That was Brian. Because <laughs> Brian. Yeah, okay. that's the one that's got... Uh, dodge, disengage. The, uh, the, the artwork. Which one's the artwork where the, he's got Anakin's getting punched? Yeah, punched by the STD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That was, yeah, was Brian. Oh. <laughs> so he's measuring, uh, measuring coordinate. Yeah. Is it me or the attrition battle? It's going not very well. It's yeah, Cockles is asking about the attrition, and it has just gone further in, further towards Brian. Oh, um, Excuses. <laughs> Did you uh, see Brian in his uh, yeah, kill? He came over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, VPs. What VPs were scored actually? Uh, forgot that was oh. turn four. That is relevant. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So we definitely scored our outer ones on yeah. our own. I think, uh, yep. Yes. No one forgot. Did did Pierce get the middle or did Brian it, yeah, nullify? Yeah, he had two. Didn't he? he had two versus the one. Yeah, yeah, because he got that BX out there. The, so that right. was so we're two. four to two. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So Brian, with how far ahead he is in attrition, only really needs to own two of these to win. Uh, but he absolutely has to own two of them. Yeah. I mean, I don't or, see them getting a turn six at this pace. No, no, they're scoring in this round. Yeah. yeah. But do you think they've even thought about that themselves? Because that's something that's really important. If you don't even clock on to the, this yeah. is the last turn. Yeah. Yeah, that is a, that's a good point. And yeah. we'll find out but, after a couple <laughs> moves. But here's the thing, though. If they hit time, Kami will tell them you have 15 minutes, and then they will know, oh, we've got to book it. That's so, true. But if you're halfway through and you're playing for turn six. Yes. Yeah, if you've already activated everything, then you're like, oh. Yeah, yeah, there's... Got everything here. I've got USB C. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, legend. We got some dice being picked up. 
Oh, that is four out of five blocks. If he has a surge, then that is five for five. Big deal. Look for a picked up model or, all right, so that was on the Magnas. Must have been pierced because picks up two. needs to like, get the Mag that Magnus somewhere safe quickly. Yeah, he doesn't have an order on him. Um, and does he have control? He has two commanders in his bag plus the Magna. Do neither of them, to looking at the list here, you've got, um, is this Brian's list or Pierce's list? That's Pierce's list. So he's got improvised and not commanding presence. To yeah, neither of them have commanding presence. Really? They both improvise, just one has relay. Ah, that's interesting. I've been finding that the, the range four allows you to then kind of have one BX unit kind of go quite wide and flank ground and stuff. Oh, and okay. you could still give that order control. So in this case, you'd be able to give them Magnus that order. Oh, just a little right. bit. Right. Oh, did order. he just draw the order? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like okay. he's just drawn it. Yeah. I mean, with improvised, if you only have the three, like, pretty good odds that you could pull the yeah. SF. Now here's the thing, if he's going to do the ultra pro move of move standby. So he got shot at. He got shot at by the only remaining full BX. Uh, oh, over here. Down here, there. bottom. Yeah. Bottom of our top curved piece. Yeah, if this is the last turn, which they know it is, well, they should. Hopefully, no. I mean... It, should be announced soon that it's their last turn. Who's he moving into? <laughs> no, he's moving back. Ooh. He is not going to be in scoring range, but he'll keep that does different pull the B1s off. But they've already. They oh, is that a back half of those front just, B1s? Uh, yeah. See, that's those cohesion melee shenanigans I was talking about. But then I think that B1 could just withdraw and still get back to... If he places this unit leader correctly. Which he might have right there. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the, be the best place. For Pierce to place. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah. It could be fine for Brian. He has enough models, enough units still in the back that haven't gone, that can move into this middle objective. And the big BX shot is already gone. Can't, do the, can't hurt him anymore. The Magna Guards don't surge, do they? No, not the not these prototype ones. Nice, that's only two hits there. Yeah. Good day. Hey, we got cockles back on. <sighs> Couldn't get any food. Concessions all closed. Oh, no. You waited too long. Yeah, never mind. These things happen. So it comes to close this then, uh, soon, we imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 4 2 to pi four two Pierce. 4 to 2 can Pierce. He, can he and Pierce is the one that's way behind on attrition. God, that's interesting then. Yeah, well, he's he took that commanding presence in the middle and, and held on to it for round two and round four. Do we dare say it was a bold move? <laughs> I already. I, what did I use it on this game? I used it once. <laughs> we're gonna we're, we're shoehorning that in <laughs> once per game. It's a bold move. Only once. <laughs> once per game, yeah. I mean, I think it was a pretty bold move that the Magnus moved back away from yeah, the intercept. I, I really don't like that. I yeah, think. maybe not bold. Maybe just dare I say, objectively bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, are we talking uh, those Magnus? So looking on our on our screen here on our top down view, um, the magnas, the three man magnas, here, they moved away from the center to tie up B ones that were scoring. Yep. Now, I think if you were gonna not try and score the middle, then magnas, then tying Kalani up because Kalani's still a scoring unit at this point. Right. Would have been a better choice because you've not really stopped them B ones. 
because all they've got to do is withdraw and hopefully they should be back in range of the centre point. But Kalani was out of range entirely. Yeah. yeah. So if you're going to commit that your Magnus are not scoring, then at least stop one of his from scoring. Are we? You think? I mean, to me, that tells me that he doesn't think this is a last, last round. Time. Yeah. Are we five and five on command cards? Oh. Y yeah. 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 Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. <laughs> Because we had a, before you arrived, we did an over-under on four or four, four snaps. Yeah. And John went the over, I said four. All right. No, I see you. You got four. Huh? So yeah, I, so I, you I, got I lied. Four no, 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 no. I, I said, so we, we, they're, I lied, they're playing. Their, their fifth one was different. Oh, so I, I was. You I, won. I won. You won. <laughs> you won, unfortunately. Cheeky man. <laughs> <sighs> I wasn't trying to dub you in on that one either. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Snitches get stitches. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And we got Pierce moving more units into the middle. See if Brian takes the bait and just attacks them rather than moving in. Brian really needs to move in, though, to, to win. It's killing me that time has not been called yet. At least if it has, we haven't been told. Bonus time for these guys. This is. Are we? Are we now? Do we think we're in bonus time then? I think so. Hey, maybe then. No, the dice only subtract time, don't they? They only add time. Only add time. Yes. Maybe it was five say uh, five shields. That's an extra five minutes. Well, that's what I think we're at right now. Yeah. So. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last game of the day. And in your travels. Have, mm. have you seen any any in really like really interesting lists that have made you go, oh, that's out of the box thinking? Um, I mean, well, just here from in, in it, while you've been here, obviously, because in the, in the, in life I expect it, but like here. Uh, I'm trying to think what I've played today. I played uh, Anakin. I've played Anakin. I've played Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> really, three Anakin? No, I've, I've played two, two Yoda. Sorry, one Yoda, two Anakins, and oh jeez, and another Yoda actually. Oh no. Um, but the the last Yoda I played, it was um, ten activations, three barks, kind of chewy Yoda. So it's go like on, barks. Mm -hmm. It's the objective. Woof woof. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and like he's got a bid, so I can see he's playing for the objective game, but it was just a really bad into experimental droids. It wasn't good. But I think there's a lot of um, in the last chance qualifier. There was like free double dark gav tank. Yep. Yeah, the gav tank list uh, on, yeah. on. It was a single dark gav. Oh, did you hear Mateus got through? Yes, because he came over and was like. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. uh, yeah, obviously we had Mateus uh, on, stream. on stream. Game two, wasn't it? Wasn't game it? two. Yeah. Um, so he, he that was against the Dark Troopers, wasn't it? Yes, it was. He played against Dark Trooper Grav. Right. And he had twelve activations. Yeah. They had seven plus the <laughs> Dark Trooper one for eight. Um, it was a rough matchup. He lost the Gavin right in turn one. Yeah. And then his opponent was. Uh, his, his opponent pushed the Darks out. Uh, and couldn't quite really make them count and lost yeah. them uh, by, two, by three. I was surprised by the amount of double dark gavs, if I'm honest, but nothing. I've not come across or seen many. Like, ooh, that's a, like a spicy kind of little list. It's not a spicy me to bother. No, but I, I mean, I, I know Brian's here and I know he's running a list that I think is spicy. Um, the d double bus five fleets? Yeah, with, yeah. Y with Luke and R2. I'm a big fan of that list. Yeah. That, I feel like we need to try and get that on the stream. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. In a heartbeat. I wouldn't, uh, just so people can see how it's played. Yes. Like it's yes. not an easy list to play. No, and well. I, I even consider myself a pretty good Luke player. But talking through all the scenarios with Brian, he is he has thought this through. He, yeah. He knows. He he's he's thought about it a lot. Yeah. If he does, if he remembers everything that he's thought through this weekend, he's going to do great. That's yeah. why in Spain it did so well. Yeah. Because everyone went, what? 6-0. Oh. Yeah. 6-0 oh at the World Team Championships. Like, these, those are also top-notch players. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, not just 6-0 oh at some random <laughs> tournament. There was a, there was, was it and it, if my understanding was correct, he, on the in the team's format, um, him and his list were the ones that his captain threw out there every round 
to yeah. get counterpicked. Yeah, he was first. He literally so threw he, out at the bus. Yeah, so he got the the worst, the worst <laughs> pick, or worst pick for him each time, and still won. Yeah, yeah. Izzy, Izzy was his skipper. Yeah. So that's Which, good. And say from that format, it was really impressive because Izzy didn't win a single game, and Izzy's a really good player. Hey Tim. Bro. Food. <laughs> 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 Okay. All right, Brian's getting wise and starting to move everything in. It looked like Pierce almost pulled out the the BX squad that was moving out, but um, cohesion wasn't quite far enough to pull the leader out. I don't think. And Brian's just moving everything in now, so it won't matter. I don't even know if that's three or four units for Brian, but it's going to be more than Pierce has. So it looks like Brian's. Brian is moving everything Brian's in the middle. It. Yeah. He's left a single model in right there. Okay. Cool. So there's. We're at five till hard dice yeah. or five till the I think time five, gets five till that's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, so they've been made aware of the time. Yeah, they should have been. Okay. They should be notified of the 15 minutes. So, 10 minutes ago, and yeah. that's around when Brian started moving everything in. I think. Yep. So, that tracks. Yep. Um, Brian just has to control the middle. So Brian so moved those magnets up to type the B ones for moving in. Yeah, um, but we don't think it's going to actually stop them. They could still withdraw and get back into range. Ah. Um, but there's oh, the handshake. There's handshake. I think they counted the total possibilities. Oh, we need to get uh, cards for them. I will go grab them real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, oh. <laughs> Actually before I do, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to everybody. Um, oh, because yeah, this yeah. is the last round of the day. Yeah. Yep. We'll be back tomorrow. I think we are starting at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Sharp. So stream will kick off at 8 a.m. We'll be doing yeah. another two-part stream. We'll have an a.m. mobile stream, too. We'll cut the cast and stream two more in the afternoon. Um, thank you again to everybody who jumped in here to watch this today. Uh, this is the reason why we're doing it is for you guys. So thank you so much for joining here on Fast No Moon and Yavin Base. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to have this simulcasted uh, the way it is. It's been super, super fun. Um, so thank all of you. And uh, please, please jump in tomorrow. Invite everybody. Tell everybody. And we'll see you tomorrow morning on behalf of myself. So thank you guys. Awesome. Have a good night. Yeah, those kill points, uh, if you guys were wondering, were 294 killed by Brian to the 50 killed by Pierce. So did they actually shake? Who have they They did shake to? hands. So, um, yeah, but who have they given it to, Brian or Pierce? I mean, I would think Brian. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but, well, well, we got a calculator out here. Oh, he's probably doing kill points. There's an app for that on Game Uplink, though. I don't know why they're not using that. Uh, I think he's submitting the results while it looks on his phone. Yeah. Let me mute myself and ask real quick. Did you guys call it? Yeah, we called it who? And who won? Okay. Um, oh, you guys tied the middle? It was 4 2 going into the final round. We got two. I got one. All right, and then you scored both of them and had kill points. That's right, we knew that. Okay. All right, so Brian did win the middle. They determined that Pierce was not going to be able to take the middle from him, uh, bringing our 4-2 up to 6-6, six, six, and Brian has kill points by a great handful, 294 to 50. Which is what we worked out. Yes. So that is game, folks. I mean, only because they got that turn five, though. Which, that's... Turn four, it was over for Brian. Yeah. Like, he, he had to get He had a commanding five. position, just not victory points. Now, Sorry, go on, Andy. I was just going to say, do you think if there was a turn six, there's any chance that uh, Pierce no. could pull that back no. in any shape? No. Not with that different deficit. No, not with the, it's the, dude, the kill points. He's lost all his heavy hitters. Like, what you see in the 294 is three of the heavy hitters dead, but what you don't see is that a fourth heavy hitter is also neutered. Yeah. And there's, like, one or two models left in the BX squad. He only has one real gun left. It's Brian's one game BX to lose, squad. basically, at this point. Yeah. If they did play yeah. on that turn six. And Brian's a smart player. Like, he keeps yeah. his wits about him. Like, 4-0, man. That's, yeah. that's amazing.
So just got to do it again tomorrow. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and the next day, yeah. and the day after. Just the nine more games. Uh, by, by our estimation of the timer, we think that should have closed a bit sooner. Which, I mean, it could have been Pierce's game. How Pierce's much game. sooner, It though. could have been. Um, fairly. I think when we started to look at the clock, we were going, if you go back... Well, but we don't know when they start the clock. Yeah. Right, we're not told when they start the no, clock. No, true, but we're going on... So if they started the it five, ten minutes later... Yeah. Because they, they start the clock when it looks like most people are at their tables. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> A lot of discretion can be had there, so... It makes sense. I'll tell you though. Okay. Andy's looking at me going, what? <laughs> well, you're pulling lots of weird faces and pointing uh, at stuff. Cool. <laughs> it's, it's, been a long, it's been a long day, Andy. It's been a long day. But and I'm not pulling a face. It's just my normal face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, it's good to watch the last couple yeah. of turns where it's a little bit intense. Yeah, very intense. With the first couple of opening turns, just like... Oh, pokes. it was extremely boring. Yeah, uh, I thought it would be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> extremely cagey. No one... So everyone was hiding behind both of these curved buildings yep. entirely until maybe halfway through turn two. Um, Pierce did start to get bold, bringing out a full BX squad into scoring range. Yep. And wasn't punished for it and actually, like, maintained the middle for a while. Okay. Um, it wasn't till I want to say, Brian's melee came in. And started wiping stuff. And that's when it shifted. Because he kept his Magna Guards up here in the top right for the longest time, just not doing anything, just waiting. And he waited well. Nice. What was the overall feel for the table, do we think? I think it was ex extremely symmetric, is my opinion. Yeah. Which, don't like that. Which is good. I don't but, know. But I, there's I a think it's there. fine. <laughs> well, well, it just means that both players have the same options to do the same things. If your lists are identical, yes. Yeah. Because obviously when I laid out the table yesterday, uh, obviously you've got these two that's curved true. buildings. It's, true. It's, um, ex it's accentuated when it's a mirror match like this. Yeah. Right, so that's probably two, just what's in my head. The two curved buildings in my head, it was like if you've got a force user, it gives you an option to hide behind, jump over, and get onto the KP. Um, right. But right. if you've not then it was the, the, the buildings are slightly too wide to do uh, a climb over it. So then you've got to do like a turn five climb up and then climb right, down. Right. Um, and obviously you've got quite a lot of uh, good firing lanes and arcs as well when we laid out the table. Yeah. yeah. So uh, got to set out the next one for tomorrow now. Yes. Yes. We've got to figure out what we're going to put on there actually. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> you think about we need that, to wrap that. We're going to wrap this up so we could go get started on this. All right, thank you guys very much for tuning in. Uh, be sure to tell your family and friends for our next three days we're going to be here. We have another four, nine games to stream. Jeez. So three, four down, nine more to go. Uh, and, yeah, we will catch you guys later. See you guys soon.